Peace and prosperity to all American Aborigines. Chief Holiday's in the building. The truth is here. The truth is here. The truth is in the building. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Y'all see the title, man. Uh, Gangs of, of America. Um, This might be a series, y'all, yeah, man. I want to really get break this thing down, man. It's going to be an open panel discussion, man. I, now, here's, 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 here are the rules, right? This is not um, Vlad TV. This is not come on here and um, uh, snitch, dry snitch on yourself or your people in your community. None of these things, man. The, we're not glorifying um, gang violence. What we're going to do is highlight uh, success. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about some of those type of things, man. We're going to uh, we're, we're talking peace and prosperity. Um, what what every gang, so called gang, or every organization, or whatever that was created, was created for protection, was created for upliftment and 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 protection of 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 their communities. You know what I'm saying? For honor, to bring honor, to keep honor, but you know to protect the women and the children. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think that's something, and it was honor. You know when these when these organizations were formed. Um, we're going to get into the origins of these organizations. A lot of times when you start talking. One, two, one, two. One two one two one two one two, yeah. But you know they say that the the, the the antidote is in the poison. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we're gonna get into today. We're gonna we're gonna tap into the poison to see if we can come up with an antidote. You know what I mean? And that's just what we're talking about. But like I said, it's not about coming up glorifying gang culture. You know what I'm saying or whatever. But a lot of our men uh, or young men find um, camaraderie. They find uh, belonging, you know what I'm saying? They find, uh, you know, respect, you know what I'm saying, by being in these groups and things like that or whatever, protection, you know what I'm saying? Because, once again, that's what the groups were formed for, was for protection. So what we're going to want to do today, y'all, uh, is I want to I talk to, to uh, if you're an old, retired guy, you know what I'm saying? You're old and we're still active, you know what I'm saying? You're uh, you, you're thinking about, you know, uh, joining. Um, you just joined. You're a veteran. You got stripes. You know what I'm saying? All these things. Like I said, it's not about coming on here and glorifying the stripes or whatever. It's about what what your literature says. We call it lit. What your lit says about um, what were you created for? You know what I'm saying? And are you living up to your lit? So this is what this conversation is about, y'all. So, you know, we're going to be hearing from, from brothers around the country, man, and from their experiences from this or whatever. Um, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is a touch one for me, man, y'all, because I, I, don't, I don't speak on these things because children, you know, uh, young men, children are very impressionable. Young women are very impressionable or whatever. And so I try to, I try to keep it in a different frequency. However, you know, a lot of the work that I do, been doing um, in the community is – is with the turf, with with the brothers and sisters that, uh, uh, which a lot of people would marginalize and put you as the outlaws or whatever. But you know, I would like to consider myself a renegade slash outlaw. So yeah, you know, I work in this in this community. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I come from that community, so I can speak on it and I can speak to the to the to the to the to that. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of go in that lane, y'all, when it comes to um doing the work, um. <laughs> My experience, y'all, in it, um, just like anybody else, man, uh, you know, I um, I was super young, you know what I mean? I, and, 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 and it wasn't really no, exp it, it, it wasn't anything uh, like it, you know what I mean? Um, so it wasn't nothing. We, we always had uh, groups of guys that hung out and protected want you know each other and stuff like that or whatever so our older cousins you know what i'm saying so we always had 
a, a clan of us, a mob of us, a gang of us, you know what I'm saying, that, that move like this, you know what I'm saying? So once the gang stuff came in, it's like, okay, you, you blue, you red. I'm like, well, why? Because you was in this neighborhood and your cousin is from this neighborhood, right? Now, it's my cousin that we grew up together, but he's blue. Now, they said, I'm supposed to be on this other side or whatever. But I'm like, this is my cousin, so we still play together. Y'all follow me? We still go to – we go still go play basketball together, football, shit like that or whatever. So I wasn't really drawing off of none of that. And I was just really terrible. Yeah, I was a real terrible, and you know, member of, of any – organizations because I don't take orders well. You know what I'm saying? And I, so I always I come in the door want to run shit. So that's just me. I, I don't know how it works or whatever. And that's just how I move. Feel me? I'm not coming in. I'm coming in to run the shit. So that's just how I move. And 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 coming from the environment I came from, you know what I'm saying, the bloodline that I come from, you know what I'm saying? It's not hard, you know, the strong, you know, uh and it's just not about being physically strong. Either you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's you, to survive these street wars, to be able to come back on the other end and tell them, you know, um, it's, it's 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 a lot. This comes with that, you know what I mean? Um, and we're gonna get into a lot of that tonight too, y'all. Oh, like I said, my lane is not, you know, a lot of the other platforms you guys see that they they you know kind of talk about the street culture stuff like that or whatever. But this tonight is gonna kind of get into that or whatever because once again. This is the, the sleeping giant, right? If we can change the direction, change certain situations, you know, there's solution. Like I said, there's an antidote in the poison. And right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, th th there's something that's disturbing to me. You know, like I said, rest in peace, rest in paradise, to pop smoke. And all the other fallen soldiers, man, or whatever. We don't want to see nobody else um, uh, be hurt behind you know, emotions and feelings, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, because it, it's, you know, it, it's understandable, you know what I'm saying? The, the young man was was changing, was bringing something that New York hadn't had in a while back to New York. So them, you, the youngsters is feeling away. So they don't know nothing about the East Coast, West Coast beef because they wasn't even around like that a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? Even the ones maybe too young to even understand what that looked like. And this could turn out to be that. You know what I mean? So once again, we're pushing peace. You know what I mean? So a lot of times when we're having these conversations um, with brothers, you know what I'm saying, even sisters, you know what I'm saying, it gets contentious. But a lot of us fall back into, you know, gang banging. You know what I mean? Which I think is interesting or whatever, you know. Uh, because at the end of the day, you're only, you know, yeah, we're, you're a man. So I'm not about to come off the line and go, talk, hey, man, hey, man, I, I was getting into an argument with, this guy online, we need to ride on this fool, you know what I'm saying? Well, that, come on, y'all, like, this is, well, we need to grow up. So a lot of times, you know, you even see a lot of older guys um, not representing as OG is supposed to represent, you know what I mean, for the for the young guys. So you're not being a great example. So we got to see that. And, like, we see these so-called OGs or guys are supposed to be examples of what wolves and what manhood is supposed to be represented the wrong way. I call it dry snitching. So we're not going to be doing nothing of that tonight. So I'll put the link in the chat room, whatever, for all the, the active gang members, whatever. It's not about you talking about how many bodies you have because you are not. You don't get no stripes tonight over here for that. You don't get no stripes for nothing, selling a whole bunch of dope to community, none of that. You don't get no stripes for that. Okay? So like I said, with my experience or whatever, it was just like, and this is what's so crazy. Now, I'm, a, I, I'm I don't know. I'm in and out of, you know, Sunday school or whatever, right? Uh, but once I became uh, uh, involved, or you know, um, so to speak, I it was just as soon as it, as soon as it happened, I said, "Well, you know, you can't eat uh, pork no more, right?" I'm like, what? Yeah, you can't eat bacon no more. I'm like, what do you mean? I like BLT. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, you're gonna get violated. What fuck? What are you talking about? So I didn't. So it was like I'm, I'm, I, I, became, you know what I'm saying. I became a, a Muslim by default. You know what I'm saying by being in this, in, in this, this thing. You know what I mean. So like I said, y'all, like for me, y'all, like I tried my best. I don't have no tattoos, nothing like that, or whatever, man. It's like it's really about omerta. So a lot of the things I'm, I'm only speaking on this from from the perspective of. of of uh, 
mm, I want to say clarity so people can kind of understand, you know, uh, your sahab, you know what I mean? What if, if am I qualified, you know, to have this conversation? Y'all follow me? So my comrades know I'm qualified, you know what I'm saying? But y'all might not, or whatever. And I don't really think it's about uh, tattoos or how many tears you have and all these other things. Like I said, you don't get stripes for that. You don't get stripes for being famous for, for murdering and molesting and drugging your community. Y'all follow me? So I would never push that because I, y'all you know understand what I'm saying? Because I, that's not what I would want to want to be. Uh, uh, leave a legacy for is to be that guy. You know what I mean? So, um, you know what I mean? Like I said, you know, like a lot of the bad karma that's been put out, you have to be able to put even more better karma back into to, to the ether. You know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of where I'm at with it, child. Um, so these are the reasons why you don't get those type of stories or these type of stories from me. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't... Um, yeah, I mean, I, it was a lot of things I did when I was young, 12 years old, that I wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? At 32 years old, or 42 years old, or 52 years old, or 62 years old. You understand what I'm saying? So you grow, you change, you know what I'm saying? So we even talked about people that have tattoos when they were 12 years old that they wouldn't have, whatever. So, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have any. And this, and this is always, not that I, you know, I wanted to be yakuza'd up, you know what I'm saying? But just speaking on just just having a different uh, mindset as 12 than I have now today or even 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So this is just is what it is, y'all. So just just for this conversation, you know what I'm saying? What are we talking about? Are we talking about the warriors? You know, um, I, what's manhood? You know what I'm saying? Um, what's 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 was being brave, you know what I'm saying, and these these different things. But once again, going back to these organizations, how can we tap into the poison to, um, so to speak, uh, create an antidote? So that's that's the conversation tonight, y'all. How do we do that, man? Um, um, yeah, man. Like I said, you know, um, it's really it's really about taking this thing to the next level, y'all. So that's what we on. Uh, the truth is in the building, man. You tuned into the greatest of all time. Oh man! So I just want to say shout out to Crumb Snatcher, Crumb TV the other day, man. Great interview, man. People are really still riled up about it. My wife's still riled up about it, man. She really, she still mad. <laughs> yeah, pregnancy is high hard and da 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 whatever. But you know, um, yeah, Crumb had a lot, a lot of things. Um, so you guys have to check that that interview out, man. Go check that out. More interviews to come, man. We got a lot of interesting things coming together man like i said we're going to be doing some true two exclusives you know what i'm saying so uh be on the lookout for that too man so uh true to uh true tube.com man so i don't know link, link in the chat room in a minute um go uh go check check it check your sahab out man hey so we're talking gangs of america man what are we talking about what's going on um what, where do these gangs come from, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Um, what's the, what, what are they, what were they formed from? So from East Coast to West Coast, you know, um, but no matter what the situation is or whatever, it always goes back down to camaraderie, goes back down to family protection, unity, you know what I'm saying? Uplifting the community, you know what I'm saying? So there's protocol to that, to that conversation, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's where we start the peace talks at. You understand what I'm saying? Um, there's a brother last night on um, Aboriginal. just bringing a, a peace and prosperity back, right? And the brother that was on last night from Compton, and, you know, and, and, he, and he has a difference of opinion. He comes from a, a, a Pan-African opinion, and he says that, oh, okay, you guys are going to create a 
let's not know what what you're the culture that you are participating in, cripping and blood, is an American thing. You know what I'm saying? This culture, this you know what I'm saying? This is an American culture. Nobody didn't bring this here to us. So this is not the culture. This is our culture. This is American culture. And we're gonna get into the to the to, to that. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna like I said, we're gonna have some OGs on here. We're gonna have some some young bucks on here, whatever. We're gonna get different perspectives on the game culture, whatever. So uh hold on one second, John. Um, yeah, so hold on a second. I'm about to put the link in the chat room, y'all. Hold on, let me uh, shout the chat room out real fast. We got in the building. First Indian in the building. We got original Night Wolf in the building. Peace and love, brother. Uh, we got Sister Betty Love in the building. Be on the lookout for the Sister Betty Love show, Tracing Your Lineage, um, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, man. Out tomorrow night, Sister Fran will be hosting the American Aboriginal Woman is God. So shout out to uh, Sister Fran Speaks. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow night and uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday, uh, Sister Betty Love show. Yeah, you know, very popular show, man. Uh, so shout out to Sister Betty Love. Um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be an interesting show, y'all. Like I said, because, you know, like I said, we've got to, you got to tap into the poison to create the antidote. So that's what we're doing tonight, man, with this conversation. Um, hold on one second. We got Roman Wolf in the building. The chosen one is in the building. He said Gangs of America, Gangs of New York. Talked about Native American, white folk born, Union of the State. That's right. Uh, we got Mizak in the building. Peace of the God, man. Ladario Quintez. What up, dude? Uh, Copper Girl Asia's in the building. Peace Empress. Tribal Fatality. Hyena Chief, Peace Brave, Chief Osaru, Origini. Yeah, man, peace, peace, guy. I mean, we definitely appreciate y'all, man. Uh, who else we got in here? Nighthawk is in the building. Salute to the Warriors, Peace of Tribes. That's what's up. Chad Murdoch, big, big up to, to my Jamaican brethren tuned in. We international, y'all, but it's still America, too, at the same time, man. So shout out to, to Chad Murdoch, man. Uh, we got it here. The rant is in the building. Ah, nah, we across. Rand, you you over in the UK, right? Rant, maybe I'm mistaken on the rant, y'all. Uh, but shout out to the rant in the building. Botafogo's in the building. Nine ether, peace of the gods, man. We got Copper Main, Eighth Line is in the building. Peace, peace King. Um, uh, what we got? got here. He's not a real game member. He don't know about the spook hunters. Okay, well, man, we're going to have to talk about this, man. What are we talking about? Yeah, you're going to have to come on here and um, enlighten the people on the spook hunters, yeah. Um, <clears throat> what else we got in there? Chick of Homie Roots is in the building. OCO, Rainstorm, Peace of the God, man. Yeah, man, we're in the building, y'all. Um, what else we got in there? The Ancient One, OCO, Peace of the Ancient One, man. Thank you for coming. A new breed is in the building. Peace, peace, God. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, man. Peace, everybody, man. Uh, so yeah, man, we're gonna get into this thing, man. Uh, let me get this in the chat room, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, man, I'm having some technical difficulties over here. Ken Baker, peace, brother. Thank you for coming out today. Let me put this link in the chat room, y'all. Yeah, Yeah, I'm back, yeah. So we up in here, man. Um, yeah, man. So we're gonna get into this thing today, yeah, man. We're gonna break down some of the stuff. We might, we're gonna get into the history of some of the stuff. Well, was, you know, what was, when you say history, you know, what were these organizations started for, or whatever? It's just coming from an ancient custom things, you know, that we did for our people, you know, um, was to protect our people, you know what I'm saying? So it's just that's just what it is. So the energy has been shifted, the, the frequency. So we got to raise the frequency and we got to expect more from people that consider themselves to be uh, 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 in these organizations. So that's what we're going to talk about today, man. What's your what's your what's your responsibility? Are you are you accountable? Are you really are you really warriors, man? So this is what we're going to be talking about, man. You know, like I said, you tune into the greatest of all time. Hey, man, uh, like I said, hit that link links in the chat room, man. You guys got anything to add to this conversation? Um, we got a few other brothers gonna be coming in um, to give us their their uh, energy on this um, on this topic. But like I said, it's about peace and prosperity. It's not about uh, uplifting uh, a deaf culture, man. So we def we def and just don't snitching on yourself, man. It's just things you just don't do. So um, that's just what it is, y'all. So uh, peace and peace and prosperity to everybody, man. And, uh, like I said, be on the lookout for the peace and prosperity. Conference uh, was the America First Peace and Prosperity Conference in October. That's 9th through the 12th. Las Vegas, Nevada, man. Uh, Aboriginal People Day weekend, man. It's going down, man. So uh, a lot of things going on, man. And the tour is going, going to be involved in that too, man. So we're going to be uh, sliding through a city near you real soon, man. So be on the lookout for that, man. Uh, working on the website, some other stuff. Um, what else we got going on? It's so much going on, y'all. You know, true, true, true. Dot com man, uh, holla at your side hop man. Um, uh, it's going down, man. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, like I said, um, this, this conversation, we're gonna take this conversation to the next level. Um, you, you know, like I said, man, um, I, 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 I was, I, I was always about getting money, man. So never, and being a follower, so nobody could tell me to do something done that was gonna have me, you know, in a, in a bad situation. Yeah, man. Anybody know PNF, uh, Peoples and Folks Nation of Chicago? I think this would be a good conversation for him. Um, as well as the brother from last night. Uh, what was his name? Black, 
black power banger, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like, you know, coming this perspective or whatever. Yeah. So this is not about whether or not who we are. We're talking about uh uh the responsibility of of these people that uh, say they're in these organizations. Why are you in them? You know what I'm saying? These are the questions, you know. Why are you in them? It's the question. Oh, you needed to be around some people to protect you, or are you there to protect the community? So I just think that's what it's about, man. So I want I want I want some answers today. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ask a lot of questions to these guys, man, that call themselves warriors. Um like I said, for me, man, it was just something that I just grew up in, older people, cousins, people like that or whatever. It's just you know, it's a bloodline thing. So I didn't I didn't have a choice, like so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So I just say that. Um, but I was always different and pushed, you know, pushed the envelope, you know what I'm saying? Where I was supposed to be doing this, I was doing this. So, you know, I was that guy. Um <clears throat> uh yeah. So uh shout out to everybody, man, tuned in, man. Yeah, man. Let me see what's going on in the chat room. Uh, yeah, uh, we got uh, yeah, I ain't the man. I'm up in here, man. Uh, yeah, I'm in there, man. I'm just got a lot of shit going on, y'all. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely a touchy subject, man. But it needs to be said, man. Like I said, man, these guys, like, why would you at this point right now? Why would you want to be a part of of this of this thing? Why are you in it? Like the whole your whole responsibility. Like every time I'm gonna ask you, what are you formed for? What are you here for? You know what I'm saying? And it even goes back to a lot of it goes back to uh, uh, things that came from the Moor Science Temple, came from the Nation of Islam, came from the five percent nations of gods and earths. You know what I'm saying? And we're just talking, getting to the origin of, of what you're you know, when you're talking these gang cultures. Because when you see the the, the black peace stone nation, I don't, I guess, like I said, y'all, you know, everybody knows of these organizations or whatever. When we're talking about the foundation of what they, what they were created for, right? Now, here's the thing. Now, here's the kicker, y'all. Like I said, I want, I want to have this conversation with some brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, having it, but I can have it by myself until somebody get here. So here's the thing. Um, and like I said, y'all ain't got to come on here and tell on yourselves or no shit like that or whatever, man. Um, just lend your uh, expertise or, you know, insight to this or whatever, right? Um, uh, but when we're talking um, accountability, you know what I mean? Um, when we're talking peace, right? A lot of that has to come, like I said, this is what we said, peace and prosperity, right? Uh, there has to be prosperity with peace. The brother, um, uh, last night we were talking to him, he knows, yeah, it's still murders and things that happen in Compton or whatever, but the, the, the murder rate is down 90 plus percent in Compton, California. You know what I'm saying? That's because of the truths and the things, the work that's been done with the so-called gangs of Compton. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to the rappers that, that spirit, you know, that work with that to shed light on that or whatever, but shout out to Mayor Asia Brown, who no longer mayor of Compton anymore because she's done her terms and things like that, whatever. But what she's done with, you know, working with the with the so-called gangs of Compton to come up with Compton in power. Now I know you guys, you guys been, uh, you know me. I've been, 
Mayor Asia Brown from radio uh, before she became a mayor. Confident in power. Uh, so this is, like I said, this is something that's just, for me, that's that's serious. You know what I'm saying? I got comrades from Compton, you know what I'm saying? That may not be here if it was not for Compton and power. You know what I'm saying? And the truth is going on in, in, in L.A. just in general. Shout out to Watts. Shout out to Inglewood. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just to, just to, just in general, just the general mindset of the camaraderie and the brotherhood and things that's going on. That has to start from from the from the turf, y'all, from the ground level. From you know, from like they like to say grassroots. We say the turf. You know what I'm saying? But like just, just from that standpoint, right? Um, but what was different for Compton and Power was it was an economic um, platform introduced into the truce. Yeah, we could talk truce, whatever. We're tired of shooting and killing each other, right? But if we don't have, at the end of the day, we're still going to have to plot on each other because there's only so much money and so much things that blocks and things that we're fighting over, the distribution of, of the things. So so it, it causes these things. It causes warfare, urban warfare amongst our people just to, just from that situation. So you can put brothers in another situation, right, as opposed to of, of funding prisons and funding uh, death and destruction. We fund life. We fund security. You understand what I'm saying? And it's just simple as that. That's what I would do. If I was an ultra billionaire and I was the president of the United States or whatever, and I wanted to make America great again or whatever, then I would secure the streets of America off top. How do we do this? You throw a whole bunch of motherfucking money at it. And I know that sound. People always say, Chief, what you talking about? Well, niggas is making money. They're not going to stop making money if you don't have an alternative. Sorry. Niggas are... The alternatives is never, 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 never. Um, like, like think about it, niggas is 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 is, is ducking Buck Roger time. You know what I'm saying? Like space age, like Jetson time, some shit. You know what I mean? Like you get football fucking numbers. Feel me? Fifty, sixty years, shit like that or whatever. Right? Think about it. So you say, well, fuck. I would risk that to to gain this right here to take care of this to 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 feel like a fucking man. We got King 911 in the building. Very interesting that she popped in first, gentlemen. We're gonna see what the sisters talk about. Why is that interesting? King 911, peace, Empress. How are you? Why is that interesting that I popped in first? Well, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, we 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 calling out the warriors and and, and one thing that you said that was interesting to me the other day. That the reason why you're king is you're dominant, you know what I mean? And I, I, you just proved it once again. I just gotta gotta say that. So I salute that. So how are you today? Huh? How are you today? Fabulous. <laughs> well, I'm feeding my face as I talk to you. Word, that's what's up. Man, you've been coming up late. By the time I wake up, season came on like four or five hours ago. I'm like, this motherfucker. Oh uh, yeah, I'm. You know, I'm on the I'm on the West Coast too, so I'll be having weird hours and things going on. But that was after we did another show. I think we was on Aboriginal Powers that night. TVs, I, I begin. I think we was on Aboriginal TVs that night. So. um yeah, so that's why I was late. Well, I'm not. But it's not as late for me as it is for y'all. But yeah, I got sleepy that night too. But yeah, we uh, we, we don't get the alert. You say you don't? No, I don't get the. Well, you might have to hit the um uh, the bell and hit it again or something. Well, subscribe and unsubscribe again, or uh, unsubscribe and subscribe again or something. I don't know. Well, yeah, you should get them if you have the bill. I, once in a blue, and I have it on all the time. Um, like I said, y'all, we're gonna be morphing over to our, uh, you know our own platforms real soon, y'all. Um, so like I said, we're gonna be having a uh, uh, true to exclusives going on real. Uh, 
YouTube.com exclusives going on real soon, y'all, as well as Tribe Up. So there's a lot of shit going on, y'all, man. We we grinding, y'all, man. So just stay tuned, man. Just bear with your sahibs, man. They support the real, man. Y'all, y'all, you know, this is all I can say. I don't know what else to say about that part of it. Um, this, I don't know um, uh, what's your perspective on the gang culture. You're from New York, correct? Uh huh. You you say yes? No, I didn't hear you. What was the last part? Am I? I weird? said, what's your perspective on the gang culture of America or the gangs of America? Right? What's your perspective on that? And um, um, and, and that, the, the second part of that question is, you are from New York, correct? I'm from Baltimore and New York. I grew up in the Baltimore and New York. Okay, so the East Coast primarily. So theoretically, the gang culture. Um, well, I don't want to speak for you, so just kind of give me your experience in, in the gang culture. Says. Well, initially, I was taught that the reason that, you know, those types of organizations came about was to help the community. And then, you know, the drug epidemic was supposed to have hit. And um, a lot of the OGs wasn't exactly trying to patch the torch down to the younger ones and bringing them up the way that they should have been. They was more so using them like pawns on the chessboard as far as if this, excuse me, this young nigga go to jail, he's going to go to juvie. Or if he go to jail for murder, he'll get out by the time he's 30. You know, stuff like that was their type of logic. And they really wasn't in it for the reasons that it started off. Hence, Tookie Williams going to jail and being the first, you know, gang member to be put to death. So, I mean, it, an army is an army no matter what it chooses to do. All mm. it is, but I'm just let's, talk, like, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Now, it's I'm, interesting that you use the word army. Um, I strategically um, don't use that word, sis, but it's, it's, it's interesting that you're using that. Um, oh, talk because about it. let's, let's what I realized about myself. Uh, and, you know, the men of this nation is when I decide to call anyone to attention. That's what they're going to turn into. Even if they wasn't before. I know. I know. When I think of things as the way they are, I know it's not going to be the same. And I know the reason why it's not going to be the same. Because as long as I can articulate myself in a manner that explains why going about things this way ends up with a better result than going about the way that you choose to. Everybody with common sense and a few who don't is going to come together. Self-preservation above everything. I'm being fat right now, so I'm eating fish. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, hey, we got we got Aboriginal TV one in the building. Peace of the God, man. What's up, brother? Hey, Sulu Chief, how are you? You can hear me? Yes, sir. How are you doing, bro? Great, man. How you doing, man? Man, everything good, man. Congrats on that live, man. Y'all did the other day, man. I learned a lot, man. That joint was lit, man. Thank you, man. You talking about Crumb Snatcher, right? Yeah, that joint was beautiful. The way y'all did that, the joint was smooth, bro. Appreciate it, man. That's what's up. But yeah, I see I see your topic, man, because I, I don't know if a lot of people know, but you know, I'm a, I'm affiliated with the gang shit. I'm eight Trey Far West, you feel me? So, you know, I, I be, you know, I got, you know, a little bit of insight on it too. Probably not as much as, you know, individuals that's from the home where it came from, but you know, a, a little so, bit. So real quick, just give people because a lot of people don't know what that is, brother. Is that blood or crypt? That's Crip. That's Crip. That's Crip. LA Crip, yeah. Okay. And and just for the just so everybody let everybody know you're from the East Coast, right? Yeah, I'm from the East though, yeah. Okay, so now we got an East Coast. Now you said that's a what? Um A Trey Far West. Far West, is that a blood or crip? That's Crip. Okay. So so you so you you acknowledge that it wasn't started there in New York. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Okay, go ahead. Hey, sis, I want I want to mute because you, you. Oh no, that's not you. That's your background. Yeah, that's um, me. Let me let me move. Let me move out of here. Right I already muted my background. 
Hold on, cause I thank you. Hello, she can go. But yeah, my bad, cause that's my daughter. Hey, peace, a little empress. Um, yeah, no, I'm just on mute, man. I just want to get your your perspective on it. Um, just you know, just your origin. Why you know? Why did you? Um, you know, just just go from there, brother. I'm um, pretty much how I got involved in it. Um, the neighborhood that I pretty much grew up in. Um, I had my mother and my father, luckily, but you know, uh, a lot of things still attracted me to the street. So, in doing so. <clears throat> I got involved in um the gang culture around like 13 years old. I was I was affiliated with it with it, but I hadn't dealt with it until I probably was like um maybe 16. That's when I started actually repping the set. But um I pretty much got involved in it, man, because of you know a lot of things that was going on at home. And this ain't an excuse. This is just I'm just giving the facts. You know what I mean? A lot of things I was looking for at home that I couldn't get at home that I was getting from the gang. You know what I mean? So that's what really got me involved in it. And then once I went to the feds, I ended up doing a fed bid. <clears throat> and um, I got to meet a lot of bros from the West. You know what I mean? That just that just kind of deeply entrenched me more into it because I got a different perspective. Up until I probably went to the feds, I had a different outlook on it. Because, you know, like the West and the East, we kind of bang different. We see it different, even though it originated from over there. Once it gets over here, it's kind of like not out of your control, but like out of sight, out of mind. You know what I mean? So people kind of do what they want. You know what I mean? So it kind of it loses its, you know what I mean, its structure. You know what I mean? But I, around the time that I was dealing with it, man, it, it totally meant something different. Um, I was treated different. It was a lot more respect. It was a lot more love. Uh, brothers made sure I went to school. Won't none of that duck in school. You know what I mean? For me to even be involved and hang with the homies, I had to go to school. I couldn't do it until after school, stuff like that. But um, pretty much, man, now the thing, I mean, I respect the gangs. It's just that the focus is different, I believe. And that's the only problem that I see with it. You know what I mean? If they had something else different to focus on, I think it would be a beautiful thing, though. Yeah, I think it's interesting that you said that having to need a different thing to focus on. I think that's facts. I mean, right now it's just survival, right? You know, as opposed of 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 of, of protection, you know, protecting the community. Like we have a full blown epidemic of 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 missing and 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 human trafficking, right? Right. But guess what? If if, if the gangs have to, some gangs, not everybody. I'm, let me. Okay have to be protecting it or allowing it or turn the other cheek at bare minimum to let it happen. So it could also stop it. And see, these are just the whole things that we're talking about. Just off of yo, we don't like this. A lot of things can stop just based off of what you said, the respect level that gang members get. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of times people feel like, you know, you, you're not a real crip or a real vice lord or a real disciple or blood if you don't come from where it come from. How do you right. how do you how do you feel about that statement, bro? No, I mean, look at okay, we got okay, let's take knowledge for instance. Knowledge, not all knowledge comes from the exact area that we're from, but it's it's still beneficial once you embrace it and use it properly. I feel the same way with any type of movement. Don't matter where the idea was birthed. You know what I mean? It's 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 pretty much the the simple fact of is it worth believing in the idea? It could come from, man. You got people in Alaska banging now. You know what I mean? So it's 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 how strong the idea is. I don't think because it didn't come from your hood or your town or your city, oh, you shouldn't partake in it. You know what I mean? And that's why I did a video early and I was telling people like, don't be your own stumbling block, yo. Don't say because I won't partake in something that can benefit me or my people because. I don't agree with it or it ain't from my hood or it ain't from my block. You feel me? That's 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 irrational thinking, bro. You feel me? Like you get nowhere doing that because at the end of the day, it really don't matter where it does matter where it comes from, but not, it's not as important as if it works or if it's beneficial. Yo. You know what I mean? So I don't think that in a sense that it doesn't even I don't care where you are from. You know what I mean? If you got the ideas, you got the skills, you got the actions, the back of what you're saying, then by all means, that deserve respect. And type of individual mm. I am, I'm going to respect it. You could be from Australia or Texas. It don't matter. If you're worth being respected, I'm going to respect it. That's what's up, man. 
you know, um, and I, I, I think that's a great that's a great perspective too. Let me. This is this is this is a good question because I had to ask myself this earlier, right? Shout out to Average and Power when we were talking about this earlier. I um I would I want my son? The question is to you: Would you want your children to be involved in your set? Now, no. Before. Before maybe because of the different tenants, but as of now, the way they their generation is different, and that's the only reason. And it's to be honest with you, if you go back and do the history when it started, you know the eight the the seventies and the eighties and things like that, it was a lot more structured. It would being a part of a gang wasn't really frowned upon. It was like oh, okay, you with the gang, that's cool. Like people praise that. Now it's like oh, you with the knuckleheads and you running around with the gangsters and the goonies. You know what I mean? So being that that it. It, it's, it's taking a turn and not really for the better. I wouldn't want him to get involved in because my, my main concern for him is his safety. You know what I mean? And and, and y'all doing things that's, that's unheard of that I never seen. Y'all, y'all, there, there, there's no honor amongst the thieves with y'all. You feel me? So as of now today, no. What I felt more comfortable, maybe been against some things, had it been a choice I could make for him back in the day or something he decided to do back in the day if he was born then, then I wouldn't be as uneasy. But as of like, mama, as of right now, nah, nah. The focus ain't right. And man, you know what's so crazy? With with, with the West Coast and even in Chicago, it's generational, bro. Right. Like, you know, like you, it's generational. Like, it's, you got grandpa and you know everybody banging. You know right. what I mean, and 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 so I, I think I think once again it goes back to the culture. It goes back to our culture. Like some things, like New York always had a so-called gang culture or a guardian culture or a protective culture. Right when you talk about the black spades, you know what I'm saying. Um, so I think it's a little disingenuous though. You know when they say that, like you know. Uh, niggas that ran away from the war in LA and then came to New York and set up shit out there or whatever. I think that's I, I think that you would want the 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 essence, the information to travel around the, the world. You know what yeah. I mean? And then you already you got warriors in Arkansas, you got warriors in Brooklyn, you got warriors in Queens. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, I don't I don't think that that's a, a fair assessment either, my brother. No. Um, but definitely knowing knowing the, the essence of it and where it come from. It's definitely the thing. Um, it's interesting that you, so you still rep the set, but you wouldn't want your children in the set. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, like with me, like it, it, it's, it's, it's got to the point, I guess, because I've been doing it so long. Like it ain't like everybody know that know me. It ain't really heat like that. It's just, it's just got to the point where I, I just be in chill mode. I never left the, I never left the set. Like, I always told myself, like, I'm a chill, I'm done with the hood, but I, I never disown the set as far as like, yo, jump me out. Cause I don't feel like that's right, or nigga, let me get my way out. You know what I mean? Because when I came in here, I came in here with a certain belief. I still believe that it's just that things aren't going right. I ain't gonna turn my back and be like, nah, y'all ain't doing what I want y'all to do, man. I'm out of here. You know what I mean? So it's just like I just fall back. I just fell back. The niggas respected it. You know what I mean? Because of how long I've been doing it and the rep that I got. So it was, it, you know, it wasn't really a big issue though. But yeah, everybody knows though. Yeah. Like, if I was to be asked about it, I would still, yeah, I would still say I'm with the gang. So, so, you know, when you, when you, when you go crip, it's an automatic enemy that goes with that. Um, do you feel, because like I told you, my, my, I kind of don't know if you heard my story that my cousin uh, was the opposite, was, was the ops, and I could, I just couldn't rationalize that. That we, you know, we grew up together and shit, and then I gotta hate him because he's on the, he's on the opposite side, you know. Um, kind of walk me through the process of the opposition in your mindset. Well, what I've experienced with that, because I, I got some, I got some nephews and some nieces that that's the ops, that's bloods that I that I grew up with, stuff like that. But I don't know, I don't know if it's because maybe because of the way we was raised, we we always before we even started. Getting involved in the culture of gang banging, we kind of already like supported and defended each other. So when when we got involved in it, like it it never was really an issue. Like 
Cause like with us with the Crips, like even though we know you the ops, it's like we don't we don't we don't really push the issue. We don't really bully the issue. Like, yo, you the ops. Like a lot of the times with us, even though we know you the ops, you still gotta do something to make us want to jump and make something happen. That's just how we are. We not as you feel me as offensive as you feel me. You might see other gangs are. You know, so when we got involved, then so, it was never really a hate thing. It was always still right love and support. So, but but so but somebody made it a, a a Republican Democratic thing somewhere down the line because it started out right. as one. Right. It started right. out as one nation, right? And and that's my whole thing is is going back to being one nation. Right. And that's what the power at. We call it delegation. Four, fives, and six is delegated. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um. I, so so, do you think that that, that yeah. with all the with all the pain that has been put out, do you think that we can go to a a, a, a reconciliation or a peace treaty? Is it you think that's possible with all the pain that's been put out, brother? Yeah, I think so. I think what we would have to do is get as many as experienced homie, like the older homies, to be a part. I think the more older homies we get to be a part of that, you know, that got the name that's been in it, that's respected. By the youth today, even though we the youth still kind of act crazy, I think that would be a big thing because we we've done it before. We we've, we've had treaties, and, you know. What I mean, we go to jail, we go to prisons, and have automatic treaties. We all lump together when we in prison. It don't matter what hood you from. Talk that shit, you know, bro. Talk. You know what tell mean? them that. Every, tell everybody's everybody's crip, bro. It don't matter, bro. When we pop, everybody got to pop, yo. You know what I mean? So. And and that's how I carry. That's how I was taught. So that's how I always carry. When I like me personally, myself, we beef with the '60s through history, his historical shit that happened. Supposed to. I got a '60 homie right now sitting on my couch, my man. You know what I mean? So like, I, I don't see that he crip at the end of the day. He ain't never violated. So I'm not gonna treat him off the rip like an op. And that's the main. That's like the mindset that I hated when people like, oh, he the op, and I be like, yo, cuz, why he the op? What he do to you? Oh no, because you already know we ain't supposed to fuck with them. Why, bro? Because somebody told you we not supposed to fuck with the Crips, bro. We fighting Crips under the same Crip banner. That don't make no sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's, it's and it's got a lot to do with what you experienced. Because I didn't see that, I didn't experience that and see that perspective until I went to the federal prison, and I seen how uniquely tight those Crips was in there. Because when I walked in that joint, bro, and I proved to them like, because you gotta show me your paperwork and prove them you ain't a rat. You know what I mean? Once I did that, cuz, it was nothing but love, cuz. When I say niggas rock with each other, bro, they rock. I never in my life seen a level of unity like I've seen in the feds, bro. Never, Facts. bro. Never seen it. I, and, I, and I think a lot of it, you know, unfortunately, man, um, a lot of the protocol, like you're saying, man, is going to have to come with the brothers that come from that experience, man. And it's just unfortunately that it has to do that. But Fortunately, a lot of OGs are coming back and saying, man, I did this this 20 piece. I can come back and, and you know, and use the respect or whatever that they have gained and be able to bring that energy back you know, to, the, to the streets, man. I, I think, I not think, I know for a fact it'll work because it's working in Compton, California, bro. But right. it has to have an economic thing that, to go with it. You know, like, go ahead, sis. That whole dispute and, and, you know, everybody divided. Nah, they about to come together and that shit's about to spread like wildfire. Within the next two years, I see a real big come together. Because it's a higher purpose. It's a, it's a, a bigger threat than the nigga standing on the corner from the, on the opposite side. Self-preservation is what I always talk about. Right. Like, right now, you know, because... Maybe a couple gang members' sisters ain't been snatched up in this whole snatching situation. They not really seeing a problem because it's not directly affecting them. But pretty soon, that shit going to be knocking on their door. No matter whether you blood, crip, whatever. True, true, true indeed. I, I mean, it, it should just be a word, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas will make niggas not wear a certain color T-shirt just by saying it. Like, y'all wear this color T-shirt, it's a problem. Like, you feel me? Or you wear your hat this way, it's a problem. Or you do this, it's a problem. So I, I feel like if there's this protocol and things for that, then then we understand this. I feel like then we should be able to utilize, once again, tapping into the poison for this. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what, bro? If you had a, a employment program that you took back to the set and be like, look, bro, it's all six-figure salaries. You just got to smoke weed, but you just can't, sell, just can't sell dope and shoot kill niggas no more. 
There's a like, wait a I minute. Mean, well, That's I, it. Hey, <laughs> come on, think about it. Ain't no niggas, ain't, ain't too many niggas doing six figures in the streets. Stop it. There's a gang yeah. member that monopolized, I think, on yeah. a drink or something. I, I think he's Crip. I'm not really sure. He was all over the radio in New York. He making pretty good money and he pulling in, you know, gang members and, you know, they all getting money together. So it's being done. Not yet, but a lot of times, though, you know, like I said, you know, all that needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, buy buildings, uh, uh, businesses, laundry, whatever, you know, brothers need to do, sisters need to do. Um, but a lot of times that type of stuff puts you in a bad bad place if you're not doing it right with your, with your business, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they call that laundering. Like, come on, you know what I mean? Right. So I'm just letting y'all know. So a lot of times when you're doing shit like that, it puts you in a bad position. And also, you know, people that start rapping, like retire from the streets before you start rapping. I just yeah. say that. It's Not it's a thing called the hip hop police. Really. Yeah, I feel the same way, bro. Separate. It's everybody. really a thing called hip hop police. They really oh, he's a rapper out of Ohio. Oh, but, you're instantly going on the hip hop police list. I'm telling you. Off top. They're putting you on the list and they're following you. They're gonna everybody yeah. that's around you, you're telling on all your partners too. Mm-hmm. All of them because they're gonna they're watching Shit. everybody you associated with. Is that a word? Stop uh, snitching on each other, please. Look at what six nine did. He took and ratted on every fucking body. Perfect example, sis. Perfect example. <laughs> Perfect. But you know what I'm hearing is like he was put out there. He was the op from the beginning. Like, I, I mean, you can always look at it like that from go. Like, shit, he like he was a made up character. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I fucks with OBH heavy, but it's the same situation. It's the same situation. Shout out to King Erner, man. Like, it's the same situation. You got to even the people around around the people that you around can't be. If you on Vlad TV, you're done. Trust me, you're not. If you're you're going to prison. You yeah, yeah. You're going to prison, y'all. I'm telling you. Or somebody around you going to prison. Yeah. You shout to Rallo. I mean, he's a more example. Shout to uh GS9. This is more example. Shout to Bobby Smurder. Free everybody. Right? However, fucked up fucking with that World Star shit. Remember when World Star was doing DVDs before he went online? A lot of fucking important people got caught up in that shit, wanted to stand in front of cameras and flash money and all that extra dumb shit. Like, nigga, you think I, the police actually said they would like to thank all of the people that was dumb enough to do that shit because they made their job easier. They had a fucking press conference about that shit. Word. Well, I, I like, like I said, I want to, I want to, I want to, you know, I always have a solution to these conversations. It's called Compton Empowered. It's not like there's something there, but Mayor Asia Brown brought a shipyard to Compton that brought over 5,000 jobs for, for our people in that community, as well as change with a, with a city manager, y'all. Changed, um, like, city, you know, oh, you can get a job with nonviolent felonies, you know what I'm saying, with the city, or you can get a city contract, landscaping, so-and-so, so-and-so, things that, that you know, like to, to revitalize the community. So these things can happen, especially in the, the worst area code, the worst municipality in America. If it can happen in the worst, then it can happen in the third worst, the fifth worst, the hundred worst. Y'all say how to work? So we, we and, and, and the street soldiers, I'm going to call y'all soldiers. I'm going to call y'all um, um, guardians. Like we, if we start saying something different, like we give you a different title. Say that word. The, the 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 our soldiers, right? You you said you said the army, but what are we gonna call them soldiers? You're a soldier, you're a warrior, you're you're brave for the protection, the uplifting of your people. You're not here to rape, murder your people. That's across the board. And the protocol has to be that. Like it has to be like you can't be going to prison for killing your people unjustly. Right. Or you might as well just throw your life away too. Kill him and kill yourself. After you right. kill that, that should be the protocol for us in America. Yeah. That's what I'm advocating for. Peace and prosperity. It's peace. But if you yeah. if you fuck that peace up, then this the, these are the consequences. Yeah, right. Yeah. Period. That's what we need too. We need that's how that, that's how that that's how that changes this across America. Period. Right. We need some check and balances for that shit that's going on. All that shit is works. 
But I always thought that the game coach play is going to play a major part in all of this. <clears throat> it is. It really I can't is. exactly what. You, you you see what Trump went to? We went right to Chicago like the top gangsters. Yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah. now that's that's tricky. That's a tricky thing, you know what I mean? Because like you're a top gangster, you should definitely not be touching nothing and doing nothing. Right, like, you know, feel me? Up to the MS. Like I look at a top gangster, like you know, like Houston, for instance, Jay Prince will be okay. You you are a top gangster because you can get into politics, you can do certain things or whatever. You know, uh, you can get you know you can become the mayor of Houston. Right. We can become the mayor of Las Vegas, the mayor of of of, of Brooklyn. Like we gotta think different, y'all. Like we gotta stop letting these people fool us to believe that we we can't move a certain type of way. And that's what made King Hoover free King Hoover, man. Free Larry yeah, Hoover, man. man. That's that's yeah. what made him so uh that's what made him dangerous. That's what made King King Ford dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Free King Ford. That's that's how this works, bro. Like I'm man, I'm I'm rooted, y'all. So when people say that's something, man, I get chills talking about this, man, because this is this is not this this is like the brother said, this is the sleeping giant. This yeah. this is what changes America. <laughs> this is what changes Atlanta. But that's what you made what I'm a, saying? Beach dangerous. Because he was it's with, over. It didn't matter what gang mm -hmm. what set you rep, we can all make yeah. money together. I mean, that's how I came up. <laughs> I don't know what y'all yeah. talking about. You can't make yeah. money at war. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing this for? That's how you doing was. this to wear nice rags? Nah, you're doing this to make money, right? So I think right. it could be a business. Like, niggas can have businesses, grocery stores. This is owned by Crips. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would love it. Right. You know what it's, I'm saying? No, wait, definitely coming. Blood's got a, a chain of water. You know what I mean? Like, I'm with it. Like, come on, y'all. Like, we got we to gotta think different. And, and support people that think outside the box like that. You know what I'm saying? You got... um. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely. Uh, I don't know if y'all caught the interview we did with uh, Rick Ross Jr. and he's just an apple off his father's tree. But <laughs> when he just talk about you know just supporting people that that about business, because then when you got people that have the respect, but then you got people that have the money that that say they would throw their money away on a billion dollar car. Like why? Right. Why? Why is this happening? Why are we having these conversations? When we not, we're not talking about the fiat dollar, and, or we know how fake it is. But guess what? People honor niggas that just because they got money. Like we only put these people in conversations because they got money. Right. Let's be clear. So you you can't help but these these used to say, well, shit, these niggas is rolling. It's, a, it's it's camaraderie there. Like, bro, you said something that was interesting. That something that you wasn't getting it from home. Um, you know, not to get like you know into that or whatever, right? But a lot of times people hear that that it's not even at home. But you you had parents at home. You said you wasn't getting something that you got. In, in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know one thing that streets give you is instant gratification. You know what I'm saying? Money. And like, you know what I'm saying? So can you speak on that? Yeah. Um, with me, because a lot of people say that, well, yo, you, you had your mom and your dad. So <clears throat> I grew up in a big family too. Not trying to make it, make an excuse or why, but pretty much when I think back on it, when I, as I got older, it was pretty much me being selfish. Because when I sit back and I think it's like, damn, I, I pretty much had everything that I that I needed as a youngin. It was just a simple fact of, you know, other influences, friends, you know, what I mean, uh, other family members and things of that nature that made me look at it differently. You know, on the one side, because being that my mom and my dad fought so much to keep me away from the streets. Once I got to them, it, it made me I was like I was interested. I wanted to know, like, yo, what's the big issue? You know, because I'm not looking at it from their security standpoint as being parents. I'm just looking at it from like, yo, what's the big deal? Like, why well, can't go out there with the homies where they look like they have a place smiling, joking, laughing and shit? You know what I mean? But that's pretty much how it was, you know, with me feeling that way, even though that maybe my perspective was incorrect to look at it like that. And I can admit that it, it, it was, you know, but that, that was the things that kind of motivated me to go out. And it's pretty much my, my own curiosity. Overall, you know what I mean. So yeah, man, we got Mr. Aboriginal Smith in the building, man. Peace to the God, man. Peace, 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 man. Peace to the uh, to the uh, panel. Peace to the chat. Peace, peace. I I just wanted to make a quick statement. You know, we was talking about something that I'm familiar with. Uh, 
first off, game banging is whack, especially nowadays. And I don't I don't condone it to nobody's children or nobody is of age. You know what I mean? It's whack. Period. Like it it it, it, ain't, it ain't nothing good that come out of that. You know what I mean? And uh, <clears throat> like I say, nowadays people lose their life and lose more more. You know, as far as their family. Than anything, than when it first started, it started off as like how you like OG was saying, Chief Chief was saying, Chief uh, Net Netger. Uh, you know, it was more family orientated. Like when I grew up, I remember uh, OG homies telling me, you know, you don't need a burner, use your hands. Your hands is your is your is your first weapon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I, I I came to be real cold with my hands. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Due to those due to those circumstances, and I'm being honest. I'm, these are a lot of OGs that's playing with guns. And that's doing anything, thing, you know. It was a lot of things like when I grew up. At a certain point of time, it was a lot of things that wasn't going going down, and then certain things happened, and then stuff started happening. So, like like we were saying with certain people who was in the chat the other night, speaking about the game bang when Black Power Bang was on there, because that's you know we from the same neighborhood, but we got different ideologies. He's a Pan African, I'm an Aboriginal. I, you know, we got different understandings, but that's my boy, love him to death. But uh, people was you know people were saying certain things. <clears throat> But you can tell these are people on the outside looking in. Like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like I said, it didn't start like that. It started with communities trying to stick together. So when the, when the first uh, police brutality started cracking off in the black neighborhoods, <clears throat> that's what it started from. You feel me? Pol- uh, people in the neighborhood like, no, we got to stick together, keep people. Because like I said, when I grew up, police wasn't rolling through my neighborhood. You could bet your bottom dollar on that. But right now, oh, you got people lifting up their shirts. Oh, showing the police that they ain't got no gun on them and ask, you know, stuff like that. It's it's weird. I'm telling you, it's weird. But like I said, man, I don't condone it to nobody or no kid because like how black powers just stay another day. We just lost a homeboy. Literally, this this boy, this dude had two kids. <clears throat> he electrician. He wasn't your average Joe. Yeah, he he from the section, but you know, he he had something. You know what I mean? He he was about something. He wasn't your average cat. So that's why I said when people on the outside looking in, you say certain things, it's like you just speak it from a from a social news perspective, what you see on the news, like you get what I'm saying, you from all these 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 ideologies that they give you on the news, you speak from those perspectives, and that's not cool because, like I said, you got people that really like I, I I'm from I'm from the section because all my homies that I grew, all my best friends, all my homies, them you know, as growing up, yeah, I, I'm I'm a beat up anybody for them, I'm a fight for them and all that, so that's where that came from. It didn't come from oh let's go kill these people, all right, let's go ride on them. That shit came after, you know what I mean? That shit came when dope came and got involved, like like I said. A lot of my OGs didn't condone none of that. You know what I mean? They would tell you, nigga, you niggas better fight. You niggas don't know how to fight. You niggas better learn how to fight. You feel me? Because like I said, we got to be crafty out here in California. We got laws to where you can't ride around with certain things. You can't ride around with a gun like you could be in Arizona. You could be down south riding around with guns. You can't do that shit out here. You know what I mean? So you got crafty people. You know, you like how uh, Black Power Banger was stating uh, the other day. <clears throat> we got militant mindsets due to, due to our restrictions of laws. You know what I mean? So you got to be crafty. So that's just all I want to say. I just want to shot the light on that. I don't want to speak too much, but yeah. Hey, bro, I wanted to ask you a question. Because you're um, from the culture from California, how do you feel about New York people <clears throat> embracing and, and calling themselves Crips and Bloods, brother? I'm going to keep it like this, Chief. I just got word that we got a, a section in North Carolina. And he said, and the homie telling me that, uh, they bang, he, he tripping out because they bang Compton Crip. I said, well, bro, if they Carolina, I said, it's still the same thing because if it's Southside Compton Crip, then it should be Southside Carolina Crip. I'm like, they still got the same abbreviation. So it's, you know, you couldn't really tell a difference, but they just like to choose Compton. But like I said, I really don't have no problem with it because Nipsey got a big six O's in, 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 uh, in New York. They thick out there. In that music video, he, he showed them, they super thick out there, about a hundreds. You know what I mean? They super big neighbor. Like, you know what I mean? Super, so, yeah, they are. super. So it's like, come on super. now. Like that really, that really don't. So, don't so, grow. so some of the, some of it is most, I ain't going to say most, a lot of people have the opposite opinion about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, like you said, black power banger does. Um, I think that's very interesting that you had that perspective. My whole perspective would be, you know, well, guess what? I mean, obviously, it'd be like chapters and other things to show the growth, you know what I'm saying? For yeah. business, if you have a, let's just say a Compton Water Company, right? 
Now you got a, a subsidiary uh, in in North Carolina. You wouldn't have that problem. See, it's a exactly. respect. Oh, they, exactly. they they ain't gonna be banging it like us, them country niggas out there. They don't know nothing about the real war out here in the turf. Now, what are you talking about war and turf? We talking business. And see, we see, talking see, branding, you, you just, money. You you just you just hit you just came up with the Thor huh. right there because your average Joe out here think just like that. Because you got motherfuckers that's actually from where it originated from. You got niggas that'd be like that'll look down on niggas that's from New York or like, oh cut them niggas ain't from here, cut them niggas don't they don't bang like how we bang. You got people with that exact ideology, and it's by numbers. I say good 60%. And I'm not lying. You got a good 60% that will probably say that. You get what I'm saying? But not they don't cut, think like cut. I would they don't they don't think how you think, Chief. You know what I'm saying? Like how you say right. it's, it's from a business perspective on the empire level. They don't think of it like that. They looking at it like we getting killed out here every day. We gotta live like this. They don't live like this. So they gonna right. trip just off off the strip, just like that. I got people in my family that are trip just like that off the strip. You know what I mean? Yep. So I understand both sides, but like that's what that's what gave me my understanding because I'm living both sides, and I always the type of person that nah, I don't want to rock like that. I'm, if I'm gonna rock like this, I gotta rock to where you know what I mean. I can do what I gotta do. Like you feel me? Like I, I I'm just right. different all the way around. Like just pure, I'm, I'm an observer, but like yeah. <clears throat> to fill in. <clears throat> excuse me. But to fill in what else you were saying, though, Chief, as far as, like, revenue-wise, believe it or not, it's a lot of people, a lot, out here in California. Moms, they moms and pops, but it's a lot of people that's independent, but... Yeah, and, and, yeah like, man, and shout out to all the moms and pops, man. I'm, I'm going to keep it like this. Enough of our own people don't do business with them. I see every time I go do business with our people, I see a lot of other ethnicities like you know what I mean, doing doing business with you, which is great. We taking all money, but I'm just saying, like how we always say, it ain't enough of us doing business with our. Yeah, it should be us first. first. Exactly. Amer exactly. America first. Exactly. So first that's America. the only. That's the only hey. downfall that I see. But it is a lot of moms and pop stores out here. People pushing stuff out their house. People doing all type of stuff as far as like positive things, like you know whether they selling food to you, whether they selling clothes to you. You know what I'm saying? Whether they selling some uh some some uh organic soap to you, whatever it is, funnel cakes, whatever it is, it's cracking. You best believe that, but like, like you know what I mean? It, it's just a different outlook when you got people on the outside looking in. I hey, just another question, though. There's another, another question I want to get past the, 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 the LA Crips looking at other Crips different. Like, do you think that New York Crips or Ohio Crips or North Carolina Crips have to come to the hood to 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 just it's almost like a mecca a pilgrimage whatever to get their water. Hey, you, you I'm understand saying. my point? Hey, yeah, yeah it's crazy. You, yeah, I hope y'all getting this, man. Like, what the fuck? is this real? It's, hey, man, I would want motherfucking Crips all over America. Y'all got me fucked up. Like y'all, like you would have to like it'd be a, a a a stringent. You know, you feel me? Like you even be rough with even outside the turf. Like you, ah, like nigga, you you gotta come here. And, like you know what I mean? So uh, we want some water, just, nigga. Like it'll be ugly. Like I'm talking just, about water, y'all. Like, I don't know what y'all talking about. Like I teach, I teach peace and prosperity. Water sells everywhere. Dang, How about that? Exactly. Fuck out of here. Exactly. Let me get some exactly. crip or some blood, motherfucking alkaline water. How about that? Some blood and crip water. How about that? Let's do that. See, y'all got me fucked too, up. They too high off this lean. Y'all really do. Pills. They, they ain't looking nah, at it that's like what I'm that. saying. But water sale just is like lean and pills. You need water to drink pills now. I guess. Yeah, but if, if if the water get them high, chief, they want it. We got to We got to infuse the and water. We got so. that too. We got that too. <laughs> yeah. they gotta be. They gotta be we got that too. Like you said this, you go get. You be all right. You be feeling good and everything. Man. Um. So so yeah, but I I wanted to get um I I know uh uh, uh Aboriginal TV one was about to say something. Um, brother, did you have something to say on what the brother was saying about LA Crips looking at outside? Now, I was just gonna, um, yeah, I was just um agreeing because when I when I went into the feds, that's like the kind of like the mindset I had. Like, damn, these niggas ain't gonna fuck with us because like that's like I was put on the hood in North Carolina. You feel me? I was raised in North Carolina, but I'm from Manhattan though. But I stay in Long Island right now. Sure. But like that's the mindset we had. We always had like it was always the concept like. Oh, niggas ain't start this shit. So niggas shouldn't be fucking with this shit. So when I went to prison, I thought that's like how they was gonna carry it. But when I got one of West homies, they ain't carry that shit like that. <clears throat> so that was the good thing. But like I agree with Aboriginal um 
Mr. Aboriginal, though. Shit, shit's changed, bro, since I've dealt yeah. with it. Like I said before, it's like, it's not, I'm not going to say it was a badge of honor, but it was like, like, it was something you wanted to be a part of. Yo, like, it was so attractive, bro. Like, you, it was hard to say no to that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like, I don't know, it's totally different. Gee, I can't put my finger on it, though. Yeah, for me, it was more See, family have, orientated. Yeah, that's and you know what's so crazy that, about bro. me, man? I have a whole totally different perspective. I, I feel like, you know, the especially um, the organization that I um, grew up in, I feel like it's a great organization. And it would be a great organization for young men. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like just... Just because how we carry, you know, you understand my point. But everybody like, but we also see like everybody else not doing exactly how we do it. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, and I think there's levels to everything too. You know what I mean? So, um, so when you when when people like when the people in Arkansas first got blood and crippin', they went crazy. So they weren't going crazy before blood and crippin', or did they just they had to get it to go crazy? To, you know what I'm saying? So what was going on before that? So it's just similar to what, what you're saying. Like, niggas just didn't have guns, and then guns came on to start protecting the drugs. Everybody knows this. Like this, So they have a direct... The Iran-Contra scandal has a direct effect on lives that <laughs> were affected here in America. So when people talk reparation, y'all going too far back. Y'all can go to the 80s. Yeah. Uh, But man, like I don't know, man. It, it is crazy, man, because it, it's it's fifty fifty. You got people that that do it, you know, because because of the culture, and then you got people that you know followers. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I I, I just say like because I see it all all the time. You got people that's with is that's in it because of the culture that like it's some people that in joint gangs at twenty twenty five, twenty seven, like. Bro, no, I don't understand that, bro. I don't yeah, understand like, that, bro. I like, don't bro, understand you, that. What you been like, bro? I'll, I'll be want to ask you, like, what you been doing your whole life? Why you didn't stay doing that? Yeah, now these people in jail, doing all like yeah. doing, just be trying to trying to prove a point. Stupid, looking stupid. And yeah. even some of the homies that you thought you was cool with is clowny. That's what makes it so weird because what? it's like, come on, bro. You you lived your life twenty eight on the right path. You know what I mean? Now you now you decide <laughs> to join the game. Now you looking stupid, doing stupid stuff. Like it's so, like, come on, bro. I never understood that shit. Man. And then Chief how Chief said, uh, what do you say? Uh LA, LA gang. That right there, Chief, you'll have some people uh, on your head because they, they it's it's LA Watts Compton. Like, even though they they consider it LA County, but when you in there within them gangs, nah, motherfucker, they 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 section off. So like from from a social perspective, yeah, we was LA County, but when you inside of there. It's you got you know you got Watts you got Compton you got Harkon you got Gardena you got East LA you got West LA like you know what I mean it's it's different sections up in there so it's like Pum Pum do, they, do, you they, got, do they rock together or they 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 stay sectioned off? It depends. Like it depends. Like the situation. Like, yeah, it depends, and then it depends. Family, like you got people that's family. Like true, I you know, we talk about the other yeah. side, right, like, right? You know, like that's the good thing I say about that's rocking right now is the fact that like. You might have some family that's a pyro. Like in Compton, we got pyros. We don't got bloods. Only in LA is what when you run across bloods, because pyros wear burgundy in Compton. They don't wear red, so that's the right. difference. You know what I mean? So when you, we got pyros. A dude that I used to go to school with, he come to the hood. You know, he could be in the hood all day without. You know, he could be in the hood more than some niggas that can't be in the hood. Like you know what I mean? And don't want nothing to happen to him. Like you know what I mean? And it's happening like that on a on a on a, on a broader base, man, everywhere. Even when I be in L.A., hanging with my L.A. partner. Like, you know what I mean? It be bloods and p people like how you say you from A-Trade. Like, it be let them do some broadways, hanging with some uh with some six O's and, you know, you got some, you might catch a Hoover hanging with an A-Trade, but they might be family, but still, that break barriers because if he's somebody and he got 10 people that rock with him, all them 10 people gonna be quiet because he's somebody and he know that's his people. And if he's somebody that's his people and he got people rocking with him, they all going to be cool. So like yeah. I keep saying, it depends on the people. That's why I always go back to the individual. Because if a person mindset ain't right as an individual, ain't nobody going to build nothing. 
because it's a lot of money in the hood, especially in mines. It's a lot. But them young motherfuckers, them niggas is on, they not mm-hmm. on no, no, no building. They on rapping. They, you know, yeah. which is cool, which is cool. I'm not knocking. I love music. But it's like, that's not our only escape goat. You know what I mean? We could, like yeah. I said, we could be taking over the water system. We could be taking over the construction business account. We could be taking over the, uh, a lot of stuff, just period. I mean, can't you rap and build houses stuff. too at the same time? Yeah, but them niggas got one track. Sell going. water at your rap shows, nigga? Hey, them, you can sell water them, at your rap shows. <laughs> these niggas got one like, track on, mine. Like, y'all, I'm going to start giving y'all these the juice, man. I'm gonna start giving niggas jewels, man. For real. Y'all just gonna be buying our water real soon, man. Don't trip. Whoa, I got the water I mean, plug, that, too. That's what you're doing, though. You breaking bears. Like I seen this a six o in that chat. You know, I don't know if he's from Cali or not, but you you know, you breaking bears. This 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 this, this panel breaking bears, you know. But everybody that y'all be doing and all the stuff that y'all talk, bro, man, it's it's breaking so many walls down, man. Mm-hmm. And you know, look how many people that's, you know, that's coming together. Like I said, whether you got people of different aspects, but people are listening, man. You know what I mean? You giving well, people up. And you, you're not going to be able to tell me, man, that you don't have, you know, the literature and that your literature says that you're supposed to be something opposite of what, what is being displayed now. Am I right? True. True. That's, that's, that's the foundation, bro. We talk about where's the, where's the, the antidote that it's in the, it's in the, it's in the poison. Like you youngsters, y'all can say whatever you want to say. You don't you can't? All right, well you gonna have to go make something else up there because you can't be this. True. Right, right, true. Right. Yeah, I get, I get you, I get you. I dig that, yeah, yeah. But you gotta remember, T. People weak as an individual, man, and they they always need some type of crutch or they need some type of hope or something to go off of. So you got to remember that. That's why we lose, man. I see it all the time out here in California. You know what I mean? It's a lot of intelligent people I'll be around, but they be so weak-minded, they won't do nothing. So, And I, you could be preaching the most positive thing to them, bro, and they won't, you know, they won't, they, they, they don't feel it. If they don't feel it, it won't be nothing happening. Won't no magic be made. And that's <laughs> the sad part. True. It's true. I see it a lot out here, too. Well, man. It's sad because, man, we 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 the most unique people on this world, man. Like literally, like we we turn, man, we turn nothing literally into something every time, no matter what we touch. Even the, like I said, you got people that think the lowest of themselves. Even the people that think the lowest of themselves do the most greatest shit, and they still think lower themselves. Like you know what I mean? Like it's weird. Like I don't yeah. know, bro. It's an individual thing to me. Like self, self. Uh, it's a self thing with me. Like I don't know. I see a lot of people that got self problems. Like you right. know. That's just my opinion. I'm going to back right. down. What holiday go, Eli? Oh, no, he got his mic muted. Yeah, you muted up. Well, yeah, man, I'm, I'm still learning every day, man, something new, man. Yeah, me too, man. I'm in my early thirties. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, man. I got a ten year old boy out here, man. I ain't got time. Yeah. I'ma defend mine, but I ain't got time. <laughs> Look, yeah, don't get right, it twisted. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. I got five year old boy, five year old son. So I already man, know. Man. Yeah. Oh. Man, I got I got nieces out here. You know, I, I lost my best friend at 15 year old, bro. He got shot with with AK seven times. Like, you know what I mean? I've been, you know, I've been losing stuff since I was 14, 15 years old. Like, so it's like, come on, man. Like, I just seen it on first hand. Like, this is bullshit. That's why I'm like, I don't, and don't nobody. I don't care how old you is. Keep your kids away from it. The, the mamas that's slapping their kids in the mouth. For, you know, we need more of that. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, my mama, yeah, I, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't even look. look. I remember I couldn't even look at my mama's mouth while she was talking to other adults about her slapping me. Yep. I need, we, we need more of that. It's crazy you just said it. Me and my girl was just talking about that the other night. I said, yo, you remember when you couldn't even be in the same room with the adults, yo? Like, Man. You couldn't even come around, boy. Like, mama be like, what you think you're doing? Like, bro, this shit is so <laughs> different. Man. It's so different now, bro. Like, We, we need that back, man. It's we so need that back. Yeah, you're right, though. I do agree with you, too, man. I went, like I said, as of now, like I said, I went, I don't know what I would have said if, 
You know what I mean? I would I would have been privy to experience this through the '80s and the '70s when it first started. It had that community and family effect. I might have yeah. felt different, but I yeah, I wouldn't even recommend it to nobody, bro. Like, bro, like that's, nah, not- that's you gotta you gotta come up with that decision, bro. Like, I can't even I can't even do it, man. You know what yeah, I mean? But yeah, it's I, not I, set I, up I, right. No, nah, it's not, bro. It's, it's it's not set up. Bro. Oh. You got this group. I can't remember the name. They were up in Ohio, and they were taking the young men off the street. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like they had like a little military-type group, you know, doing push-ups and stuff, drilling them and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> you know, you got New Era Detroit, New Era Chicago. You know, um, I guess you could say ex gay members or whatever taking that same concept, but then creating an elite group of young men. What do y'all think about that? Like, like creating this, if you're a part of this, you are a part of a elite group of young men and women that are not here for fuckery. Oh, you got gang rape to get in here? Really? Are we, are we prostituting these sisters out? What are we doing? Y'all see what I'm saying? So I think a lot of, 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 of morality things have happened since the lit. Like, okay, you're doing this, but the lit says this. So what are we talking about? You see what I'm saying? The controversy that we have in here? No matter what yeah. they're talking about, this is where this comes from. This comes from this. So when you're saying whatever you're saying, I'm still going back to this right here. And you don't have to, I, we don't even have to know what, what yours say specifically, but I know it didn't say that. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, that's kind of, that's for me, you know, it's the first conversations that need to start happening, even with the youth. Like, how did you get in this? Did you not know this? Did, did they teach you to live before you? Or you just became this? Oh, you knew somebody? Like six nine couldn't have been. Like y'all see what I'm saying? Like it's no way. Yeah. yeah we like, on top. It would have never happened. Man. I would have been on a he would have never got my vote. I'd have been like, hell no, yeah. No talking yeah. About. I don't give a fuck if he a rapper. Yeah. I don't care. Y'all all gonna go to jail. You're all telling on yourselves. You gonna yeah. let this little nigga come in here and tell on you. You crazy as hell. This is the problem. Like there's no there's no protocol. Like people are like, well, why aren't you off camera all the time? Man, I come from an era where you didn't even take pictures at the club. Right. If you was at the club. If you was at the club. <laughs> I think it's on Instagram now taking right. pictures of money and shit. And do you right. think that niggas is plotting, niggas is Instagram hunting, man. Oh, he got his location on there. Oh shit, we better go rob this fool. Cause you know this fool ain't about that life. Shit, we this niggas on Mario with a Instagram. bag of money over here. We better go get him. Like for real. I'm not talking about Omar, y'all, but y'all know what I'm talking about these rap, these rapping ass niggas, man. Y'all, this shit is real out here. This is this hungry people out here. Right. Yeah, true, 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 true. You know what I'm saying? It's certain rappers can walk around with all their jewelry on by themselves. Nobody gonna do that to them. You be like, well, how can he do this? Right. What is he doing? Aren't these the same hungry people? Well, they respect him. Right. Or they respect this guy, this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just about respect. Because even if you do take it, what you going to do with that? Yeah, what you did. Uh, why? Like, why would you do it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wait a minute. I done put my whole life online for a piece of chain. Like, it's crazy. But this but respect. You see what you just said, uh, kind of... T? You see what huh? you just said? It's, it's respect. So respect is from that individual correct and then that individual have people that follow so that's why I'm, that's why i be saying as far as like out here why it's hard to like get people attention because you got people that's respected and they minds the people that they respect and, and got followers is not the right people to be you know so-called a leader quote-unquote a leader because you know they they leading people down the wrong path they won't oh well, go on one boy we finna go see these motherfuckers out we finna go you know we finna go you know whatever like you feel me? it'd be the wrong leadership is what i'm saying so that's why i broke back down to like to the as a, people as an individual we got these low self esteem because if you low enough to be like if you know you say if a, if a motherfucker tell me like okay well come do this mr aboriginal and if i'm i'm like nah bro i'm chilling right now like if i ain't man enough to be like bro i'm chilling or you know you go handle your business like you feel me you got motherfuckers that be like all right let's go like yeah. it's, it's the people <laughs> as the individual is what i'm saying like and as it just bounced back to what you just said, like the respect level, because the people that's being respected out here is the motherfuckers that got these bullshit leadership skills, period. True. Word. Aboriginal powers in the building. What's up, bro? Man, what's cracking? What's going on, man? What's going on, everybody? What's good? Hey, what's up, so what's with you, bro? Oh, as well. 
We in the building, man. Man, some fire bill, man. I just listen to the brothers, man. Y'all absolutely right, man. About about everything that y'all saying when dealing with this shit, it gotta be dissected. You see what I'm saying? Our people are dealing with a severe case of of post traumatic, uh, you know what I mean? Syndrome. You feel me? We dealing with a with a with a type of diagnosis where where it's it's it's, it's essential to be able to diagnose it within early stages. You see what I'm saying? People go to war. You feel me over over a span over a whole continent for a few years and come home with PTSD. You know we got people like us in our Aboriginal family that's been put in our situations and we go to war with each other within a square block radius. You see what I'm saying over True. a lifetime. So so imagine how how our brains is and how we react. So we react in a militant, you know, uh, a celestial body. You feel me? So so. So any mis misleading that that's soothing to that militant mind, then you are gonna go with. And gang culture has been that private uh, entity. Yeah. Facts. That's that's just my word. You know what I mean? I know a lot okay. of people. You know, I ain't got no shame on, on nothing. But you know, everybody go through they through their life. You know what I mean? Motherfucker could have been whatever you was before you came into this knowledge as long as you you, you transition to which which where you want to be. I don't know nobody that's in no no sense. You feel me? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, some of the yeah. stuff you can't take back, you know, but you can't. You know, it you is can't, what it is. Really, yeah. You can't take back. And, and once you do a lot of shit, you come accustomed. And what I realized is you become a a man to mature, a lot of them didn't know what maturity was. So once they see it from somebody at a at a, at a lower rank than them, it, it changed their mindset as well. You feel me? You come to them yeah. like, listen, I put my flag up. I'm on this shit, though, bro. Look, I'm on this kind of shit. These symbols link in with the shit. I'm on her. You feel me? Like, we, you won't bang on a brother that's like you, but in the same position, but just happen to be on the, wearing a different color. We can bang on this motherfucker who came into our land and really took over, and he ain't the same color. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? True, so, true. So we got to learn how to utilize that. You feel me? True. Yeah. That's and that's true. what I'm. That's what I be thinking, man. Because it's it's like people, man. We got the wrong ide ideology when it comes to this game, man. Like I said, when it was back in the day, oh man, I loved it because it was more family orientated. It was more like you know, yeah. keep up with your homies, like you know, protect them, like you know, protect your section, protect your, you know. You know, people of, of your of your ethnicity and shit like that. Like, but right now, man, I'm telling you, it's just so weird. It's so much infiltration. It's so much bullshit. Everybody want to be the top dog. Everybody want to be known. It's like it's just weird, man. And I ain't like I, I'm getting older. I ain't you know I'm getting older and smarter. You know, some motherfuckers get older and dumber. Like you know, mm -hmm. I get older and smarter. Like it's OG still in the hood right now, doing nothing. Oh, mm -hmm. like you know what I mean? Some of them got some of them got something going, but uh, some of them don't. And the ones that's donors in the hood that's still struggling, like, nah, you can see their future. Why would I want to do the same thing he doing? Like, you know, I love the OG, but why would I want to do what you doing? Like, you know what I mean? And that's why I say it's the, the ideology of the individual, man. Like, we got to grasp individuals that got these 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 uh these people that's that's following the behind these bad leadership. We got to change the leadership of these people that got followers. Like, you know what I mean? That's what's gonna get the uh the shit cracking off as far as this gang banging stuff shutting that down because if we just trying to attack the individuals that don't got no power or the individuals that's under somebody else ranking, it ain't finna work because he gonna still get put in place to what he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? So it, 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 it's, it's weird. Yeah, man. I mean, yo, this is a it 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 apps as something that's that that for me, man. Like it, it was, you know, and just that all of it is just all the same experiences. As far as we were already, for instance, me and my cousin were already protecting each other, already fighting with each other, already doing stuff. So once he became the ops to them, I'm like, what the fuck? Hey, he ain't the ops to me. <laughs> like, this is my cousin. So I don't I didn't care about that part of it. You know what I'm saying? So. I, and and they just had to accept that it be you know what I mean like and I you know I just couldn't rationalize that or whatever, um, so I think like, once again we got to get back to the origin of it to to start talking about peace you know what I'm saying this is where it starts at you know what I'm saying how do we how do we take aggression and turn that energy into something positive 
Because we got aggression, we got pain, we got a lot of stuff. But a lot of that pain is economically based. We go back to that. Niggas that got shit to do and build and 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 they producing. They not they don't have time to, to be killing each other. They got they got shit to do. They got boats to buy and RVs and shit and babies to make. You know what I mean? They ain't got time to that's life. Life ain't um whatever these niggas think it is, that ain't what it is. So I think that's what it, that's when we talking about, you know, I don't know, you know, um, um, I, I do remember just being in, in a, in a mindset of like, this is exciting. Um, you know what I mean? Like y'all, y'all follow me like, yo, you know, like I'm, I'm getting my, my rep up, my weight up. Like, you know what I mean? Like niggas respect me in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, it's, it's a problem. Nigga, we, it's right here. You know what I'm saying? These streets. So I just think that just that whole, that mindset though was fueled by the music, was fueled by by movies. You know what I'm saying? So can y'all walk me through? You know, just we got different age groups or whatever, but I know music and movies definitely influence how I approach life. I don't know if it was life entertaining art or art entertaining life. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, they they'd be like, "Yo, they just made a movie about you niggas yesterday." I'm like, "What word?" You know what I mean? Like, y'all follow me? So I just I just how do y'all, how do you, how do you guys see that? I mean, I agree with you because you got youngers out here that see movies or see music videos and they glorify the things that they see. And it, it ain't even just with the dudes, it's with the women's. Like, don't get it twisted. I, it's a lot of women's out here that I have a, man, it's a, man, it ain't just with the dudes, it's with the women too. So, like, yeah, I, I agree. Like, I agree 100% with you, Chief. Like, people glorify stuff that they see, so. Yeah, we got to make this more glorable. If that's a word, I guess I just created one. Well, yeah, man. I mean, yo, this is crazy. Um, I mean, when we just talking about, man, just being influenced, by media, you know, um, I mean, that's a real thing, though, y'all. Like, for real, because I, I don't know if we would even buy. Um, uh, I mean, you know, like a movie or something that's that's not about, you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know. We like, I don't know. We bought the Cosby show, though. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I just think that I think that we have been shortchanged. I don't know if we shortchanged ourselves because I can just show you a whole bunch of drug dealer movies. Everybody a drug dealer, everybody a, a game bag, everybody a thief or drug, you know what I'm saying? A pimp. Like it's just it's just it, that perception, that art tends to be the perception of how we are. But we're everything. Just because you're a game game member, you can't be a a scientist. A physicist, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, a football player don't mean oh you can't be a president of the United States because you play football, and then you you a musician so you rap, so you can't you can't you can't do that. So I just think that we 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 put ourselves in positions of in boxes, you know what I'm saying? But what do you guys think about changing the perception of what a gang gangs are? You know what I'm saying? As far as being guardians, as far as being what they were started for. Hey, we 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 doing that right now. We kind of change the perspective right now because, like I said before, it started as a community thing. It started as people helping each other and staying together. So, <clears throat> if people can get that in a mindset of you know the, the perception that they already have of it being this negative thing and this derogatory thing, but that's not the origin of it. The origin of it is. You know, hey, bro, I got your back. You know, you need this, I got you. You know, oh, you need a ride to work. Like, it's all, you know, it was all about family. I don't care if y'all wasn't blood. It was all about that neighborhood. If y'all stayed in that same section, them little, them little areas, then y'all was, you know, y'all was the same, you know, I had to deal with each other. So we got to get back to those morals. But like I said, that's what y'all doing with these panels, man. Y'all breaking barriers about giving out information to people because it's a lot of people that don't know stuff. And then it's a lot of people that do know stuff. Like, I, I just had to go to the uh, court building uh, the other day for a traffic ticket and uh it's a cat up in there he talking this african stuff african stuff and 
I peeped the, uh, the dude he was talking to. He act fake like he was on the phone. He walked off. He walked off for about a good five minutes. He come back like trying to make eye, can't, eye contact with me. And he just smiled like, the, like you know, making his hands uh, sign saying like the dude talking too much. So I'm just laughing. Then he end up talking to him. We talking, talking, talking. So by the time he leave, I'm like, bro, I'm like, where are you from? You got people down south? He like, yeah, I think he said South Carolina or Georgia, one of them. But uh, I'm like, what tribe you from? He like, Geechee, off top, no hesitation. So it's people out here that know stuff, you know what I mean? But I don't know if he's been tapping in on these lives or anything, but, you know, it's people out here that's in tune. But like I said, he was an older cat. He wasn't no young cat. He was an older cat. But it, 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 like I said, man, y'all breaking barriers, y'all knocking stuff down because y'all found me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm, I'm you know, y'all found me. So that, 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 I'm, I'm a live, live and prove. Okay, yeah. Um, anybody? Okay, everybody else in there. Um, that's what's up, man. Definitely appreciate that, man. Uh, um, I mean, man, you know, like I said, I've been I've been thinking about this for a while, y'all. Like, you know, um, even making this a series, man, and reaching out to brothers, man, and sisters, you know, in the culture, interviewing people in the culture, you know, um, not necessarily trying to get in anybody else's lane that do that. But, you know, even interview those guys, I interview those guys in that coach, in the coach, whatever, because I'm going to have the same. This, I'm going to have the same um, questions for them as well. Like, OK, well, I, we know this. Everything that we we know, all this, everything that's happening has happened and it's going to happen tomorrow. Right. We know that. OK, so what are we going to do to change the trajectory of history of your neighborhood, your community, or your community? is Wakanda, for instance, you know what I'm saying? And not in the old African sense, but in just, you know, um, shout out to Nip, Rest in Paradise to the great Nipsey Hussle. Um, shit he was on was next level, man, inspiring. You yeah. know, um, so kind of talk on that, brother, you know, uh, from the, his perspective of what the things he was doing, bringing back to the community, brother. I mean, to be honest, I kind of got with a, some of the major things he was doing at the end, like, you know, once he passed away, but, you know, he was keeping a lot of people, like, as far as the game, like, it wasn't no really gun, gun violence. Like I said, he from 6-0, and he, that one video he had when he was riding, riding in the car, he went through every enemy hood you can think of because there's nobody in L.A. like them, and that's just honest, you know, the neighborhood card, a lot of people don't like that neighborhood card in, uh, in L.A., so, like, he, he touched right, a lot of people, fact, so... As a matter of fact, now he did though. Matter of fact, yeah, it's, it's a big thing for sixties to ride through the neighborhood because, like, you know, sixties got a thing where you know they don't allow, you know, Mets in Yankee Stadium. You know yeah. what they say. Uh, so you know, uh, for that to be a big thing, but I, 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 I think Nipsey did, you know, had a good impact on some of his economic passion. But you know, I believe that that he was doing other things that that I, that I probably wouldn't agree on. Like, like you know, dealing with these Arabs and, and, and that situation. So, you know. Yeah, but ain't his people was in like they, they, like, ain't that like kind of his daddy look Arabish? Right, right. Now, you, uh, you right, uh, hold on. But yeah, like, just to, just to, uh, piggyback off what I was saying. Uh, I mean, he spoke a lot of stuff within his music. That's why a lot of people uh, rocked with him. So he changed a lot of a lot of people's state of mind within his music. Like if you ask me, no, nah, he did. Like a, a lot of people just as bandwagon hoppers. But I've been listening to Nipsey since two thousand and five, two thousand and six. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying on a regular though. You know what I'm saying because you know in my particular area where I was, it was a lot of niggas who really fucked with Nipsey. Because of the uh, his his affiliation with certain shit, but uh, yeah, man, like like I said, he is from six. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. He, uh, so you know, I spoke with Big U before myself. You know what I mean. So you know, uh, that whole 
mentality has done switched. It's the propaganda that you see through through social media, and, and, and that that make you think that it's still actors like it. Yeah, he he was really loved, man. Like I said, I can't I can't just say like you know I'm not no I don't follow every move of people, but you know what I mean. You know I'm not that celebrity like type of person, like but. He was one of them people that I did keep an eye on. Like I said, he did a lot of good things. Like, you know, he was one of those people that, like I said, with the gang thing, for him to have it in control like the way he did, even with the uh, the Mexican mafia, because he, people, a lot of people sleep on that too. The six O's is getting into it with them too. So uh, we're not necessarily the Mexican mafia, but, you know, the Mexican gangs, I was over there. But, uh, you know, they was pretty big gangs. You know, they activated as well. And he kind of like put that at a halt. So... Even that's a big thing because they was worn for a long time. So, like I said, he he made a big standpoint. I think whatever had happened with his with his death, they was trying to prevent something because a lot of stuff have been jumping off since he died. Like you know what I mean? You know, people start back getting to how you know some certain things. What well, it didn't just go right back, but slowly for sure you start seeing stuff happening. So, not saying that it wasn't happening when he was here, but not at the rate that right. you know it started just happening once he left. So. He did I mean, have a lot of certain that, things. You right. You have your spurts of some of these big players and some of these games that have impacts directly after they, uh, you know, falling or whatnot. You know what I mean? Or they demise or whatnot. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, that shit was at a halt at, at its height. When it was at its height of gang beef, you know, when Tukey Williams died, you know, that shit got put at a halt. I mean, literally the first time niggas ever seen Bloods and Crips in one area, you know what I'm saying? For, for you know, since the beginning. You feel me? Yeah, Flat yeah. tied together. You feel me? So, you know, that was a big thing. And, and and it was similar to what happened with Nipsey, which is, you know, usually after the death, you know what I'm saying? Which, you know, it could be, you know, I guess they just had a cookie crumble for the lack of argument. But uh yep. you know a- we, we we for be for brothers that that's been on the same thing that's no longer not with that but that's pushing the type of content to free your mind, you just as big as an impact as a Nipsey or as a Tukey Williams as well. True, 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 true. Because I'm, I'm I'm, mostly, my whole focus is the kids, yeah, you know what I mean? Because you, you feel me? So the saying, kids, you can't. Impactful, you know, all of them. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. Because like I said, my whole focus is the kids because you can't, you know, you can't teach your old dog new tricks. That that dog gonna have to teach his own self some tricks. Like, you know, sometimes you can you can lead him to water, but you know he ain't gonna trust you to tell you. You know you, you can tell him like, "Hey, bro, this water, this water clean, it's fresh. You can drink it." He might not believe you, so you know it's either he gonna stop, you know he gonna uh, die from uh, from 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 uh, no not having water, or he you know he gonna drink the water or trust you. So like I said, at the end of the day, it still b- bounces back to that ad- individual man. Like because I see it every day. I'm I see it up close and personal with people and. I'm, you know, I'm talking to these people. I'm hearing these people. You know, I'm not the type of person that, you know, I'm talking a little bit now, but I'm normally the person that will listen to a person. Like, you know, I have to be very observant. So I, I feel these people vibrations and stuff. And like I said, you got people that's weak as an individual, man, that's not strong enough to be like, hey, because if you talk to them or if you allow them to speak, they'll tell you what they really own, but then their actions will be otherwise. So it's like, I don't know, man. I just, I wish the best for everybody, but like I said, I, my whole focus is the kids and just push prosperity and peace to them. And like you said, get, make sure they know who they are. Make sure they stay away from the BS because I got nephews. He he. Uh, we got you know certain rappers that's from the uh, from the section that's uh, getting known or whatever. And he idolized like how Chief was just speaking. He idolizing that. He glorifying that. And, you know he got now. I hear him. I see him saying "cuz" and stuff. Now I'd be out there to check him. Like, hey, bro. Like you know, kick back. Like, you know, you ain't, you you don't be over there. Like, you know, so it, it, it's like how she was saying that the TV, the Instagram, the Facebook, all this stuff play a part, the music, all this stuff plays a part, you know, so we got to change more than, you know, we can't just say, oh, this one thing going to change it. We got to change a whole lot of stuff, you know, for that, for that gang stuff to really just be like, okay, well, we see, you know what I mean? Because there's so much distractions within that, you know, and they living off hopes and dreams of, of and, and glory. You know what I mean? That's basically what the gang is, is just living off glory. So once we take that glory away from the show them that that glory is bullshit, it's all an illusion. And, you know, yo, your real glory is this. And then maybe hopefully we, you know, we, we get a better uh, outcome with people. But 
yeah, man, y'all y'all doing a good job, man. Just stay doing what y'all doing, man. And, you know, pass information because I learn every day. Even if y'all just on here talking, going at it, you learn every day. You know what I mean? So I appreciate y'all, man. And that's real. Yeah, man, that's what's up. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, so what's your take on the chief? Oh, which which aspect of it now? Just the whole gang aspect, and you know. How you how you feel that you know it could be a, a change if you feel that it's something that you can change that you that you think that might can change it and will make a big impact because like I said it would if I had if I had uh, unlimited resources uh, billions of dollars of resources I mean of 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 a budget every year annually right I would in, immediately clean the streets up of America. The murder rate, the crime rate, rate will go down immediately. The whole focus of what these these groups and the young men, uh, they'll be lined up to join the groups on the positive side, not on the negative side. There ain't going to be no dumb shit. It's going to be some real shit, some community-based shit or whatever. Niggas going to be wanting to spring up groups. You know what I'm saying? This is how you know influential this will be. You know what I'm saying? The young little boys, we can't wait to grow up to be old enough to be a part of these groups because these groups are honored and respected and they're protecting the community. That's what's up. That's what I would do with the resources. America would be all, all the magic immediately. Right? Immediately. Right? Drugs and crime wouldn't fund our community. Right? But peace and prosperity would. And that's just what we would do. They can they can go print up a whole bunch of other dumb shit, other dumb shit. So print it up for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it don't make sense to me at all. Create jobs by creating peace. Okay, so what will we do for the what will we do for the ones that don't that you know that feel like they don't want they don't want to work because we got we got a decent amount of those. Like, you know, how will we how will we go about trying to pull them on and getting them to like, man, we need you, we need your, you know, your energy, you know, we need you. So I, so we, okay, so they so they will be the opposite of peace, right? That those guys would be, right? Oh, so you, you, so don't you just got some people just gonna just gonna just be the opposite of that, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to say. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's extreme. I'm... It's extreme consequences across the board. Like exactly. we're not gonna have no prisons. Y'all can go to their prisons. We we can send you there. That'll be the the worst case scenario for you. I mean, the best case scenario for you. The other other thing is we just gonna get rid of you because it don't make no sense because we've already. This is what it is. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? This this it right here, my nigga. Like you know, it's basically it's, it's, every, it's abundance of everything. Yeah. If, if they don't want to make themselves useful, why even try to like? You shouldn't even be breathing. Yeah. You shouldn't even be breathing. I right, because you're going to breathe that same type of nigga. Yeah. You need to go. I'm just saying, like, for real. Nah, I get, you can go do I that get, over there. Get, you don't need to be over here in this community. You know what I'm saying? Like the nah, shit that New, New Era of Detroit and Chicago's doing, right? Like, you would think that the police, right, would have been helping them clean up the community. They were literally picking trash up in Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? South side of Chicago. Like, yeah. this one, this, you know, it, so they got to worry about the police. They're bringing, not only clean up the community, they're bringing the children together. Then the police turn around and they put a bait truck right next to a basketball court. Like, really? A Nike shoes just sitting there. Like, you don't think them kids, them, them, them babies ain't smart enough to know that, hey, man, it's the police. Man, we don't care. Fuck the police. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we, you know, we just bad. We just, we hungry. Right. We, wow. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, they just want some attention. You know what I mean? So don't even do that. Nike, fuck Nike too. They should have came in there with they with them shoes and like, yo, this we're gonna sponsor these these this court. We're gonna sponsor these babies 
keep them out of trouble and bring some some hope, like somebody care about the community. And that's what it's really about. You got to not, you ain't no money in this. You you going to really care. You know what I'm saying? Like you really going to 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 bring peace and love to the to the community, man. So that's what it's really about. Um, to me, to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, uh, people know who's authentic, man. You you know. Um, and so, well, that's another thing. You know, Nip was on, man. You know, he was definitely, um, um, you know, putting stuff in his music, man. Yeah, because I, I go back, too. So, he was definitely putting stuff in his music that a lot of the people don't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You you know what I'm saying? So I think I think that's one thing that you know if people go back and say musically, you know, um, you know, even though Wax said what he said, nah, musically Nip was a a, a musical legend just because he wasn't recognized like Vanilla Ice or something. That's being sales, well then that makes MC Hammer a musical legend. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that nigga had a cartoon. Ain't no rappers had a cartoon. Right. So. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? So it's like some people think Eminem is a musical legend when, well, he's more influential to to, to hip hop culture or to American culture than Lord Jamar. Well, guess what? He's not. Lord Jamar is way more valuable. They're not even on the same. Like Eminem don't even make a blip on the influence positively into a, 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 a Aboriginal culture at all. Let's just start hey, there. I'll label Zero. Sugar Free as a legend before I label Eminem. I, man, look, uh, <laughs> uh, um, motherfucking, uh, uh, cause I got high. Then, uh, man, Afro man. Shout out to that brother. Man. What is that brother's name? Afro man. Uh, Afro man. Shout out to Afro man, man. Afro man um, man. I mean, yo, like that's real talk. Like he's he's more influential to the culture than than Eminem. So when we talk about Lord Jamar, the, the, the commentary, the things, the the, the keeping hip hop pure, like Eminem should have known off top that he's this is a god. So off top, you you not you're the devil. I don't even and, and no matter what, how many numbers that he got in this conversation, right? That doesn't make him more influential in the culture than Lord Jamar. The fact. That he even answering and making songs and was coming at Lord Jamal means that shows his his power because he don't, he don't have the numbers for you. Then that way you be coming at everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So you you prove his 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 relevancy in the culture. You see what I'm saying? So in, in his culture and just the shit that he talks about in his commentary on his podcast and stuff like that. Shout out to Rod Digger. Shout out to Godfrey. Yeah. Shout out to Rage, DJ Rage. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's, what it's, that's what it's about, man. You know, that it, Eminem can't fuck with that. He ain't even on that. It's not even the same. It's not even, I don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah, he can't compare at all. People think it's about some songs, some music. Yeah, damn. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he was pushing his structure anyway, all. so I never could rock with his music anyway. Right. He was always some weird, weird rapper. But I wonder how many people would listen to Eminem when they over the OD. You know what I'm saying? On some fucking prescription mm -hmm. pills. So yeah, yeah, man. Nah, niggas be talking crazy as hell, man. Let me put the link back in the chat room, man. Anybody in there, man? Shout out to Mr. Dixon in the building. Uh, we got the guy that's Gretchen Helm in the building. Shout out to Gretchen. Uh Link, please. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just looking at the chat room. Damn, damn. 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 Uh, we got Future Teller in the building. <clears throat> Rick Ross, why 50 Cent can't do me like Ja Rule. He's from Pahokee, Florida. Shout out to Pahokee, Florida. Hey, what what uh what's the major city that you near in Pahokee, man? I don't have a map in front of me right now. Uh Rick Ross. <laughs> Link is in the chat room for all my gangbangers out there, man. Calling all gangbangers, man. Getting y'all <laughs> getting y'all perspective. Uh Johnny Alves is in the building. Yeah, his mama was uh uh American Aborigine. We got 
I am you in the building. Peace, I am you. Who else we got in the building? Uh, Chief Wahoo's in the building. Peace of the God. Uh, yeah, man, we in the building, man. Like we we in a, we doing our thing, man. Um, let's see what we got, man. Uh, yo, so bro, Black Wolf is in the building. We got Mississippians in the building. The gangs have no structure. Their yeah, OGs are 25 and 27 years old. Well, no. they would definitely they they would definitely be older than Fred Hampton. So I don't know if age has anything to do with um, morality and mindset. And y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I was I, like, I promise you, I, I, we could have a whole nother conversation face to face. Like, y'all know what I'm saying? Like this. Hey. Um, so I just think it's in perspective. I think we got to put things back into perspective. We got to raise the frequency. Let's see. Raise the frequency on this thing, yeah. Sister Betty, OG Sister Betty, aka Love, is in the building. Peace, sis. Hey, Triple OG. I promise I'm only gonna be on for ten minutes. Then I'm going back in the chat. But I was listening to you say that you wanted to develop ways on how to help these young men that's on the streets and, you know, transition their lives into more positive ways. And I I have an idea, if you'd like me to share. Absolutely. Well, the first thing is, now, when you say you want to help, you know, our people in the communities across the states, that's a cause, right? So what you want to do is start a 501c3 and people, everything that goes on today pretty much is by investment or donation. You can literally start a 501c3, which is strictly geared towards helping young men be employed, get employed in our communities across the state where they could clean up our inner cities. And the donations will fly in. I mean, from people, you'd be surprised how many, how much donations you get that will pay their salaries for them to have jobs in the community. Once you establish that 501c3 and let them know that the cause is to help stop and com combat the gang violence in our communities, but we have to give them jobs. We have to give them jobs. Jobs anywhere from um, demolitioning abandoned buildings and that makes communities look really bad. We have men that are skillful in demolitioning buildings and then rebuilding them. But we, if we get donations from everybody, people will start donating and say, okay, well, we do want to keep them employed. So how do we keep them employed? By our donations. And donations can go a long way. Donations can come from um, taking money, people willing to um, take money, have money automatically taken out of their paycheck, whether it's from $5 a month to $20 a month. And it goes directly to the cause, which pays the salaries for our men that's in the streets, pays their salaries for them to get jobs. But what have we done to our communities? We've damaged them by our violence and our bad habits. So how do we do? How do, what do we do? We fix it back up. We do the opposite. We start fixing and rebuilding our communities. And how? By giving these men that want to put back in the communities that they damaged, who wants to turn around and fix up what they damaged. You'd be surprised how many companies Will, would love to donate to your cause. And I'm not talking five hours. I'm talking thousands and millions to help. They say, well, if, you know, these, you know, people in the hood, they, they want, they, they, they look like they're finally trying to help their people and not leaving it to us, uh, leaving it up to the rich 
have um, always, you know, put their money in. They say, well, we see them trying to do something, actually do something. They have a cause created. Now, I can donate for that. And, and that's how they really look at things. But a lot of times, our people start these little programs, but then they turn out to be crooks and take the money for what the purpose of the cause is. So we have to get some trusting people in there that's going to be honest with our people and pay them their salaries for doing hard work. Because remember, they're going to start getting paid for doing the cleaning up in the neighborhoods and fixing it up. And they have families. So we have to pay them their money. So, I mean, that's one good idea. I, I see it every day happen. All causes are 501c3s created. And they get all their money from donations. We have a crippling, terrible thing going on in our community where it's it's, it's catastrophic. And, and the catastrophic things that's happening is we're killing each other. So we have to do something. It's our problem. It's not society's problem. These are our children doing this to each other. And we got to step in and help them. I'm not funding no other organization. I want. I think we should create one so we know that the money is going to the cause that we need. I don't want to join a, a big brother program and donate to them because, as far as I'm concerned, I don't. I, I'm. I'm not. I don't like what they're doing. We need to create our own cause for our own purpose. And that's for, it's strictly for keeping gang members off the street. Youth at risk. We give them job. We help them turn around. I relinquish my mic. What do you think? I, I really think somebody else from the audience should really come up on the panel and help out with this. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you guys in the audience think? Is that something that sounds promising and positive? We have to, that's a way of giving, that's called giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to go to church to learn how to behave. We can teach our kids how to behave. And that's why so many gangsters don't go to church because they don't, they, it's, church is just not laid out to, to help our people in the way, in the manner in which they need to be helped. You know what I mean? You know, that's the issue. Mm -hmm. Churches always want you, churches get a lot of donations, but they always want you to join their church in order to benefit from it. Uh-uh, hell no. I'm not getting in nobody's church shouting and clapping no tambourine while my son is out there killing somebody. And my son ain't coming in here because he ain't no little fairy that's going to be clapping his hands and banging on no tambourines. So we need to do things. We need to create um, 501c3s for our causes that we want to support. I relinquish my mic. Thank you, Sister Bethany. Absolutely. And um, um, yeah, there's things, there's things that's already existing. And there's things that, you know, a lot of times when you see stuff that there's a need, you just got to be like, fuck it. You're going to be the one to do it. And then other people, I, I have a, a mindset, you build it, they'll come. You know what I'm saying? So, um, hey, we got Mr. Meticulous in the building. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm always good. How are everybody doing? Gang, gang, everybody's good, man. We uh, we're talking gangs of America, man. Right. What's going down? Well, first of all, I think Sister Bethy has a um great idea. I um I think that um we have to fund it ourselves, and we also have to put in the footwork for the foundation because every time they call something help in our community, it always end up being backed by them and. So so much as a phone call 
is sufficient to take care of the problem and then they really just push it off so like she like sister bethy said i think that um um we have to be in control of everything we we are all of the lawyers and the social workers in our communities um we have some our color too so if 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 it's someone that um handles the financial side why don't we donate ten dollars a month to the cause and um as for being in the community doing the footwork um i was talking la uh, one time on um chief holiday's channel and i and one of my things is to have a training facility um where we work with all the major equipment and training on computers and all these things where when um when we go in and show our skill level i think that it far surpass um anyone's skill level when we get down and do the work i i don't care what anyone says so with with, with proper tra training on the equipment and everything um um we get to build a the curriculum and everything i think that we could actually um build something and um that's what i want i want a training program to put my people out here um with uh all the tools that they need and um so that's that's one of the parts to add to what sister bethy is talking about and um that's my addition to that as far as gangs concerned um i don't want to change the subject but i that's what you said we was talking about i never been in a gang or a part of an organization um i understand my people my brother um he was in a gang uh i'm from louisiana um but i think we're looking at it messed up i think which our information is saying that um we are indians and it haven't been that long ago that um we were running the world doing things a certain kind of way so with that being said ain't that like being a click having a borderline don't cross my line and we were staying here before them so maybe some of us didn't mix you know what i'm saying but when it was time to come together they took out all the chiefs and when it's time to come together we don't know how to pull together because we separated and not under a structured person to have the ability to pull it all together. So um, um, I don't know. Um, I was always on the outskirts and I seen when the government started putting gangs on, uh, like the name on and the tag on, uh, on, on, on us with the gang culture. And so I was like, dang, look at my people. And then they could wrap us up in a group like that so um i was always close as hard so, oh, to i people. thought every i thought every young black man was a gang member brother um no sir i've never been in a gang sir ever um ever we um, have I'm, I'm 42 years old i'm mm -hmm. 42 years old i've never been in a gang mm -hmm. um even in uh so when i was in college you know i um um let me see how i want to say it um i i could i'm gonna just use the word shy i'm a shy person so um so every every what you call it fraternity wanted me to join um i think i was like that or in the hood too so you know what i'm saying i was just, i was just around everybody i just couldn't um stop money like to me I think that I thought that stopped the money. So if you was only blood, you can only deal with blood. Like I understand about how you keep your border, but I don't. I didn't see the beef. So so to me, I was like, man, I got to mess with both sides because I'm an individual. So that's how I kind of rocked it. But to me, um, I think that I consider myself looking after my people too. So if you listen to all I talk about, I could just see stuff happening without me being a part of it and don't know how to change it or something like that. So, nah, I've never been in the game. I, I pay attention to my people and what's happening though. Um, and I respect um, gang members too, like um, the, the right kind. Like to me, when you have the information and the structure 
You know what I'm saying? Like some people like have education, like where it came from and stuff like that. And when I come around some people and they don't have any of that, like I don't even want to hear anything. But I never respect it. Um, I always talked against anybody who would pick their hands up against me. And then um, like when I was in the joint, uh, dude picked up his hands against me like, come on, let's go fight. Um, we, we pulled to the side and talked. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hey, man, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm, I'm trying to go. But I see you running around here with these white boys that's running things and you ain't said nothing to do yet. You know what I'm saying? But but come on, let's let's go and take it to the bathroom. Or whatever. He came back and he apologized later. But but the fact of the matter is that's what hurt my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Because I told him, hey, man, I go put one in my hand. I get mad at you and go put my hands on dude first. I go find one to pick on before I hit you. So that's how I feel about that um, period. And um, my dude, um, AP was just on here. Happy Earth Day, brother. So one thing I wanted to say to him was, I just watched his video, uh, Pyramids in uh, California. And um, um, I just sit from the outskirts. I don't know anything, but I'm on here. And, and this is what I think is all about. Um, I wanted to, I came on here for help. I, re, I really came on here for help. This is a, this is a black man saying he want to help his people and he ain't got no help. That's, that's what you want to see. So, um, Hey chief, they said something last time about you not showing my face. So you can put my face on here and I want to, I want you to see what one help look like. You got to take that little banner or whatever out the screen and all that. Can you hear me, Chief? Can everybody hear me? I can hear you. Mm -hmm. I just asked him. We were thinking the same way. I just asked him to remove the banner. You hurt my heart. You almost got me in here ready to cry. Um, um, I'm a grown man. So sometimes I don't care. You still a baby. Sometimes I be wanna cry. And for the last two you days, still our baby. So the last two days, um, I cried a couple times. Yeah. So it's gonna be all right. Nah, um, I'm 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 good. I'm here. I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do. I'm mm -hmm. gonna continue to help my people and my family, right? So mm -hmm. so to me, so I'm I'm gonna tell you this. Um I produced all girls, like women, uh, women to like people look at it different, like um, <laughs> um, you know, as they want a son or whatever. So anyway, mm -hmm. it is what it is. I produced all girls. Oh, uh, so, how many babies uh, you got? I got four. Oh, right? four girls. They so, gonna beat you down. <laughs> so they all they all line they all line um line to the earth right that's what we said all the women got a line to the earth directly through um, um through their umbilical cord so the first my first male first born um i had to give him back to the earth yesterday and i did not like it um um i am a father that had to tell a child um, how to feel about losing a child when I've never lost a child. And I have to be, be there for her and be strong for her through that. So um, um, I, I, I gave my ancestors something and I want something in return. I and I already started asking them for it. So when y'all been seeing me on here, y'all been seeing me in the morning. Um, so what I'm asking for help with is, um, are you there, bro? What, what I need help with is. Um, I asked my grandmother some questions. Yeah. Can you ask your grandma some questions? 
If I, don't, I, 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 I don't know what's up. I'm on computer. It never freezes up. I don't know. I can hear you now. It's fine. You left off with you asked your grandma some questions. I, I know um, on my father's side and my mother's side, I'm tied to the earth. Mm -hmm. um, um, I work hard for it, like I said, for my family and my people, but um, mm -hmm. I want help proving it and I need help proving it. You know, I'm a grind for everything that I need to. Um, I don't have the information that I need. And um, and I think that that's what the world has been missing is a grown man saying, I don't have what I need and I need help. Mm -hmm. and, um, what, what, what do you need help with? It's okay. Mr. C Meticulous, can you um, tell me the last time you were happy in your life when you had no worries? You was just happy. Happy. And, and didn't never worry about nothing. When was the last time? Uh, my job is to make sure everybody else happy. No, but when was the last time? Seriously. I just, that you was happy. With me. Uh -huh. I, just, I just told you my truth. You know, what? I can't tell it no other way. Like I, I um I can't remember. I can't remember that. Were you a um, little boy? Um no, nah, my mother died when I was seven and my my father was jailed the same year. Um uh, that didn't, that didn't happen. Yeah. So you, so you can't remember um, the last time. Really, so. I, I got to see happiness in other people, and that's why I've never been happy. No, but that's so what your that's, problem is. You got to find. You you got to remember the happiness within yourself first before you can find it in other people. You can't keep doing that to yourself. I, you know, I conducted a um, biopsychosocial assessment of myself. And I mean, I remember the last time I was happy. Um, and it was a very long time ago. Very long time ago. I was, uh, I tell, you know, people, I was, I was 16. And I done been married, and that was the last time I was happy. And, then, and a lot of times when we look back to when we were happy, we then have to look and see what we were doing at that time when we were happy. This, I'm just showing you how I learned how to find happiness back within myself. Because right now, you can't keep going on spending your life looking for happy in people. You got to heal yourself first. So right now, you are really let, 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 let me help you I understand. Mean, you, just, you said you were seven years old. You lost your mom. So that's detachment right there. And then you said your daddy was gone. Yes. But, so, but, see, but see, you have to understand. Hold on, hold on. But you have to understand that in the midst of all of that, right, um, if, you ask, if you ask me, I'm always good. You know, um, and I um I always smile and I always do this and that, and you know I just um uh I keep people off of my bad side. Oh, that's not a good side, and I know that. But but so I know how to keep him in check. All I'm saying. So um, but as far as you know, you know, being able being able to portray whatever I want to portray, like I could do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I could, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am the strength of the people that I need to be. 
You know what I'm saying? Because because when the people yeah. around you, this what yeah. this what it is. Like you could say, look for for it if you want, but um, I could say within me, I have enough peace and love for me and a lot of others, and I think that I prove it. The problem okay. is yeah. when the people around you, you know what I'm saying, won't represent yeah. that love, and they don't have it at all. So you know what I'm saying. Sometimes it's right. They they right here, like right close to you. Like sometimes. So it's clear. It's very clear. You're a very strong man, and you develop your own coping mechanism. Or, or maybe, good. or maybe I'm happy within. Maybe anyway, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah, like I'm I'm just saying, here, you know what I'm saying. Under the circumstances, like we have to deal, and so I'm not going to yeah. sit and look at my circumstances and say this, that, or the other. Like stuff need to be done. Right, but I'm just saying, just from you know what you told me, I, I, it's clear you're a strong man, a strong soldier, but like every copper-colored man, they all have two and a half strikes against them in society and nobody wants to help them. And that's painful for me. And that's and why, and that's why, Miss Bethy, I have to be, be strong and you know what I'm saying for them, them, these youngsters that I talk to all the time, and the old heads that I talk to all the time, like, like I have to, you know, um, I gotta stand up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You get that together at the house. You should have taught them before you brought them. And you know what I'm saying? So that's what somebody yeah. told me or whatever. Well, uh, like, at chess or something. But yeah, uh, you know. are, are you ready to start? Uh, I'm not, are you ready to start a business of your own that helps the young man? Is that something you're looking for? Because I, I, I'm I'm not clear on what you said you really need help with. Okay. So. I have a business that I use to help the community with. Okay. Uh, um, I I had problems um with um the structure of the people in my community and the pool of my demographic. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I and I'm at hold on. Like I pay my people. So what the the competition pays. For labor, I'm I'm right there in the same group. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing I'm not gonna do is have my people out here asking them to do something, and they just got to that level. They was just paying nine seventy seven, maybe four or five years ago. And mm -hmm. um, um, when I came out, when I got out of prison in 2015, I probably started my business in 2016. Um, mm -hmm. I'm starting at twelve dollars an hour with no with no, no anything. Like you don't have to have anything, just show up to work. So most of the time I pick people up, you know, um, we have to help each other and, and teach each other to make certain steps. So um, I, I kind of understand the, the fundamentals of all of that, but it was just hard to keep people. And so I still back to look at what I needed. And um, so, so I'm, I'm structuring my business a certain kind of way based on what's going on, but I really would like that training facility and being able to put out train work for others. And um, so like when you start talking about um, all the vehicles that I have and you need uh, maintenance on those and um, small injury repair on all of the, um, I mean, it's, it's everything, but not only do I do um, have a lawn service, I cater to, um, property management so if i want the lawn like i i like i i talk to the big man and i work my way up and um i don't know it's, it's just some kind of way like i have a way with people and i end up talking to the right person and so um if you're a property manager i want to do everything on it i don't want anybody on my um on my property so if you need the roof done i don't care if i i just plant plants I need to know a roofer 
figure out how to root, you know what I'm saying? And be able to provide it. And that's where I get to dig in my community deeper. Okay. I want a, a um, Aborigine roofer. And that's what I've always done. And um, so, so, so I it sounds, my, my, my phone about to, sorry. It sounds to me like, okay, you already have a business, but it sounds to me like you're, you're you're running your business and surviving off of your business, meanwhile helping people in the community off the money you're generating for your business. So it sounds to me like the help that you need is to start a 501c3 yourself and get donations. But, but I, so I think about those too, but like I said, I'm I'm one person and and even though I'm, I know, I, but I, you I, I got a lot to do, like you know, I'm one person. But I just heard you say that to him, but but that's not what I asked for help for. What I was asking for help for was my grandmother. Like mm -hmm. um um I try to put her on a plane. She, she loved she loved to fly, right? Mm -hmm. um, and um, so um, I said, sure, I'm working to buy her an airplane one day. But I think one of the best things that I could do is um, 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 the best things that I could do is tie her to this earth. And since I've been talking to her about it and interviewing her, I've seen some kind of spark in her. And I think she take notes on the side and everything to come back and talk to me about. And um, I would like just like to prove who she is before she leave. And um, I would like to get that information from her. And I, you know what I'm saying? And when, when I free her, everybody that she brought on, that she always get um, um, at all the family events, she says, um, Look at all y'all. She said, well, none of y'all be here if it wasn't for me. And so, so are you saying that you need genealogy help to try yeah, and man, find I, out? I, I, wanted, I, oh. I, want, I want to prove. Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. I want to prove everything um, for my family. I want to I want to I, I want to prove it to my family, my grandmother. I want her. I want to save my grandmother before she passed. How, how old is your grandmother? Um, she's 85. She's healthy. Oh my goodness. She's sharp as a tack. She's oh. healthy. She was born in 1935. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So have you have you been able to sit down with her to find out who her mama is and her uh, grandmama? So she's traced her great great grandmother. Wow, and she's 85. She was she was she was living. She was 115 years old when she died. And oh my goodness. So that would put her around 1829, 1830. And okay. so, so this 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 can't shouldn't be hard at all. Your what you need to do is you need to sit down and write down their maiden names on your on your grandmama's side, the maiden names, and on your grandfather's side. But I say just start with the mother's side. Don't try to do both at one time. It's always I, easier I that to do you. it from the like, matriarchal. I, I, huh? really listen, I really listen to y'all. Like I, I've started that. I have the maiden names of all the people that, you know, I, I go pretty slow and then I come back to some stuff and ask a couple questions. Like I have um, pretty decent information. I think okay, it's so what I need. I, where, I have notes upstairs. Where's your family out of? What state? Natchez, Louisiana is where she's from. Oh wow. That's a uh, Creek Choctaw. I, I, I can't remember. Um, um, um I, heard I don't want to ask you your information on online. I, I much rather speak with you. Um but you know what? Since you're on the panel, I'm gonna put my email address in the back chat and I put if mine in. I put mine. I put mine on the air, and here you go. When when I went to prison, like um, I, I heard Chief say just a while ago that um, when when we was older, we didn't, you know, we moved a certain kind of way. Well, you know, I moved like that, solder like that, all my life. Like um, if you if you wasn't in the business, you shouldn't even know about it. But when when them people 
um, put my name out there and they started calling me Gerald Wilson. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. Then everybody know. So um, don't, you know, um, I'm, um, I don't have a, uh, a, a alias no more. They took that because the alias was for them. I was ducking them. I was changing phones and all of that for them. So, I, I mean, I, I don't want to put my, my family's information out like that, but my um, right. um, but my uh, email address is meticulouslandscaping at gmail.com. Okay, let me wait so, a minute. I'm going to write that down and then send you some information. And so, as one sure. word, just add landscaping um, at gmail.com at the end is spelled correctly on the screen, but without the mister. I don't have a mister in front of the um, email. Um, I bet if I did my, my, my father's genealogy, like, um, I know it's a lot there, and I know it's a lot associated with land and other stuff, but um, it's my grandmother's side. That's who raised me. Um, I was young, and I couldn't pick to go be around everybody. So um um she in me. She she was there for me all this time. I need to save her. Okay, oh, so and not too I'm many talking. not too many brothers as brave as you to come up and express their need for help. So me being me, I'm gonna send you an email and Tomorrow when I get off of work, and this is a promise, I'm gonna call you and stay on the phone with you and do your genealogy right from my from my um office desk. And I'm gonna do the best I can. And I believe I you. And I thank and you. And I appreciate get you. Off of work tomorrow, I'm gonna sit down and and I'm gonna call you. But you have to be willing to stay on the phone with me for maybe a couple of hours because I got to, you know, search, you know, two different sites and try to bring it down. Are you around your grandma? Um, I'm actually in Kansas City, Missouri right now. But if you call, if, if me and you talk, I could call her on the phone. Like You can I'm get like her on the phone quickly. three well, call. Well, she actually worked in the city of where she from right now. So she, 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 she worked to five, five years old and working to five o'clock and she liked to go to school and stuff too. Like she, Oh my goodness. Yeah. She, she is a sharp she, shooter. <laughs> yeah. So I promise you, I'm going to email you my number in a few minutes. And then when I get off work, I'm getting myself comfortable, call you. And just cause you came on here like that, I have to help you. I do. And I will. I appreciate it. Um, okay. I thank everybody on here for um, like uh, to me. I just wanted to reach out, and this is why um, I came on is for help. Like I knew where I was headed. Um, I think I got the Dane Callaway book in yesterday, um, and I was I was about to take off, and that's all that I know how to do. So. Um, um, I know that when I get taught what to do, I've already talked to my friends, grandmothers and stuff that's here in Kansas City. Um, as far as interviewing their grandmothers and stuff, I know somebody that got a check one time in Arkansas and then she moved up here. So she never got a check again. So like, um, like I, 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 I talked to a lot of grandmothers like since I've been, like I said it the other day on Chief Supreme's, um, like this is what I believe. and. I never knew anything. Like I just walk around and pay attention. And when I heard something, I went and asked my grandmother some questions. And that's what made me a believer, period. I don't need no one to tell me anything. I don't know anything. Did she tell you? Did she tell you that you was Indian? So, so different different people in my family back in the day always um like said, like we got Indian search and such on this side of the family was Indian, but not directly like LinkedIn like that. So, I bet you nobody didn't tell you that you came from Africa. I, I asked her directly. I say, um, um, Adil, like, um, did you know any um Africans? And she said, No, baby, I ain't. I, I haven't ever met an African. And she, <laughs> <had it. laughs> that's what she said. And um, that's she said. Crazy. So I asked her. I took her through a timeline, and she actually said that it only had one white guy that she knew that owned a store. 
around where she said, so if you stayed away from the law and the legal system and, you know, the courts and stuff like that, you didn't even run into um, um, whites in her community. Mm. Period. She said she didn't even know any for a long time. Like they stayed down there and he just had his store and he didn't sell too much stuff. But um, yeah, Louisiana, Louisiana. Yes. Around central wow. Louisiana. Yes. Wow! Oh wow! Okay. Oh, I, I'm I'm interested now. I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow and get her on the phone. <laughs> this is going to be good. I think and you'll I, get somewhere. And I appreciate it. Um, like I said, like um, like I'm a real dude. Like I see real stuff, man. Um, um. Happy birthday to AP, man. I was, I, I don't know the guy. Oh, that's I don't right. Know, it I is his birthday. Anyone. I don't know anyone, but dude right there, the truth. And yeah, I just, gotta, I just gotta say that, like from the outside looking in, like I never, I don't know him from anything. And I was on there, I was like, man, I, that's what type of people that you should be around. And when you um listen to stuff all day and be listening to things all your life, right? And mm -hmm. you know that some of them are false. So everybody that I talk to, you can ask them one thing. Well, some of the stuff in, that we learn is false. Well, yeah, but I don't even want to talk to you no more because you're about to, you know, but this stuff. So um, somebody that could come out with some information and um, truth, truth and um, nobody rebutting it and coming about it, but nobody in the news picking it up either. Like something wrong, mm -hmm. like something wrong. So that's 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 how I feel, you know. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing blessings to. Well, let me tell you something. Ever since I've been on YouTube, I don't even go on Facebook. It's like so disgusting. It's all about YouTube. I don't watch my TV because I feel so good bonding with my people. All across the states, everybody in that chat room live in a different state, and we all share the same like views, and it just feels so good, you know. And that's how and, I feel, also. Yeah, it's like I don't watch TV. I'm paying a damn cable bill, and I don't even watch TV. I be up in here on YouTube, and you know, you find that you learn so much, and you learn how many positive brothers we really have across the state. It's so smart. Like Chief, like AP, like A1, like A Aboriginal TV. They so smart, they sharp. Man. And Our I'm real soldiers like is being held back. That's what it is. Our real true soldiers and leaders are being held back. And I mean, I, it's a it's an economic embargo though. You know what I'm saying? Even with this brother right here, if you know, like if his conversation would be different if he was like, hey, yo, you know, well, um, you know, you're going through multi-million dollar contracts a year. You know what I mean? Your conversation will be different, bro. And this is where we have to start having those type of conversations. How do we get that free? There's hey, ways to do it. We're just not tapped in. Say, say, I, I gave y'all my information, Chief, because I wanted y'all to look in. I mean, like, I, I, I figured, like, like, I know stuff. I know. And um, so, anyway, <clears throat> um, I think um, but yeah, like you were saying, like if if I was to have a building and some equipment, I just, I'm off to the races. All facts, and like I said, I'll go rent something to do a job, and I rent it for a week. I need it for a day. Um, I'm a tied into my payment, and I'm gonna get everybody out the hood to. Um, they have to train on it. Like I, it don't matter what it is. Like I'm gonna go dig a hole. Like I'm gonna go rent this or that from the um equipment rental place. Hey, 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 everybody come over here and train on it. And like, we just got to learn safety. So I'm going to teach them all safety. I'm always on safety, safety, everything. No one has ever got work hurt on my watch, period. So I ain't about to See? knock on no wood, none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, um. See, this so, is what I'm talking about. So, you know, we just so they got to train on it. I teach them how to train on it. And then, hey, if um, we, I had some kind of insurance on it, if, if I bust a hose or something like, hey, y'all could come pick your equipment up. I don't know how to get it to you, but uh, bring the paperwork and uh, we done. 
And that's how it is. So do you have a facility or are you in need in one? Um, what I'm saying about the facility, right, is for a training facility. Like, I'm a man. Like, I work for everything that I should have. I think, like, mm -hmm. in order for our people to um, get to where we need to be, like, you know, um, like, um, I, I, for us to have a training, I just would like to help be the training in my area because that's what I think about. That's what I'm saying. In order for me to provide jobs and what I need is people that are skilled, you know, I – I am a skill, like I train for skill. I don't want somebody that's just, um, I'm gonna just say it, you can't half ass me. You can't give me half of anything, not a conversation, not a anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's um, and that's how I go. And it's hard to get a perfect work like I'm gonna do it, but I've learned how to do it efficiently. Like, I, like I've been doing it so long, so, um, I have to train others to move a certain kind of way. And that's, mm -hmm. you know, that come with being around and being like having hands on with these people and being on one accord. But, you know, it's not a hit and miss. Everybody think that you could teach them something. And, nah, man, you got to you gotta put some grind in. So like y'all do on paperwork, I be with my people. I be out here trying to figure it out. So you need a manager, basically. I need a manager. You need a manager. You need an accountant. And you need, um, let me see, a manager, an accountant. That's what you need. And you know, and you know, as you build, as, as you start thinking about building the structure for my company, that's the same thing we meet need for America first. So let's start multiplying this right here, you know. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So, so mm -hmm. you have well, an accountant and a manager, and then I send you ten dollars a month. You know what I'm saying to go to the newspaper and us and our people coming up, um, having a, a a nation or whatever we have to do, and coming up to help our people and understand it. And uh, and another thing, like I just I don't just work. Like I I work twenty four seven. So, um, when you teach me my genealogy and and teach me how to get my indigenous card and I go get my land and I stand on, on, on my square. I draw my line, right? When you teach me how to mm -hmm. do that, I'm going to teach a lot of other people too, like by the numbers. Okay. I mean, that's right. just, I'm just telling you, so you, I, I'm a person that you need, like, that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm really like. That's me. I'm reaching out um, in any kind of way you could help. It's just helping the people. And that's all I'm saying. I just ask you for one thing. I just want to, take my grandmother to the earth and, and show that we come from here. You know what I'm saying? And then you put some respect on my name and that's what it is. Okay. So we have our, we have our appointment tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. And that's a promise. Okay. I'm a woman of my word. I believe you. So how, how, so you, we're going to be in the back um, and emailing somewhere, somewhere. No, what I'm going to do is um, send you my phone number through email. And then I don't know if you want to do a video call, but I could do. Um, I think we should do a video call where me, you and your grandmother could see each other. Right. And then okay. so I, don't, I don't know as um, far as her technology. Um, but oh, OK, um, I'm going to have her some kind of way like. Um, I'll see well, we what can happen. just have on a three-way call. I'll see what can happen. Okay, we, we'll figure that out. Yes, but I already have up my um, screens and stuff so that I could start searching. And then I could be, you know, relaying back and forth. Well, is this where you lived or is this who this is? You know, we, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. And we I think I'll give you everything that I have. And I think it'll be easy. Like you, you'll understand like what I like, like um, I'm pretty meticulous. So like I understand, like you could talk to me about sociology or you could talk to me about astronomy. Like you, you're not going to lose me too much. So I'm just saying, like, I think that when I took the notes, I think I have everything pretty um, laid out for you. Like I just look like this and talk like this, but I'm really um, like that, I think 
I, I'm gonna keep on speaking for myself because I ain't, ain't no nobody nothing wrong with the way you yet. look. Ain't nothing for nobody speak for me yet. So I'm just speaking up for myself. Keep on you look like that, that and I talk like that. Man, ain't nothing wrong with the way you look. You look like Buster Rhymes, keeping it real. Um, um, like I said, I, I, I've been in, I've been in morning, y'all. I'm, just, I, I'm cool though. Like I don't, I don't worry about looks. Uh, I don't worry about other people looks. Like to me, it's inside. Like you know what I'm saying. So I don't. That's right. You ain't gonna get me with none of that. So all like, our brothers are good looking. All our brothers are good looking. No matter what, all of them. All of them. Hey, brother, you say you just buried your son? No, I didn't. I said that, um, so my daughter, um, it was my grandchild, but it was my first male, though. You understand? It was still mm. my first male born. So oh. it ain't no, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's, you, I don't know, shoot. I, I don't know. It's not, no, it, Listen, it's painful. I know. I lost my firstborn. He'd have been 35 this year. But hey, we got to move on and be strong. Bottom line. So, anyway, um like yeah, that's that's just my it, it's just my first male born and um um I don't know, it just hurt. That's all. It's just real, you know. All right, so we'll see you up tomorrow. Yeah, man, my condolences, on that, man. My condolences, yeah. Um, thank you. Um, but but you know, um, like I learned, like I said, I had to learn to deal with death early. So you know what I'm saying, like um, yeah. for well, him. That's for another him, thing too, man. I see that you him. like to repress stuff, man. I don't know if that's good. No, no hold on. I, I'm gonna say something about that too. But for him, like to me, it's it's proven. Like I need to prove. Who he, he who he is, and I don't want to, nobody else to come in here and not know who they are. Ain't nobody gonna tell you some African American like, uh, nah, we know who we are and like that. So when you come here, we standing on principles, and we need to be teaching principles. And for you know what I'm saying. So it, it, ain't, it ain't all that repressed stuff. So so then you start coming where you could say that I repress things or whatever, but um. Well, yeah, I, 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 think that I, I think that I go through stuff and I and I really I like You put too much on your shoulders. Hold you on, need to be a little on. bit more selfish. Hold on. You hold might on. you I, might need to be a little bit more selfish, huh? Hold on. I, I everybody might say that, but but I'm like that though. Like I can handle it. So I, I psychologically break um individual stuff down that I think that is wrong with me. So um um I don't know if everybody else know how to heal themselves, but I I work on it. So I might not even be like that, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I understand like when people taking me through stuff and I have to go through some, some stuff with some people, I still have to learn how to heal myself and say, okay, this is what I'm going through right here. So I've even gotten, I've even gotten good at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's not a repression thing. It's like, um, but I like, like one thing, like the, uh, the other day I mentioned earlier that I, I cried out. So one of the things was, one of the things was that, I, hey, I'm tired of ever since I've been young, everybody telling me like some like when my mother died, I was seven. I remember the day. I, I'm wondering why the story's still on. Everybody still want to watch the stories. People still got to go to work and all of this. I'm like, the, the work still going like they still like the, the, the TV should be black and white like it do at night. For everybody to know what that means, like like. My mother just passed. My world stopped. I don't know what everybody else's did. So, so, but everybody always, it felt like everybody always was like, move on. It's like, you still got to go to school tomorrow, little dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then you just get pushed around and pushed around. And once I got older, like, it's kind of hard to push me around. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the smooth taste, I got a smooth taste. Um, I, I'm respectable. I'm responsible. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I could do is stand on what I'm supposed to be on. I'm not about to sit and, you know, boo-hoo. I got to do it going. You know what I'm saying? I got to do it moving. You know what I mean? Because the people that you want to boo-hoo to that could do something about it really don't care. You know? Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's facts, man. I mean, yo, you know, I'm a real private person, man. So, 
it, 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 it took a lot for me to even to even be public, man. You know, even being in radio all these years, it's still, you know, it's like you can, it, it's impersonal. You know what I'm saying? It's not as it's not and radio is not as interactive as as this. You know what I mean? Like to be able to 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 get the you know, you know, to get the raw emotions from somebody like yourself, you know what I'm saying? You it's rare to get that, you know what I'm saying, in any other platform. Man. So this is definitely um um it's just definitely next level, man, you know, um when it comes to broadcasting, you know, um to be able to to network and you, you know in real time. So your eighty five year old grandmother, you know what I'm saying, to be able to 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 give her some information that she might not even remember to have. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So y'all gotta understand, you know, you don't remember stuff from when you was a certain age and you say twenty eight. Now imagine your grandmother, she's eighty five. How much she done for that? You know what I mean? So yeah. shit gets deep, man. It's real it gets deep, especially how they have indoctrinated us for all these years. So so um being from Louisiana, right? Um, so she said she had heard of stuff about the Indian stuff or whatever, right? Now, this is one thing I want to tell people, right? You you know, just because somebody was, nobody was never sitting around saying Indian or even necessarily a sub or what, uh, what's called it. Um, I like to say, you know, um, a thing that, you know, I don't know if you looked into so far in your searches is, you know, just <clears throat> the county records. Like the names that are associated with your that, with your pimp, with your family members, because it's more than one name. So, so Too, especially like you go back far back, you go back that far back. You know, you got more than one family members that's associated with your grandmother. Yeah, say that so, again, brother. So I haven't I haven't did anything. Um, um, I just got my book in yesterday, and so um, I was washing clothes yesterday, and I was supposed to start reading it, but I started doing something else. So that was my first step is to read the genealogy book, um, learn the different sources and places that I need to go and find these records and um, start putting the story together on my timeline. So that was what I was um, I was just about to do. Like I said, my book came in yesterday. So um, I, I haven't started anything or been in any county records or anything yet. Well, let's well, first hey, try. Hey, question. What, what genealogy book do you have, brother? You um, gonna plug like it? Said, so what turned me on was um the Dane Calloway video. And so I, mm -hmm. I I have his um thing to research in your genealogy. Like so that's what I, I got. So okay, so so you you so you got Dane Calloway's book in the mail yesterday. Yes. That's pretty dope, bro. So, what's the name of the book, brother? Once again, hold on, I'm gonna go get it because I don't know. Is I know it's his first. Hey, let's 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 just do that. Hold on, it's right here. First one. <laughs> you bought the first one. He about to get he it. Just, he just dropped another one. Yeah, he got the one. Um, Trace. I said he got the one. I got. Yep, Gen that's the first one. Genealogical history by records, first edition. Yep. yep, that's the first one. He just dropped another one um this week. So I I go get it because this is what I have to support. But um, let me see. Uh, but I I you know what I'm saying. I still have to buy the book, but I, I think that I had to start. Hold that up, Mark. Hold that up again. Is that I the newest start, one? I had to start from the beginning. Hold on, I might have to turn the light off. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, man, that's the newest one. one. For, oh, that's his first edition. Okay. That's the first edition. That's the same one that I have. Yep. So he just dropped another one this week, and I'm um, going to order that from Amazon. He said the second one is even more information. Dang. So, Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dane Calloway, man. That's pretty dope. Yeah, so I started on I started on him, 
And then I, I start I watched a lot of his videos and then I graduated somehow. Um y'all popped up oh, in, my there baby and girl started, in there started showing me different um different um facts and books and stuff like that. And um like I was connected and I was like I have to connect and ask for help at this time. So I don't know, that's what it was. I want to send a shout out in the chat Word. room. Shout out to Terry. Yeah, I want to send a shout out to my daughter in the chat room, Giselle Giles. Hey, baby. Peace. Right on there with the two hearts. I love you too, baby. Where Giselle at? Think of my baby. Appreciate hey. you. Hey, um, I'm gonna say, say thanks to everybody in the chat room. I've been, um, I've been seeing the the love and everything. I just want to keep it real though. You know, a lot of everybody think that we got to be hard, and honestly, like I think hard is like just um every situation, just knowing that you won't stand up and be solid on that situation, and you don't know till it happens. So all that fake rah rah, like you know, looking with, with the smug on your face, like that never have impressed me. And um, and they can't even look in the eyes of a real person, you know. And um, and and even with that stare down, like you you just walk up to them with your with your smooth face and look at them, like it, it's no comparison. They know what the time it is. And and yeah. even even dogs, like I never really met a bad dog, like for real. Like a mean dog, like I have never met one. Like I know it got yeah. some that I wouldn't go close to, but like we look at each other in the eye and they like, man, dude gonna give me a run for my money. And and it's just it's just in you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't know. Um the thing about being hard or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, so I wanted to show that we need to ask for help. It's a lot of stuff that we need. It's hard for uh, um, men don't don't come and say, "Look, I need some help, brother." You know what I'm saying? Right. A white man that came and asked me for some help. You know what I'm saying? We done loaned each other tools, and I I have to offer my tools. Hey, man, you need some help with your car? You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's that's what I'm saying. I got all the tools that I need. Like, I I work on all my cars, all my equipment most of the time. So, um, it's like that's I don't therapeutic. Know. It's therapeutic. I work on motorcycles, so it, it keeps your mind, you know, off of, you know, uh, certain situations and, and it helps you relax, calm you down. And by the time you're done working on your car or by the time I'm done working on my motorcycle, I got a full plan of, you know, how I can navigate with my, you know, serious situations or whatever I'm having a tough time with. It just brings you to a level to where you can meditate within yourself because when you're working by yourself, you just basically have yourself. It's you, I, is what yeah. me, myself, and I, you know? And uh, even going back to what you were saying, a piggyback off the uh, hard statement, uh, man, I'm not going to find jail, but I've been through it. Uh, I was faced with uh, two counts of aggravated assault, uh, battery, strangulation, all kind of crazy stuff out here in Georgia. I'm in Cobb County. And I was doing 23 and one for a month straight. Got mm -hmm. out got in trouble again and had to go back in because I was on a uh, bond and pre-trial and there was a straight lockdown. So I met a lot of brothers, young brothers at that, that was losing their lives, bro, you know, because they claim gangs and or whatever the situation is. Uh, it was one cat, knew my little cousin, and he was on uh, Craigslist, you know, robbing people for iPhones. And they gave him like 23 to 30 years and he was only like 19. And so, you know, I talked to them brothers, but, uh, you know, I have no situations, but it's like I carry myself. I just I was being myself. But a lot of brothers come to my door, try to get some knowledge or, or inspiration or whatnot. I, I feed brothers. They ain't have no food. Uh, I was locked up with his. Uh, my bunk mate was actually white for a moment of time. And he had three bodies. He didn't kill three Mexicans. You can. This is facts. Uh, he was in charge of a gang called Ghostface. And uh, his family just cut him all the way off. He was hungry, you know. So when I got my store in, you know, I 
give him whatnot. He, he some stuff he'll take, some stuff he won. He just like, bro, just buy me a bag of coffee. And jail coffee, you know, mm. coffee is is money. So you know, I just help folks out like that. But it's all about using this right here, and uh, mm-hmm. and just and, and and just connecting with your people. You know what I'm saying? And and, mm-hmm. and even help helping whoever might come your way. You know what I'm saying? I seen a lot of brutal stuff in there, bro. I did about six months in there, straight lockdown. It's crazy. But you know, I was in there with the Muslims. Uh, I was claiming Israelite, but you know, I was through a step a walk of you know journey wise of higher knowledge you know just you know just uh talking to brothers man and it, it was crazy but yeah you don't have to be hard you just be yourself because like you said it's right. in us. Our, our our father which is the most high he's like us and he don't play no games mm-hmm. he'll wipe us all out if you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying if it gets too, too bad the you lord know? is a man so, of war that's what it's in there it is written he's a man yes. of war yeah, yeah, so interesting, you know, meticulous. Uh, I had to put my email in the back chat for you because I don't know if I wrote, wrote it down wrong, but I sent you an email and it kicked back as a mail failure. So I don't know, you want to try and read it to me again? And Mr. So, bro, you say you in Atlanta, Cobb County? Yes, uh, I'm in Cobb County uh, as of right now. Um, I'm from Atlanta. Cascade Road, Southwest Atlanta, you know what they call it, uh, SWATs. Uh, but my family uh-huh. got long, long roots uh, in South Georgia, Macon, Georgia, uh, Barnesville, Georgia, 30 minutes outside of Atlanta. And uh, and uh, what else? My granddad actually was like the first business, black businessman in Cobb County, you know, so. So y'all game yeah. banging out there too, huh? Well, they, they do game bang. But like I say, man, I'm from Atlanta. We used to claim our zones like uh, Memphis Bleak and uh, T.I. song around here. Like T.I. say, man, we got our zone around here. So back in the day, it, didn't, it wasn't really like no clip, Crips and Bloods. It was like, you know, you're from, you from the SWATs, from Oakland City, which is the four. SWATs is the four, you know, zone four. Or you from zone one. Or you from zone three. You know what I'm saying? Or zone six. You know what I'm saying? That's what we used to claim. And uh-huh. you don't go to anybody else's hood if you don't have no family or you don't know anybody. You you know, you, you stay within your zone. But uh, you know, it, it, it Atlanta was bad, but like after the Olympics had came, about a lot of different, you know, uh different peoples, you know what I'm saying, internationally. And a lot of drugs and, and that's how a lot of games started off. But you had a few crips and bloods, you know. Early nineties, eighties, and stuff, but it wasn't really like that back then. But it's rampant now, you know, just through migration. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's really, yeah, man. It's, 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 it's different. And uh, so hey, uh, Freak Neek is in uh June at Morris Brown, <laughs> June nineteenth. So if y'all want to come down, come on down. Holler at me, uh, get with me. I make June sure nineteenth. Got it. Yep, yeah, yep. I, I think I think that's gonna be on the on the on the tour, brother. Okay. Okay, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I I mean shoot, it's gonna be a lot of us. It's gonna be an AU center. You know, it you know, so if y'all come down, just just get with me, send me a link or a phone number so I can get with y'all and man, look, hey, if y'all here, you come eat dinner with my family, you know what I'm saying? We show you around and stuff like that. Won't nothing happen to you. We we, we make sure you protect it and make sure you you know what I'm saying. Straight while you're here. So anybody, if y'all coming down to Atlanta, just holler at me. I'm I'm a real ATL. So you know what I mean. They say you're real ATL. Yes, sir. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's yes, up. Yeah, yes, man. Sir. Yeah. yeah. Man, keep so I, I think, like I said, we we talked about the um the antidote is in the poison, right? So you know, yeah, I guess you know how they they you know they have taken something and changed it. But we can change it back, and that's the that's the that's the the organization in it, you know. Because you 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 would think, you know, okay, well, yeah, it says I, I forgot how many uh, Crips in California. One well, thing they were saying, and the numbers are never going to be where they at. So if they say twenty thousand, say it's forty thousand, but it's still way more of non gang members in America. True. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Can I say, can I make a suggestion though? You know, Absolutely, one of the brother. things 
one of the things that they go off of that I feel that they go off of is they controlling off the emotion. Yeah. They they yeah. attach everything to emotion. So yeah. like one of the things that I've been saying a lot this year was man, y'all get mad a lot too fast. Like and I like Facts. I'm about principal, so principal will make me jump. And so they put me in the same boat. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, you don't understand what's going on. But what I'm saying is they're attaching everything to emotion. So when you know what I'm saying, um they want to see how you feel about the dude cutting off his little boy's private part. They want to raise yeah. up and see if enough emotion is sparked where they could follow through with something. And that's how they do everything and they control everything with emotion. So right now they are, they are actually convicting people off of emotions. They need yeah. to eat, they need to emit. I want to make sure I say it right. Emit the same emotions in us and the community as they have. And so, okay, yeah. well, you're attacking me. Oh, we, we can't have that person, you know, they attacking this and like that. They didn't like um, yeah. when they wanted to get into our community. We like, nah, we, we, we like to kill and, and hold it down over here. They, they made sure to put something against our game. Nah, yeah. it's not for you. You wasn't supposed to be reporting over here anyway. Maybe this yeah. dude um, did something that he wasn't supposed to be a part of. I, I'm not condoning anything, by the way. I'm never going to do that. All I'm saying is yeah, from a different. different narrative and on how other people get to spin what is happening in your community. I, I don't um I don't but but here's the thing though, here's the lesson okay. in everything we say. Right? Let, let's just say for instance, you got a, a pastor, okay, Christian church, real pacifist type person or whatever, but he started taking he started having the message. Now he got fifty thousand members, right? And mm, 10,000 young men that, you know, that, that say, hey, man, we came to your retreat that you had, whatever. And they, and they start talking, hunting. They start teaching them how to shoot. Hey, we're going to protect our church, right? <clears throat> our church is in this community. We're going to expand outside the community, so on and so forth. Now that 5,000 young, 5, young men turn into 10,000 young men, okay? Soldiers, all Christian boys, all legal. They don't do no drugs. They just go to church <clears throat> and their job is to protect this church ten th in the communities. 10,000 of them. Well, I, I don't, like, it's like, just 10,000 now. There's just 10,000 men, but they I get spoke. Your vision. I get your vision and I'm so only about bro. to say that that is the exact same thing that they are doing. If you look at it, they're going to get somebody, um, a prominent black guy to, to go along with an association and when they come up with their um, plan to do our um, uh, training program is going to look a whole lot different and it's going to be controlling and taking our kids in a different direction than it's supposed to be going in. And where have anything gone? I haven't, we was talking about boy and girls clubs the other day. Like, but that pastor, uh, that pastor, where did they go in the community? Why didn't they go so far? Because uh, my friend was telling me that, okay, well, I got a lot of lawsuits coming behind that where they was raping little girls and little boys in, my, in our community. Yeah. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So, it, and the pastors uh, in the churches, okay, they play a part of the, you know what I'm saying, the six. Nah, six, six. I, I, I don't want y'all to get confused. I'm just using that example because I want to oh, take okay, a non street okay, okay. nigga. Go I want to take a non street nigga, right? That's not a non street yeah. nigga, but who has 10,000 soldiers with 100,000 church members, right? Yeah. 10,000 soldiers. Yeah. You can't, you can't fuck with him. You can't. You can't. You can't period. You know that, Go whatever city he in, you he's the mob boss. And this is what we gotta understand. Hey, he, so a lot of times he they didn't, the mob to get to the power that they're in right now, they didn't have that many soldiers. They matter of mm -hmm. fact didn't even have more soldiers than us. But what they did mm -hmm. do was get the law on their side. Yeah. Chief, can I piggyback? He, the, the pastors, the pastor pimping, not women, he pimping the word because he he'll give you what he wants you to know in that word, but then it's a bondage thing on your mind. And so that's why I say Yeah, that, well, I, I just wanted to use them churches. as a, just to give you an example of a, of a passive yeah. person and you could take a passive yeah. organization and t like the Deacons of Defense. They got the numbers, yeah. they got the funding, right, to protect the community. Yeah. They don't do it because that's not their mandate. That's not their thing. 
Yeah, you know yeah. I'm saying these young men come yeah. out the community, so they would be the ones that you would take put back into the community. You already yeah. using Jesus first, to to control them. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, to control first, their emotions. Because, yeah, because first, what they say about women, if you pimp it, that's power. You don't want the you, you don't want the booty. You want the mind first. You control the mind, and then everything else will follow. Like George Clinton say, you know what I'm saying? You get your brain and the ass to follow. You know what I'm saying? And that's just a fact. But um, I was going back to the reason why it's probably going somewhere else. But the reason why the presidents and stuff come to these black churches because they are keeping you in that circle. You know what I'm saying? When you're really supposed to be handling your uh, estate, your situation. You know what I'm saying? Getting right. You know what I'm saying? But instead, you're going running circles in the church. You know what I mean? And so the presidents, when they come to like Creflo Dollar Church or T.D. Jakes, they are, they are giving them a high five and saying thank you for keeping these people out of our way and keeping them in bondage. That's so we really yeah. Don't. yeah. And, and, and that's kind you. of what I was saying about them having our, our up, boys man. in our communities. Right. You name one thing that they came in and did that is still strong and prominent in our community where we could say, well, a lot of uh, our brothers have came through under there and is it have been productive. I don't see anything that you could say that about. And that's what I'm saying about what you're going to introduce in my right. community. And, and under who? Because it never, like, I don't want to hear that. Now, what you could do is you could give me the building, um, you could lease it, you could keep it under whatever name you want, but I don't want to be tied with you. I don't need your curriculum. I don't need your oversight or anything. Now, if you're gonna help me, you're gonna help. You 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 donate or are you not? And that's all that the yeah. city or state or any federal agency could pretty much do for me. Like I've been yep. doing this all by myself, y'all. And this is what I'm saying. Like this is how I've been rocking. Like I never asked for anything from anybody. So yeah. And you you go on to see for yourself, and the blinds are coming off your eyes. And just like you said, the church, but the church is just like a fraternity because most of them were in a the fraternity. They don't do nothing for us unless you're inside their little circle, but they had a chosen one. I, I tell a lot of people, I say, y'all going to pledge these fraternities, but when your mama didn't have no water or no hot water or no lights, what did these fraternities do for y'all? Could y'all go to them and say, hey, we need this now third? They might do for some people. I'm just saying, in my experience, my dad was on Lake Sci-Fi, and you know what I'm saying? And it's like, hey, bro, you going to this conclave every year, and you spending 3500 3, just to go. Bro, like we didn't have hot water for about, you know what I'm saying, three weeks, and you spent 3500 to go to this place. Like, where are your brothers at when we need, you know what I'm saying, our lights on and stuff? Like, it don't it don't make sense. And still, like, out here today, it's like what the cap is doing for, for the young brothers that that's really out here. You know what I'm saying? I talked to one cap, he was like, yeah, we got this set up for the kids, da, da, da. But I was like, but what about the men that's struggling to get their kids? You know what I'm saying? That change their life around. Don't have nowhere to go or just trying to do right. What do y'all do for them? What's set up for, for, for them? Because they was once young boys. You know what I'm saying? Word. Well, you know, it's you interesting I mean? that you that you bring the uh, the the fraternities up in a gang conversation because it's exactly what they are. Um, it's just a gang of college boys, you know, pushing the, you know, a, a, you know, similar agenda, similar things. Um as well um but whenever you ask the question what have they done for the community what are you doing yeah. for the community if you're taking the best and the brightest even when you go to college they take the best and the brightest right Correct. and they put them in these fraternities and sororities. what yeah. are they doing for the community can anybody uh, like if you t if you tell me fundraising and, and car washing and stuff like that i'm gonna, I'm gonna be really mad I'm like no, like not nah, like creating jobs and you know like like a university or anything. Like for real, like y'all gotta t like come on, we, is this real? But but this is the problem know, that we have I, though. You know, we don't understand. you know why they take the best and the brightest, Chief? You know why they take uh -huh. the best? You know why? You know why? They keep their hand on that bull. They don't let you excel. They don't let you go no higher. So we got the best and the brightest. We gonna keep them right here because you still have somebody on top of them. You can't move unless I want you to move. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we ain't gonna let you change nothing unless we want you to change something. You feel mm -hmm. me? But yeah. oh, so, you know they. I mean, it's just they, a fact, all, bro. Yeah, they all took the pack, and that's why we looking the way we looking right now without no nation, no flag, and stuff like that. 
You know what I mean? Well, they know what they did. Well, it's, it's, it's interesting that you say that too, because you know our flag is the American flag, and I see that you know we showed Tariq Nasheed flying the American flag throughout that video. But my whole point is though, right? It's just interesting. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I I know what the German flag is like, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the Polish, Finland, you know, different flags around the world. They, they have a yeah. specific flag. So this American flag is our flag. This blood, sweat, and tears of our ancestors. So I yeah. think that we got to get back to that as Americans. And 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 anything that comes from that, then that's cool. But we can't allow other people to tap into the energy that we supposed to have. Hold on a second. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. It kind of you know, you got a point with that, and that's another thing. Okay, you, you talk about germs and stuff like that. All right, so just like Meticulous was saying, uh, about like the emotion and like TV or whatnot. Don't you know back in like the thirties or the forties, they had Nazis, Nazi scientists come over here after uh the so-called Holocaust. Had Nazi scientists come over here to do experiments. Okay. One experiment was like on the brain and how they could take control over mass of people like with little of nothing or, or using different, you know what I'm saying, tactics. And most of that they would say they learned from Hitler or whatnot. But at the same time, this TV and the radio and stuff like that, they really have broke it all the way down to your, uh, your vibrations and your bodily functions uh frequencies and stuff like that so like when you say emotional it the tv will portray certain things to get a certain react out of people so when you cut your news on wherever you at you're gonna see brothers look like me and you chief and whoever else in in the panel or uh watching and they're gonna make us seem like we're the bottom of the bottom or we can't get right or we only robbing or we just always asking and struggling and, and and portraying us as a people of no type of pedigree. You know what I'm saying? But it's only a select few of our kind that's a good brand of pedigree. You know what I'm saying? So basically, they pull them on your heartstrings because you're part of the creator, which you create every single day with thought and vision and meditation and sometimes you might even see your thoughts or your vision play out somewhere else and you're like look man I, I was thinking about this about a month ago or last night and it just boom you know what I'm saying it hit the ether and bam because they know who you are so basically they take that and they put it all into a wound up little ball and, and they shoot it back at you and so from you, it goes out to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It's like an energy. But basically, it's to get you out of your positive like mind frame, if y'all can still follow. It's real, like you say, it's real meticulous and it's real scientific what these people are doing. So, you know, I studied that a while back and I see what they're doing like through TV and, and radio. They only play a certain type of music or they only show a certain type of shows. When we was coming up as kids in the 90s or 80s, you won't see no kissing. You won't see two guys kissing each other. Or you won't hear a lot of vulgar language on TV. You won't hear a lot of vulgar language on the radio. But now it's being played. You understand? And it's kind of going the way of how they want the people to act or a certain type of people to act, if you understand what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So it's real deep. So it's really important for us to be the, the light well, in a lot of darkness. I, this is what I want to say. Like You just got to be successful, bro. Well, go ahead, brother. Can, can, I, can I say go something ahead, right quick? And then Absolutely, gonna, brother. And then I'm going to leave, y'all. I want to go finish taking advantage of this uh, light outside. So, so one of the things is that we need to know is that we are like, I, I listen to everyone and i look at everyone and i get the way everyone up so we are already smart enough to understand what they doing even to extents when they are hiding all of this information me i'm sitting over here telling i'm i'm looking at this computer and i'm telling everyone that i am not a um uh 
uh, 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 a person to do a lot of digging in books and stuff like that. I am out here in the world working all day, every day. And I know some of the tactics that they using against us. And so if I could understand that, and I see we got like we having these same conversations about the same things um, that um, we all are smart enough to understand what they're doing to us without having the facts. So all we need to do is start moving in a direction. And I I, I know a couple things that I'm gonna do. For one, I plan on um, helping people understand who they are and where they came from. That's one of the things that I have to do. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to still continue to try to help us progress as a people. Um, all the all the young um, children to all the older ones, we all we all need to work on one accord, whether we like it or not. You don't have to like me. You don't have to like me. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, you can go work over there as long as we work together. I, and that's I, I that's just I, I just don't look at it in a, to, a totalitarian thing. I, I always look at a few good men and women, man. Like I, I don't think that that once again, even if to amass ten thousand people, imagine how powerful that would be. And, and I you know agree. With you. I don't. But I don't shit, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand dudes. He could the, the the leader. Matter of fact, could be the smallest cat ever. But the fact that you know that he got nine hundred and ninety nine other brothers that's gonna come peel your cat back, or burn your house down, or steal your car, or something. See what I'm saying? Or when yeah, you out of town, it just I, I means what, something. So it's about having a a, a, a a direction of force. You don't have to have ten thousand people. You don't have to, shit. A hundred men focus can get it get get the job done. I, I guess one of the things was I, I was saying hundred men and hundred women. A hundred women shit can get through the world. That I see that you know what I'm saying. Like when you work with a good brother, like you know we're gonna disagree, but we still need to be moving forward. And I was talking about more than that, for instance. We should have been figured out that a lot of these people shouldn't even be having conversations with them. And if we, if you still having some of the conversations that you still having on your paddle, like you know what I'm saying, like uh, it's over with. Like we moving in this direction. Everybody that's on that, y'all can't even get um, in conversation with me no more. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I, the, the the people that I talk to, and I'm and I said I got homeless friends, so you're not saying me get on no pedestal. So what I'm saying is. You know, um, 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 we have to. Um, I don't. I, I don't know. I guess I. I think I made my point. Well, I. I, I I'm. I'm gonna second out that. Uh, conversation level wise. Uh, uh, progressing wise. I come to y'all because I can have this conversation with y'all because y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of partners. Like you know, we used to be into everything. And, you know, I learned from my mistakes real quick and I just watch, you know what I'm saying? I fell back, you know what I'm saying? What we call out the way in Atlanta. I, I, hey, I'm out the way, but I'm watching and I, and I see it because a lot of a lot of my people put up their stuff on Facebook, and Instagram, you know, whatever they're doing. But it's still like, you know, they haven't got to where we at with it. And I can only have this conversation with y'all. I can post on my Instagram all day other facts and the you know history that's been lost and i can do it on facebook all day but only certain people of my family and friends chime in but it's more of you guys facebook and instagram that really chimes in because you understand you see and we all are of the same like mind so in this position that i am in you in chief in and everybody that's in chat they are now we are the leaders of that shift that paradigm because we have made it you know what i'm saying let's call it the uh what is it with the hunt the hundred and twenty what they call it, the hundred thousand or whatever chosen ones might make it we consider ourselves like that you know what i mean and everyone else is a lost sheep we haven't came up to this level yet so you go spread your word and what you know on the basic simplistic but intriguing creative way to Bring in the sheet that's been lost because I did that yesterday at the barbershop. And it's one guy, bro, I swear, when I got done saying what I had to say, he was like, Man, I appreciate you. He a barber. He was like, Man, I appreciate you, bro, because he said, Straight up, I was lost. I said, Bro, I'm, I'm lost out here. I said, Bro, I got you. 
If you come call me any freaking time you want, bro. If you feel like that, call me. And, and we can work through any situation. If I don't know the answer or the situation, we, we can we can work it out. You know what I'm saying? And, and right. I feel like that's the job done at the end of each and every day. You know what I'm saying? For my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real jacked up out here, bro. Our people mess up, bro. That's I mean, it, it always goes back to what we're saying, man. It, it always goes back to economics. It, bro. Always. It always goes back to that. And it, 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 everything it, it, that everybody's dreams, up. everything that you have, you know, you want to be a successful, even if you had a car wash, you want to have a gang of car washes across no the country. Right? You want to you be able to employ people. You want to be able to empower your people, whatever, right? They can't all tell these the children where to go because they don't know where they're going. These are all the dreams. Circles. It's a right? You hear me? These are it's all dreams. But you so, know what? In times like this, uh -huh. the most high is here. He watch. I'm telling you, he can't talk to me, bro. He watch. He sit back. He'll send that spark to you when you need it. Test and like test. Bob Marley did. He brought the two countries together. Lightning bolt struck the stage. That's a fact. You know what happened? A few months or years later, Bob Marley died. He did what he had to do. He got on. He extended to the next consciousness. But I say this because I got passion for my people, bro. And I understand and I can see. I used to, I, I, I'm still learning, but I, I, I didn't go searching for this stuff. It came to me. It came to me. It came to me. And I was just charged. So I don't play about nothing I'm saying. If I call myself king, I look at myself the king because that's what he put upon my heart. Now all the information and, and stuff Word. we have, those are tools, but we can't be fussing and fighting. About the tools we have, you got the tool, use it in your best ability because it's going to link somewhere else down the road. It's a chain, bro. The link might not be close to you, but that same link is going to fit in somewhere down the road. All we piece it all together, it's one line. It ain't who know the best or what that. We got to put all this together. That's what corrupted us, ended us in the first place, man. And that's why we're in the position we're in right now. Too much fighting within the whole tribe. Bro, I make music, bro. I got a song. I say shout out to my whole tribe. Right? Yeah, you got to send that to me, brother. Shout out to my whole tribe because I love my tribe. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Is it copywritten? Can we play it? To send your energy out. You always got to send your energy out, bro. Yo, yo. And I, I hey. love my people, man. So I'm hey, glad Bethany, I can you this outlet because if I don't, yeah, I can build up in Oh, he can. And Chief, he's saying, bro, I get, I get so, so fiery. It just, whoa! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all see the last few panels and stuff. It just, because be so much pent up, I don't have people to speak to. My old lady, she, 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 she gets tired of it. But it's so much. She still has to learn the game. She has to see for herself. She She's not where I'm at, but I don't knock her. Man, just, she has to come that it. way into spirit, hey, bro. spirituality. She's been nah, walking, go out and come back but at the same time, she's Hey, bro, can you hear me? Milk and honey diet. I'm hey, on King. Meat, so it, it, it King, can time, you hear me? You know I mean? King. King. That's it, bro. King, Chief trying to talk to you. I can hear you, Chief. Yeah, King, he can. can you hear King? King, can you hear um Chief? Can you hear Chief? Nah, he can't hear. He might have to go out. He, he, he got on that headset. Um, and that's all I can see. And but he just he moved, muted his mic though, so I don't know. Hey y'all, um, yeah. I got to leave y'all. Um, I just want to say peace and love to everybody. Um, and um, since the birthday, I'll be talking to you tomorrow, correct? Yep, tomorrow at um four thirty, I'll be right here. Okay. I sent you the email, so. Yes, ma'am. And I think you should have got it. Yes, ma'am. I have it. Hey, thanks a lot. I'll talk to y'all later.
You're welcome. Hey, King Anan, can you hear Chief? Oh, he went out. He must got to go back in. Yeah, he probably come back. <sighs> oh, God, he probably make me want to cry because seeing our brothers cry like that is it, it, so painful, man. I, um, It just hurts. Yeah. But I swear, I can't wait. I tell you, once our people find out who they are, Chief, it changes them internally. It does some. I can't explain it. It's hard. But it's a serious feeling of relief. I tell you that. That's for sure. King, what's up, brother? Can you hear us now? Much, man. Yeah, okay, man. Okay. I don't know what yeah. happened, but. No, we can hear you, man. Good, but you just couldn't hear us, man. So you were definitely going in, man. I just wanted to tell you that, man. Um, you right and exact. Um, I, you know, man. Like, like I said, man. Atlanta, and, and you know, especially has has always. I ain't gonna say always, but for a long time, when you talk about Freak Nick, for instance, right? You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It, now, in my mind. I, I, I feel like I'm going to see a lot of effeminated men at the Freak, you know, because Freak kind of has been taken over by them. You know, you know what I'm saying, brother? Um, yeah, yeah. Kind of like Atlanta's your home, man. Um, mm -hmm. Speak on that, man, you know, as um, far as that's concerned, man. Uh, okay. Just uh, like... I, I I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, like wearing a dress and stuff doesn't make you necessarily that because nobody con considers Martin Lawrence thing. So we can't look at okay. um, uh, young thugs, for instance, or whatever. But Atlanta has a stigma of, of you know, of being a home of, of, of definitely effeminated black men. And, so I, yeah. I, and I'll just be conservative. Go ahead, brother. Okay. All right. So, um... <clears throat> That stigma is more like uh because I I I used to hate the fact that they say oh man Atlanta the home of the, the, uh, gay black men stuff like that and I just think it's the fact that it's, it's so many guys that's raised by their mothers and it, it's, it's so many guys that's killed in 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 the streets and. And it's so many guys that have more sisters than brothers, you know, and it due to the fact of, you know, sometimes it's system or just how they, you know, uh, made things come about. And it just, you know, it, it might go back longer than that. But from what I see, it's just uh, losing the man at the household. You know what I'm saying? The male figure. And due to the fact of drugs and a whole bunch of different stuff. You can lose that male figure, you know, mentally, physically, and and the guys look up to the moms, and the moms just, you know, they raise a the man the best they can, and you know, if that's their first son or only only son, they they spoil them sometimes, and they you know they look after their mom. I'm saying it's not bad, but at the same time, you you gotta have both polarities. So, um, it's just the fact of different variables and i don't think he used to always be like that but uh but now these times is is it's more welcome so mo most guys are just coming out and just saying the hell with how everybody else feel they just who they are like i have a cousin um he he lives in new york but he has a husband and they have a child i mean it's my family i don't knock them i'm like hey man shoot if that's what floats your boat that's what floats your boat and, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to preach to you because, you know, how our family is built off of, you know. So uh, I don't preach to them or nothing like that. I have female cousins. That's the same way. Uh, I got an uncle, you know, and he was married with a wife, but he always had this one guy friend that, or two guy friends through the generation of time. Like, you know, you always see him, his wife, and his guy friend, like on Sundays or through the week. Or he'd say, oh, I'm going to see such and such. And he used to work for Martin. He, I'm going to see such and such. So he was always in Atlanta, but he stayed in Cobb. And he'd be in Atlanta doing his thing and come home late night type thing. Uh, just being in the streets or 
so it, it you know you have in certain families and you know it's just you can never put your finger on how it always how it really came about but knowing school wise morehouse that for black men that's that tight that's where they want to go so it's like you rebreeding through that and and it's more popular so everybody around the nation if they want to go be who they are, they want to come. If you want to HBCU, they're going to come to Morehouse. And they're going to be who they so are. So Morehouse is the place yeah. to be for? Wow. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yep. Not Clark, not Morris Brown. Morehouse. And that's where Dr. That's King is. So, why, and, well, so, so speaking of the freak, Nick, what, at mm-hmm. Morris Brown, why, why, why are you this is something that was so negative to Atlanta. Why do you think they brought mm-hmm. it back? Why they bring it back? Oh, uh, well, okay. For one reason, people was trying to mimic Freak Neat unofficially. You know, meaning like, you know, going to Instagram or sending out mass texts and, hey, we're going to link up at this part. And that turned into all kind of different troubles and mess and traffic and uh the police get to the scene and like what's going on they people just say hey, it's freak me freak me and that went on a few years after the official freak me and so now in atlanta they more like okay if y'all want to do this come get the permit and we'll give y'all you know you go do whatever you need to go do it at it's more of a safety reason and but making the city aware but the city can eat off of it as well so City-wise, Morris Brown is right down the street from the Dome, across street from Clark Atlanta, around the corner from Morehouse and Spelman. Uh, Morris Brown is my school because I'm A and me. We kept them doors open through our pockets, you know, church-wise, because we built it. Um, the stadium was in shambles. Uh, y'all can go look up recent pictures and, and just, you know what I'm saying, just check it out. But uh, that stadium was built in the Olympics for the Olympics. Uh, it's the biggest stadium in the area compared to Georgia Tech and uh, Georgia State. But uh, money wise, you know, Morris Brown is coming back, but they are going to use that to bring people because they're trying to bring attention to what's going on at Morris Brown and the area. But they need they need they need more students and need more people to see. You know what I mean? So basically, it's on a deeper level. I wish I could inform y'all uh, on Morris Brown. This is my daughter right here, my little baby. What's up, what's up, baby? What's up? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to inform y'all on Morris Brown. Okay. We went down 2001. I say it's a scam. Uh, we had the, the highest enrollment compared to uh, Clark. And Morehouse, if y'all want to do numbers, they took us out uh, because of financial misconduct. Uh, And then after that, they shut the doors. So we fought to keep the doors open. So this whole time, we have not had any financial aid. So people was actually coming still because of the tradition and the love and still, you know, getting diplomas that didn't have no worth. So basically... um, we were the heartbeat of the AU Center, the heartbeat. And, and the fact of, that we went down to see, you know, other schools around us trying to thrive and whatnot, it was like basically um, an underhand type deal, if you understand what I'm saying. Uh, so school went down. I marched at Morris Brown 2011 with the marching band. And... Uh, we had gigs. We did Chick Fil A Bowl at the Dome. We we did that like until up to 2015, 2016. We actually was inducted in the uh, Battle of the Bands in 2011, but we lost at the last minute and went down to uh, the last spot. But Morris Brown is the heartbeat. It was built by slaves, you know, and we had a lot of land. We own land on Clark campus and close to Morehouse campus. So everything that's going down was like a, a land deal as well. And the fact of that the dome was, you know, trying to rejuvenate, they actually tried to buy in land 
as well that we had. So basically, it's a, a gentrification type deal because they really try to clean up that area because of the dome. And now there's more white people in that area trying to buy properties, if you know what I'm saying, trying to take it from us. So, you know, bringing Freak Meat back to that area is a good thing to me because for a while, that money was not leaving that pocket. It was being spent like Black Wall Street, like within that area, not going out. Can That's what's up. Him? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's it, it's deep. It's it's deeper than what I explained, but like, is it it is shocking. So you have to just go back and read the history, man. And and, and yeah, and then, I, I, don't, like, I don't think that freak has the same effect that it had back in the days. Just like dope, you know what I mean? Like people yeah. can not go on stage with something that says dope on it, and nobody's gonna be like, oh, that's negative. They oh, they just know it means fresh because hip hop takes stuff and makes it fresh. Yeah. So freak okay. neat now is not as, you know. So I see okay. the, the the difference now in twenty twenty as opposed to nineteen. Now now it's gonna be a lot of money spent during that freak Word. neat time right there in that area. Now uh, it's a lot. Of, it's still a lot of black businesses in that area. All right, we talking about the strip. The strip is um, from Martin Luther King on up to Northside Drive where the dome is. Like you can walk from Morris Brown straight up to the dome. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and down the street, you got Booker T. Washington High School. That was a feeder school for Morris Brown. And another good thing Morris Brown did, uh, and, then that's, and that's why I left out, you can be dope, boy. You can be the, 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 lad, the lowest person in your school with the worst GPA. Guess what Morris Brown going to do? You want to go to school? What? Well, yes, sir. <laughs> Don't worry about switching. We, we, we got you. Because the money still was, the money's coming from the AME church system in Atlanta area. It's a big system. And uh, that go nationwide. So people were actually sometimes going to school for free. And the AME church members was paying for it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of, a lot of guys that weren't supposed to have no uh, college degrees got college degrees. A lot of guys that weren't supposed to play in the NFL played in the NFL through Morris Brown. That's a fact. That's, a That's fact. what's up. Yeah. But, you know, um, and even uh, if y'all turn the news on nationally wise, uh, they just relit the uh, Olympic uh, flame down there by the uh, turn of field when the Olympics came to Atlanta. So that's a signification of, you know, they, they trying to do something in Atlanta uh, coming up in the near future. Free me, it's it just a small part of it, but. It, just keep your eyes on Atlanta, Georgia, man, because it's, it's some things about to, you know, go down. So they just lit that flame, and it ain't been lit since Muhammad Ali with it. So. But, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, I, you know, free me going to be a good thing, man. It, it just, you got to be careful because you got a lot of young people, too, man, that, that really don't use their mind and, uh, I talked to guys yesterday at the uh, barbershop. They scared to go. They like, man, Negroes, young nigga be shooting and, and, and just be acting out on drugs. It's not third out of the lie. I said, I understand what you're saying. A lot of older cats that you, that know what the old freak meat was, they, you know, they want to go, but then again, they don't. You know, they just scared. Yeah. I mean, that, that's terrible, man. We got to I think like that, man. Because when I think of yeah. Freak I think of make love, not war. You know what I'm saying? It's like exactly. it's an overabundance of women. Why would you mm -hmm. need to be fighting each other? Mm -hmm. Like, man. <laughs> I hit, but you know, these guys, hey, they switch. Why are you, up. you here? <laughs> you niggas are here for each other because I don't, man, I do not know. Man, I don't even get it. But yeah, man. we want to hey. be in. We want to be in events like that, man. Because we want to reach out to our people, man. They need to see the. They need to see uh, their culture, man, and you know stuff like that. So I think it'd be dope. To that's what June, Free Neek was June for too, though. June nineteenth. Yeah. It's supposed to be like June nineteenth, but uh, honestly, but Free Neek was like black culture. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh-huh. Like, I, 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 last week, Nick, I went to was 1996. And I had cousins come up from Macon, Georgia, just to go. They stay at my house because I stayed on Cascade. They get up here like two, two days early because of traffic. You know, 25, 75, everything will be shut down. So many, so many people just trying to get into the city. All the highways will be shut down. People be cooking out on the highway. But uh, they come up all the way from Macon just to, you know what I'm saying, go. But at the same time, when you go, you like you think it represents something else, but it'd be a mixture of fun, but at the same time. Showing you your people and, and it'd be a cultural thing. It, you know, it used to be a lot of red, green, and yellow, if you know what I mean, out there. And and uh and uh people's you know, vendors selling, you know what I'm saying? Uh they back then, you know, just African American stuff, you know, art, jury, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that's yeah. pretty deep, bro. Yeah, it's it, it just a, it's a networking event. Hey, well, man, I, I definitely, man, want to want to be a part of it, man. Um, mm-hmm. June nineteenth, man, we're gonna have we might have to slide, slide, slide right through here. there. Okay, it's so serving. um, check this out. Um, vent, you can you might be able to be a vendor. You know, if you know I what like I mean. To do that too. That'd be dope. Okay, hey, peace, so peace. um, peace, peace. So uh, I'm gonna look into it. Yes, sir. What's I'm looking to it and um. Uh, yeah, you know, we want to come up that up a debate or something, man. It'd be dope. June 19th. Oh, yeah. Or oh, a yeah. lecture. Uh, and you know what? We can do it right there on the quad because that's going to be deep. We can do it right there on the quad. Morris Brown has the quad right there uh, in I the middle of the quad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're going to be here. Yes. Do it right there. Yes, sir. the quads down. In that <laughs> yes, sir. Nah, they, they ain't ready for you to come out here tearing no shit up now. <laughs> you uh, come nah, yeah. all, in, all in love, all in a good way, man. You know, just, I know. just, just you know, you know what I'm saying? Just the energy, I was listening man. to him, man, man like, you know, what the brother broke down about our town, man. He broke down some real deep history that, like, you know, our town molded just you know, dancing and singing and, and rapping and acting and all that. You feel me? Like, he, he, you know, we got some engines really down here been putting in work for decades. You feel me? Work. Just, just yep. imagine if yep. everybody knew who they really were, though. You feel me? If everybody knew who yep. they really were. Well, I mean, that's what it's about, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being able to, like, to, you know, to be in the choirs, for instance, and in, in, in the heart of it and just letting our people know who you are. And then hey, what's so crazy is, man, we my, pushing peace, man. This, this is a peace peace movement. This is a love it, movement, man. Like, man. I, don't, I don't be having them type of energies, man. Like, you know, I need yeah. in these streets. You know what I mean? Because if, if you're really about that life, man, you know you're tired of that right now. You know what I'm saying? It don't take long for that life to get cooked for you. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that my, shit don't yeah, last long. My uncle long. just came home the other day for three years. My uncle did three years in prison, man. He he he, he about that life, but he tired of that life, man. He's trying to get right. But um, Roman Wolf... I'm going to tell you about old school history. All right, you know Castleberry Hills at right by the dome. You said what now? Castleberry Hills by the dome in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. What, okay. what about it? Okay. It used to be called Snake Nation. Uh, it's, it's full oh, of hold on. Hold on. Bring that down. Talk bro. that shit, man. Talk hey, that yo, shit, I'm going bro. to the 40s and 30s, so you know. You, you, you know <laughs> I, I'm surprised I missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> they go back to the 1800s, and uh, that one reason I think uh, Cherokee Nation or uh, Cherokees are, uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying, well, we can't have no tribes in Georgia, but oh yeah, they, 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 this is not an Indian friendly state, boy. They, <laughs> no not sir, Indian friendly down here, boy. No <laughs> sir. So, so Snake Nation was basically a, a, a pocket of like. Different trials will come, you know what I'm saying, to Atlanta. You know, it's the Mecca trade or whatnot. But you had a lot of gamblers, like you see today, bootleggers, uh, prostitution. Hey, that's what uh, that movie Out of Wood, when Outkast did that movie Out of Wood, it was based Fact. around all that right there. Come on, keep, keep on talking. Fact. Okay, okay. So basically, all right, uh, something had happened, something major. Something happened with one of our brothers in uh, the state of Georgia trying to put him on trial. We weren't having that. Because they oh, oh, like brand new, so we, we went to the courthouse like this here. Hey, yo, look, that, that, what? <laughs> to who? To who? And this is fact. All. So you go look up Snake Nation. That, but this, hey, this hey, yo, chief, I ain't mean to cut you off, brother. Cause when did brother break ahead. it down about us, Georgians? 
That's why people, when they deal with Georgians, we come with a different energy. Our, our ancestors' yeah. energy be riding with us like, like we some fireballs. <laughs> we some fireballs. Yeah. Ain't nothing but your Massey Creek, Cherokee. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing yeah. but the fireball engines down here. But finish that story, yeah. though, because you, I remember okay. hearing about it from my grandfather, how it was, you know okay. what I'm saying, back in the, 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 the early 1800s. Now, nigga, yeah. we won't feel none of that. United States uh -oh. Union. <laughs> none of that. None of that. So, all right. So, we're going to bounce it back to today. Now, you know what I'm saying? You got all these blood guys or whatever gang they want to claim. They always talking about slime this. They're my slime. But where you think they get it from? With the neck guys, with the snake nation, and everybody in Atlanta want to be slime. Shoot, what's slithered in the goddamn slime? It's snake. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's coming out the DNA. You know what I'm saying? So, well, you just put me on a major car right there, huh? <laughs> yeah, bro. Hey, it's for real. I remember what part of the city you in, bro. Right now I'm in Cobb, man, but I'm from Cascade, bro. I got family in Cobb yeah, County. Yeah, I'm all from Atlanta. a range to Cade County, though. You feel me? I'll be oh, out here at Stone okay. Yo. Yeah, I got family out there, too. Already, already, man. You yeah. know, you, you know, sister. Yeah, I got back on the bills. I'm surprised you ain't on the panel. I was like, man, I'm I'm at the plantation, but fuck, I'm gonna jump on in here and, and you know holler at my folk real quick, man. Yeah, man, most definitely, man. Yeah, bro, it just you know what I'm saying just building and uh just bringing history, man, bringing facts, man, and and, and right. just you know chopping up with my peoples, man. I love this, for real. Hey, bro. yo, big, this. big truth, big truth. You know what I'm saying. Hey, like, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off. Of, I'll jump off here, man. I'm 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 on that 20 track right now, man. I just really want to oh, get that okay. in for a few minutes. Hey, chief, I'm gonna slide oh, yeah, back yeah. through in a little bit. If you still running? Hey, right, hey, bro. Wolf, send me your info. Go to my page. Uh, subscribe, man, and leave some info or something. You know, oh, yeah, for sure. On Instagram. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave you my um, I'm gonna leave you uh, my email and uh everything in the back. Uh, I don't think I can see the back chat. Just uh go to one of my videos. I I get it. All right, all right. Here. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Peace, man. All right, peace, all right, bro. peace, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Hey, so, so Chief, though, um, even, like, talking about Atlanta, same time, man, uh, I was telling these people that uh, the Mayans, you know what I'm saying, had a trading route that come all the way down here to the Cherokee uh, Forest, I mean, Chattahoochee Forest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hawk School. He at Hawk, Hawk did a, a documentary about it, and that sh that blew my mind. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I twenty take you all the way to Mexico as well, well past Mexico. But you know, it, it's it's you know, it's a lot of rich history down here. So you know yeah, what I mean? Bro, they just paved over our all of our roads, over our of our ways, man, and yeah, created man. all these damn dams and stuff. But you know, when you talk about the Mayans, right? These are just mm -hmm. terms. Exactly. Chief, step around with your mic, Chief. Chief, step around with your mic. Yeah, I, I think he was uh, taking the call. Oh, he's on. Um, okay, I see he got it. <laughs> yeah. Sis, where you at, Miss Bethany? Where you? I'm in I'm in Connecticut. Okay, and you you naturally from Connecticut or yeah, I was born here. All my oh, family okay. came from South Carolina. All my family okay, came cool. from South Carolina. They're slowly moving back. Yeah. Probably the last of the Mohegans to go back. <laughs> I ain't never yeah. lived in the South. I'm always lived in the city. In the okay. city. I'm straight from the hood. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you know what? Yeah, I was uh I was on YouTube and somebody posted up that uh a lot of farmers left their land and moved to the city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They did. Yeah, a lot of uh, they traded the city like the farmers. They traded that donkey in for a Cadillac. They traded them acres in for you know what I'm saying. Shit. And that's what happened to us though. But <clears throat> most of it was forced. But go ahead. A lot of like James days. Evans, like James Evans and Good Times, them. Like everybody know a lot of people that's in Chicago. Like you'd be like, man, you like these niggas are straight from Mississippi because they are straight from <laughs> Mississippi. 
I yep. straight from Mississippi, straight never yep. left, lost accents, nothing. You you could be in Chicago, be like, man, these niggas got an accent like they in Natchez, Meridian, or something. You know what I mean? But so check I wanted out. to say, I wanted to speak on what you said about um, Georgia being connected to to the mine. Um, they have lidar, right? That's light and 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 light. Light and detection and range, frequency. right? Lidar, okay. right? So they lidar, right? So they they they're looking. They're basically taking a picture of a of 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 a, of a mound or a dirt thing or whatever, and finding, um, you know, finding stuff. You know, finding oil, finding right. tomb, finding mounds, finding pyramids, all these different things, right? By using this technology, mm-hmm. they have literally found so-called Mayan pyramids. Of Mayan temples in Georgia, right? Literally yeah. in Georgia, right? Yeah. And then you have uh, indigo blue paint that comes from Mexico that's in Georgia, and you yeah. also have the same bones that are both in Georgia as well as in Mexico. So just yeah. letting you know that these people are like, why would they not be the same people? Like, like Trump exactly. hasn't built the wall yet, like right? you know what I mean? It's just, it's just dumb shit. Like they yeah. just they just sell us short with these words. Oh, these are Mayan. These are this. Yeah. This is the old man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. We all in this name. They, 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 yeah, that's the name that they put on us. But like I was saying, like we call each other how we see each other. Like, what's up, bro? What's up, fam? Cuz. Oh, you you a Smith or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Your last name is, or you know what I'm saying? Who how your people go by, you know, how they address themselves. That's that's how we were, that's how we are today. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, what's up, my African American or my Indian, we just what's up, bro? But when other people come from different nations or countries, they they see us as you know whatever they learn us by through media or school or whatnot, you know. But she would, she would, chief, I seen you in the street. I'm like, what up, cuz? What's going on, bro? Straight no, up. as a matter of fact, I think you're wrong on that one. People from other countries. Okay, go ahead. People from other countries know who we are. It's us that don't know who we are. I, okay, I yep, yeah, yeah, this. I went to go buy me some cigarettes out the um 7 Eleven gas station about uh, yesterday, and the yeah. Indian guy from India. I said, Excuse me, and I said, Honest to God, I said, Who were you? Uh, um, do you know who the um real Indians are uh, in the United States? Who was here first? He said, You, and then the white man come next. I said, Oh, thank you. I swear for goodness, this is a guy from India. They know. Yeah. All countries, yeah. you know, Chinese people know. We're the only ones that don't know. That's All true. Other that's true. I, I mean, and, 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 that's, and that's the irony of, of doing genealogy, right? That you don't have to even go back that far, like right. past records. Like a lot of us, and Sister Bethy knows this, go past records. You're like, well, I done got so far where now we're at where they didn't have birth certificates, right? So then yeah. you get stuck, but guess what? You didn't even have to go that far. Nope. All you had to do was go to your grandma. Not yeah. even your great grandma. That's just even extra icing on the cake. But they know exactly who we are. They know that nobody migrate here from Africa. They know certain things. They know they made certain stuff up. They know certain stuff is not legal as well. They know exactly yeah. who we are. This is not this is not even what's so crazy about it is, right? That we have a group of dudes called New Black Knowledge, right? And they will have they uh-huh. go out their way to try to prove this. But every time that they dig up articles, every time they dig up a book, huh? Oh no, no, no! I'm sorry, uh, Chief. I, let me mute my mic. I was talking to Willie. It, it, no matter what they dig up, bro, it always proves them wrong. Yeah. Every time, and I, I just be like, wow, that's just so incredible. From the Negro burial grounds that they say they were African burial grounds were actually Negro burial grounds, but were changed in the I, 1990s to African yeah. burial grounds. And once you yeah. change a word, it actually gives it a whole nother context. So once you right. say that burial sites and temples, let's say for instance in Georgia, if you mm-hmm. say, well, these are Mayan temples, now you say, you give it a whole Mayan mythology mm-hmm. pictorial right. in your mind, right. right? If you say they're Indian, now you're like, well, wait a minute, these are Indian temples. And you're like, yeah. well, wait a minute, you start getting confused. Well, these red dyed a feather, yeah. right? If you say yeah. that these are Moorish, 
it's, it, it it starts going a little. It, it gets start getting tricky. Niggas start getting confused. Well, I've never heard of yeah. Moore's Temples. Well, you have. I understand, right? Yep. You see, you see what I'm going. So all these words. So once we start giving these, once you start taking away from our ancestors, our ancestors' blood, sweat, and tears built that. So now you, now we having another conversation that is pissing us <laughs> off now because we having it's a dumb conversation because now you <laughs> didn't call yeah. it all these words that gave it somebody else's. Like somebody else built this when our ancestors specifically told you who built it. And that's the beautiful part yeah. about our ancestors. It's not like they didn't leave it for us here. So these people yeah. say certain stuff. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So even yeah, if, if, if not being able to know who we are is the reason why you got these wild as Indians with no direction. So once we yeah. can figure that part out, then we can we can talk peace. We can talk prosperity. That's what's important. Yeah. Hey, and, Chief. You know what? Yes, ma'am. I want to share something from 1644 Absolutely. that Willie showed me. I already got it up on the screen. Hold on, let me share. Hold on. It's a Maryland law. I was just about to talk about them too. Can y'all see that? I'm going to make it bigger. Yes, ma'am. You can Hold see on. It. Let, me, okay. let me take this off the screen real fast. Hold on. Uh, hey, and uh, shout out to. I don't know. I don't want to say people's governments and stuff like that or whatever. So shout out to SW for the for the donation. <clears throat> Peace to you, SW. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I figured I was gonna say that. Yeah. Now, I just want. This is from 1664 Maryland slave law. Now, mm. it says this 17th century Maryland law is an excellent example of how the practice of slavery became codified as positive law in the American colonies. In this way, the legal status of African-American slaves as property became settled. Mm -hmm. so it is that an act concerning Negroes and other slaves? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, here's the thing, right? Hey, Chief, they got to be talking about the white slaves. They have to. Hey, hey, th that, that's exactly good point. You go there. Okay. Good point. So, you go there because. Especially in the 1600s. Right. And it says, be it enacted by the right honorable, the Lord proprietary, by the advice and consent of the upper and lower house of the present General Assembly, that all Negroes or other slaves already within the province and yeah. all Negroes, okay, and other slaves, okay, to be here and after imported into the province shall serve durante vita, meaning okay. hard labor for life. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to interject. Follow the word peasants because I read that on some uh, articles that dated back in the 1700s, 1600s, but they're talking about like, you know, hillbilly country white people. Yeah. They call those peasants. Okay, so follow that term. It might lead up to what we're trying to see about the uh, other people or slaves or African Americans. Well, so okay. peasants might lead you right up into there. It's clear who Negroes are. That's us. Yeah, that, yeah, that's clear. Well, exactly. Right here. And because uh, it says, and other slaves. Okay. Yeah. And I said, and all children born of any Negro or other slave shall be slaves as their fathers were. Yeah. For the, the term of their lives. Yeah. And because as, much as, as divers, freeborn English women. Freeborn English woman, <laughs> forgetful of their free exactly. condition, into the disgrace exactly. of our nation, marry Negro slaves, by which also divers suits may arise touching the issue of such woman, and a great that, damage ah. falls the masters of such Negroes for prevention that whereof. For deterring such freeborn women from such shameful matches. Be it okay. further yeah, they, they come out by the authority advised and consent aforesaid, 
that whatsoever freeborn woman shall marry any slave from, and after the last day of this present assembly shall serve the master of such slave during the life of her husband. They talking and about them here, Billy. Yeah, and that all the issue of such freeborn woman so married shall be slaves as their fathers were. Yep. And be it further enacted that all the issues of English or other freeborn women that have already married Negroes shall serve the masters of their parents that they be 30 years of age and no longer. Yeah. And this came from the proceedings and acts of the General Assembly of Maryland in 1664. I'm gonna run it down. Like, what? I'm gonna run that down. So check it out. They was actually getting um they were getting mad because the peasants is like a offspring of us mixed with that real like uh English woman that came off the boat. So they would be considered free. So basically when they seen us and and, and you know they had a liking towards the art the men, us, we have babies by them. But then that baby might come out looking like us, but then that baby might on down the road come out looking like an albino and then they'll spawn off spawn off but the thing i do here in georgia i look at the eyes in, in the white person's face it's blue or brown for me wise it, i might be wrong but if yo if i see a white person with brown eyes i don't say nothing right i just watch how they act watch how they move they like you know they flock towards the black people and and, and you know feel like they got a little bit of tiny soul and and they're like well i ain't no racist man i ain't got all this i don't look at color da 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 Sometimes you really see in that person mannerisms and the way they talk that they don't really they don't really mean no harm and, and they just acting as themselves. They just you know what I'm saying. It's just the color when people see it, they 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 use it as a different way against people. But I look at the eyes and I say those are the people that's all spawned of us. The white ones that have the brown eyes and they're talking about the English woman children, which we the peasants and the hillbillies because you had to think of. What the hillbillies country white people come from? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up, the ones shoot guns in the woods and, and carry Confederate flag. I don't get I don't get mad about the Confederate flag because I know what it stands for. And I go through, try to right up talk to him. Hey, what's going on with you? What you doing? What you doing? You know what I'm saying? That's how I talk to him. But uh, I you know I know the history, and I'm like, y'all just didn't come out of nowhere. Y'all was made. If you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Because you don't speak the Queen in English. I mean, you knowledge is half the battle, no, bro. Them white, men, them white men was mad just because some sisters were marrying them Indians. They yes, can't that, so, alone. so that was a free they white woman. Alone. Yeah, so that was a free white woman marrying us, and we, boom, popped out them. The albino, when they had babies with another albino, they looked like them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm All thinking right. like Bible-wise, let me, let me play devil's advocate there. All right. All right. 1664. So we know that's not an original document. because Exactly. Okay. All right. So, so who wrote it? Where was it written? What year was it written? These are the questions. Because these are the questions I'm going to ask MBK or, or Garfield or Jabari anytime that they present something. Because I, I, I say the same thing. We have to provide the same same sources. Where do we get it from? Okay. So that would be my question for that right there. And, and I'm going to prove my point, what I'm trying to say. So because that way they created, there's no law in 1664. There's no Maryland General Assembly in 1664. Period. Go ahead. We'll walk it down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just off right off top. So now we're talking Nardia and Harry Potter land. Okay. On some shit that we really taking in as, as something that actually happened to us and our people. But it, mm -hmm. what this got to do with my people in Mississippi? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Y'all see what I'm saying? Even mm -hmm. if it actually happened. So they just say stuff like, oh, yeah, this is right here. It, and, and you know what I'm saying? You go to Wikipedia and you go to these university books and all these other shit, but they never give, they never provide the source. Mm -hmm. Even when we was breaking down the 13, 14, the 15, the member the other day, I, I, I pointed out that the, the, I, I proved my point in English. But guess what? What if I had to prove it in German? Mm -hmm. In order for them to read it, they, the, the thing would have had to be in German. It would have okay. been had to have been written in German in 1777. Or Latin. Mm -hmm. 
Fuck with me, please. Fuck with me. Okay. Please fuck with me. So you see what I'm saying? I, I got what you're saying. Like, think about it. Like they these these pale people were speaking German when they came in. And then they okay. created this language that we're speaking now off our language and the dramatic language. Period. All right, so 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 check it out. So check it out. Okay, I'm glad you went there because this this why I gotta ask my people. All right, they were speaking that. And how the hell they get this from? Let's see where it's at. Let me see. I'm gonna put the cam. What did it get? Latin. What did it get? Latin. When, because if y'all were speaking that language, right? They were speaking that language. What the hell did they get Latin? You come all the way from across the waters just to, you know what I'm saying? I'm teach us English, but you're going to teach us English. Where did y'all get the Latin from? America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because it makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I, this is why I tell my people, I was like, look, when y'all, when we be texting and we short, you know what I'm saying, paraphrasing stuff, we, we write, might, might write duh. But we know duh means the going to the stove, you know, stuff like that and uh, short phrase stuff. All that is Latin. I looked it up. I'm like, oh, we've been writing and speaking Latin all this time. They call it Ebonics, but it's broken Latin. Facts. Broken Latin. So I want everybody to just go do that test. Go bring up Latin phrases or words and watch how it really hit your brain and connect to your DNA. You're like, oh, snap. You're going to really mm -hmm. understand it and you, you be speaking Latin in a few days. I swear. And but that's what power of tongue is. Well, I, I mean it's interesting that it's on our money, but it's legalese as well. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? But it, it, yeah, and they hide law in the Latin is yeah, 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 yeah. But in order for these people to create commerce around the world, imagine how it is. They created a language on indigenous people's language, right? Here in our language here in America, right? With mm -hmm. with the dramatic with the dramatic languages, right? Mm -hmm. To create the language that we're speaking right now, and they're using this mm -hmm. language that we're speaking right now for commerce all around the world. Mm -hmm. So, True. what do you guys think we should be doing with the language that we speak and use every day? We should be using right back on it today. We should be there. Using you go. Our... Right there. That's all I'm saying to you, Pan African. Be Pan Africans and be the bridge. That 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 bridges us between us and y'all, and think about the importance of us having power in America. Yep. yep. Think about it. How, how does that help the rest of the world? Yep. yep. Well, you because got that language is really doing righteous things, and not robbing and raping and murdering and vaccinating because, the whole goddamn country, the planet, rather. Yeah. It's not cool. Because one one thing with the U.S. and all the little uh, uh, corporate law entities, whatever law enforcement, government, they are trickery. They use trickery. They always been using trickery like magic. <clears throat> but their language is tricky as hell. You got to go through all that school and just to learn English. You got English from the day you in pre-K to you graduate. <clears throat> their language is tricky. And their laws and their turns like it's tricky okay if i'm going to court why can't you just use plain english or how we why where we can just understand it why you gotta use messed up turns and and confuse somebody in law paperwork to where they don't damn know what the hell <laughs> they're getting themselves into why the heck y'all try to trick us if somebody in trouble you in trouble if you miss something and they gotta write you a letter they and and, and all the letters supposed to say you miss court on this day, but they send you a paragraph. You miss D court on the certain arraignment schedule hearing in front of judicial. Da 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 da. Why we gotta go do all that? Cause your mama say, "Look, you didn't you didn't knock my table. I'm gonna whoop your butt." That's plain English. That's simple. So everything about them is trickery, and it's just to confuse you and lose you. So you will never figure out. You know, I, to me, so you never figure out their scheme. That's just how I look at it. It's just trickery. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sitting here online yeah, looking at the um Latin alphabet and stuff. Uh, I, you know, I remember I used to look at this when I was a little girl in school. I think I was in like fourth or fifth grade. And it used to be like code writing, it, code writing. I remember me doing it with a couple of my girlfriends in school. Mm. And then that other pig Latin, you didn't we make that up, Chief? Chief. Oh, damn. Did y'all hear me? Yeah, no, nah, that was, I think that was made up. I think that's some kids. I remember we used to speak that pig, lang pig Latin. My grandfather used to taught us how to talk like that. It was like everything like had a K at the end, like UK, UK, no K, but I can say K. Did you do you know what I just said? Chief? Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? What? I just spoke in pig Latin. And I asked I'm asking if you understood what I said. Oh no, I don't <laughs> Okay. Answer me. Did you understand what I just said? I caught you stop the retreat top. All I did was put a K at the end of every half word. Um. Okay, 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 we can, I can work you to get that good stuff. I just said, do you know where I went to the store? My grandfather okay. taught it. Okay, so where I'm at, the females was the only ones that learned it and, and spoke it. So, like, a dude <laughs> tried to speak it, they were like, man, what you doing speaking pig Latin? But the females would use it as code. That's something that you never forget. We used to be talking about our teachers in school. Yeah. I said, look at this flacky, wacky, 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 I just said, do you look at this flat but white teacher? We used to do that in school. And that's real. Like in Georgia, that was a big thing, like in the in the early 90s, mid 90s. But then it started like dying out, you know. It, it, it was pretty cool. Yeah, so. we back in the 70s. We did that. See? We okay. See, yo. So we get it from y'all, you know, it just passed down. <laughs> oh yeah. And my grandfather, when he would get drunk. He would do an Indian cry mm -hmm. and teach us how to do it. I can't do it now no more because I smoke cigarettes, so I can't get up that high. But he used to do, do it. It used to sound crazy. What, it sound like a wolf? No, it was like the yee-yee, but it was, he would cough first because, you know, he was congested. But then yeah. he would do it, with, and he did it when he was drunk. But it sounds crazy. Oh, it's more as a tone. It's not even a language. It's just like a call tone. He used to do it for a long time. Every day, like, real. Yeah. Oh, so it's like, like he used to do it real long. <laughs> so, okay, so it's so all right. Say we have Freedney, right? And I see Chief. I'm like, Scoo! that's a call we do for somebody far away. School, school. That's a car we do. Oh Lord, that sounds like here in Connecticut. What the um gang members used to do? Uh, the um Latino gang members they used to whistle. Yeah, see, can't nobody we, whistle like a Latino. I swear for goodness. I got some uncles, bro. They, 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 they can whistle. Yeah, yeah. they taught me how to whistle. I don't think I can do it no more. Yeah, I can't whistle. I can't do it. I can't but they oh, yeah. whistle that would mean we get ready to have a fight with some other people. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, if some if I'm outdoors and it's a big event, you know what I'm saying? I see my people's if I do that call, my people's already know. I'm like, hold on, man. Somebody I know for real. Hey, you, you know, or everybody gonna turn around, but your people are like, oh, I see who did that. You know what I'm saying? We do a little call. Oh, 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 oh. Something we do in Georgia. If you ain't got no phone, or it go a long way. Damn. 
Why y'all just didn't get mm. walkie talkies? <laughs> huh? Why y'all just didn't get walkie talkies? We had walkie talkies. I mean, Okay, so like if my phone did, I can't call nobody, but I, I see you. You don't see me. Like we had sit flags, a lot of people. I see you. I've been trying to catch up with y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my call because it's gonna transcend, it's gonna the vibration, they my people gonna hear it. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna turn around. And I do it more than once, three times, four times. I'm like, who the fuck? It, it it's the, it's like an emergency call. Mm. Chris said, do I remember Jill Scott yeah. Aaron in the 70s? I mean, grassroots. Jill Scott Aaron. No. <clears throat> this is a good bill, but that the gentleman that Mr. Um the guy that was on a little while ago, Mr. Uh, ridiculous. It brought tears to my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, meticulous, man. Uh, our, I totally our, link up with me. Our ancestors was into roots and voodoo. That's what we did. They did all kinds of crazy stuff. They had witch doctors and roots and... Yeah. I know um, it's this guy uh, in Savannah. I forgot what tribe he's uh, chief of, but um, he was saying like his people, they was more into like the medicine part of uh, like their tribe, like more of medicine. And uh, he was like, uh, you know, back then, like his grandma, if you got a cut or a scrape or you feeling messed up, they'd go get some like tree bark and probably like grass and different stuff and they mix it up and you'll be healed of whatever, you know what I'm saying, your ailment is. But uh but it goes back into like the roots. People think it's like voodoo and all that, but it's just like a spiritual type thing. You know, it's something we believe in. It, it wasn't like a stigma type to be scared of. It just, you know what I mean? It was just like a, a priest would use stuff like that a lot. Tribe. No, my grandmother, my my mother told me that my great fifth generation grandmother was a a root lady, and mm. they would put roots on people and roots on people until somebody more powerful with roots put one on her. Um, yeah, I was like, uh, it's that scary. They would they would do stuff, you know, and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, and That's I feel like it, it's they were going in. To the root lady, if somebody was bothering them, they yeah, would go yeah. to the lady and she gets some get some root from her and bring it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a negative in a positive way, but that just brings up uh what my boy was saying, man. Uh, RP man. Uh, to my guy. Uh, uh, what's it? Uh, uh, shoot, Richard Pryor. <laughs> he got that mud bone, and they went and seen the root lady. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy, the dude had baby feet. <laughs> he got slapped in the head with the pot. And, but, but you know, you know, they go back into our history. You know, our people are just really telling you who we really are. You know, and for all the people who think we African African Americans that we come from Africa, no, we do not. And it just, you know, you have to go by what's factual and in your reality. What you know, what your people talk about. And that's going back to, uh, like Chief was saying, like, uh, you can go back to your grandmama, your great grandma. But my great grandmama was born in 1919, and I we just lost her in like 2013. And I actually lived with her through high school. And when she was getting sick, you know, I was caring for her, watching over her and stuff at night. And I was still, you know, like in my early 20s. But uh, I, I sit down and talk with her with nobody around, you know, when nobody showed up to our house until like Saturday or, or uh, Sunday, Sunday afternoon at the church. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you had, uh, like, my grandma come up through the week, but uh, she would tell me, like, well, my mom was this, my daddy was this, and we was raised in the farm out there in Barnesville, Georgia. We were sharecroppers. We were sharecroppers. And we had to leave our land because I pulled a shotgun on the mailman for threatening your great-granddaddy. And I, and I shot at him. And they left through the night to come up to Cobb County, Marietta. Marietta 
and this back in the 50s in Marietta, which is building projects, uh, the first projects in Marietta for black people. It's called yeah, Baptist Town. I live in Marietta, Georgia. Yeah, right that's now. where I'm at. Yep. And we went, so they moved to Baptist Town when it was first built. It's a reservation, but it's projects. And and that's where we've been at ever since. You heard, she so heard weren't no her. slaves. Wow. I ain't never been to Atlanta before, but my family's oh. there. Come we on. always spend time on. each other. I'm scared to get on an airplane. Don't laugh. I ain't never been on no airplane before. Man, girl, get Don't in the laugh. car. What? Get get in the car and drive. Uh, I forgot what highway. I don't get, like long drives like that. The farthest I ever been was Virginia, and I ain't oh, really that. shoot. Hey, if you're in Virginia, you you already in the south. If people no, out with no, no, I no, say, no, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm in Connecticut. I said that's the farthest I ever went is Virginia. I'm, I'm so saying, I'm so if you, you get. If you get to Virginia, you in the South because people in Virginia confused. They, they don't know if they want to be in the North drive. or the South. And that's a 10 hour drive. I, I start crying after the first hour. Uh uh. I don't drive. Uh, ain't, Willie, ain't gonna Willie's like the driver. Willie's the driver. He, he'll drive. Willie will drive from here to Texas. Oh, put Willie on the phone. Tell him he got to bring you down to Atlanta. Come on. Come on. He down, he down there doing what he do eating. Yeah. <laughs> what do you eat? Pizza, Doritos. Will he get that munchies? He get that munchies. Uh, that oh man, go cook that man. Go cook that man some uh some some real food. Them, that's snack food. He gonna be hungry in another hour. I always cook, but I'm not cooking today. It's Friday. I'm not cooking. Oh yeah, what what you yeah, cook? They wanted, pizza. they wanted pizza and Doritos, and I ain't hungry. I me, I can't eat. Heavy stuff like at this time of night, I have to eat. Me, I'll go downstairs and eat a bowl of uh, sugar pops. That's what's gonna be my oh. name. Okay, sugar pops. Okay. Chicken pops. What, what pops. that? Uh, what, say it again. Cereal. Sugar pops. Oh, sugar pops. Oh, I don't like cereal. It's fake. <laughs> he don't really don't like cereal either, but I do. I love cereal. I like hot cereal. Grew up on cream yeah. of wheat, wheat Tina. Oatmeal. Yep, that's what yeah, I'm my doing. my daughter say she hungry. And her mom be like, go eat some cereal. I'm like, heck, nah, they ain't gonna man. She gonna be, they ain't gonna fill her up. Ain't nothing but damn fluids. My man, go fix her some breakfast. Eggs. Uh, shoot, I, I know people gonna say this about the pork, bacon, sausage, grits. But I don't care. We got eggs, grits, and, and the biscuit. I love it. Slap bacon now. I pair some slap bacon up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But yeah, uh I was right, man. My grandmama, she cooked that every morning. She had cracked the egg, but to get to how she uh her eggs, she won't even uh stir them. She cracked the egg and hold it up about a foot or so from the skillet and let it plop down. And then that's she'll let it get uh she'll cook it just like that. She won't scramble them. It'd be like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's good. Yeah, almost like over easy I like, eggs. I like that Southern hospitality, though. I tell you, anytime you go down south, you guaranteed to get fed good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Got we went to Virginia. Oh, my God. They, their house mannerism and hospitality is just amazing. And I know the further south you go, the more amazing it is. But you know what it is? Is that we love seeing our peoples from up top because we feel like we got something to show y'all. And it's the fact though that y'all coming from where y'all y'all coming from a long way and that y'all protected that whole way y'all made it here safe. So now y'all in our protection and our safe haven. So we gotta cook for y'all and treat y'all because it's like, you know, we all got people at the same time. Y'all are brothers and our sisters and, and our mothers. So it's like we are charged with that protection from the most high. To take y'all on in and, and treat y'all well, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all yeah. is royalty, basically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they 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 just do. I, I just love down south mannerisms. They 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 oh. even even the, they are uh, down south. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm trying. To Go ahead. I'm listening. Southern always like southern morals. I swear. 
it's such a big difference between southern men and northern mm -hmm. men. Southern men, I mean, we have our bad points in all states around the world, but for the most part, southern men, them boys work hard. That's why they so strong and they up here in the north, we so spoiled. Our men are spoiled, more spoiled up in the north. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna say that they spoiled because I, I know I didn't. Uh, I used to drive trucks. I know some hardworking men everywhere. But you, you know, you from there, you there. So I'm not gonna contest that. But uh, just do respect why I, you know, we got some spoiled ones down here too. But you know, um, we we work hard because it, this below poverty level where we used to be at, you know, and. Just to feed our, our kids and our family, like, we had to get out there do what we had to do no matter what. Because you you uh, wake up in the morning, you don't go to work, you ain't got no money. What you gonna do? Can't you, you you can't feed your babies, can't feed your lady. They're looking up to you. You know what I'm saying? So you had to get out there and go work for whatever it is, a nickel, a, a ten cents, or a dollar, whatever that. Just to bring home some food. You you know what I mean? You spend your hard on work money just for some food. And maybe the next day you can work for some profit if you get enough food the first day. But you know, it, you know, things just a little different. But in the South, stuff is just so spread it out so far apart. And that's another thing I, that would bring up a good topic of um how these people took over our land. Like I was saying, my people were sharecroppers, but their house was like in the middle of nowhere, and you get 10, 15 KKK members, and it ain't nobody but four people in the house. You, your wife, and two little babies. You know, they and these people talking about they ain't got nowhere to go. They won't force you out. and Or y'all work out a deal to share a crop or land or whatnot. You know, you really ain't got no choice. If they got guns, you ain't got nothing but a butter knife or whatever, or a stick. You know what I'm saying? They they, they took over, like uh my boy say, bank road. They took over your trap and put you on the outskirts. You see, you lost your land. But it, you know, I didn't know that um, Virginia. I mean, um, no, that yeah, is that Atlanta? Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They they don't have unions in Atlanta, right? What? No, they got a post office union. We got a post office. We got we got a few unions. That's federal. Do, that's uh, federal. They have no choice. But I mean, as far as like their state offices, uh, they don't have unions, right? Oh uh, no, we just have uh you know the, the uh different houses uh uh the uh what well, the Republicans and this and we got the Senate we got the uh House of Representatives you know we got what the three houses ain't it? No, I mean like unions that fight for people for people's salaries and stuff. Oh 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 well no we do we do we do it depends if you join that union. Like okay, you got a paint painters uh union, you have a, a welders union. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, you got an electrical union, but you had to go through those schools to get in that union, and it's it's basically like a fraternity. Once you join, you're good. You know what I'm saying? But if you outside of that, you just outside of that. You know what I'm saying? Like if I worked pay, at McDonald's, is the pay good down there? Union wise, hell yeah, they take care of their people. They take no, care I mean, of their people. Like, like, what is like the um median salary? Min minimum wage, okay, fluctuates, okay. And this is bullshit the system did. Oh my god, some companies can go as low as seven twenty five an hour for minimum wage, but the minimum wage has been rose, risen up to like I want to say uh, it's supposed to be at like fifteen dollars right now, due to a Barack Obama. But uh, the highest I want to say is about almost twelve to eleven dollars minimum wage. You know what I'm saying? That's not the max. That's like the new minimum wage. So it's supposed to be above like the twelve or nine dollar max. If so you like, get what I, I'm saying. I, I, how much would like somebody like a social worker work make? Well, you're gonna get paid by the state, and it might be on salary, and it might be either every two weeks or a month. But what's the salary month, like? Month wise, you might come out making like a good thousand some change a month. So, so they don't make like um sixty or seventy thousand a year. 
Yeah, if you do the calculation, you you probably be if not sixty, you probably be a good forty five, fifty thousand uh eight social worker in the state of Georgia. I know me being a trucker, I make about sixty to seventy thousand on the on the low end. Good end is is booming. You can make up to eighty to a hundred thousand, depending on what you're doing trucking. But wow. uh, yeah, but like social worker wise, the state of Georgia cheap. They cheap. They don't like come off no money, but they got a lot of money. So it is. Oh, so like you if know. you have like a master's degree, you do they, they you don't they don't give you money based on your um education level or how do they? It's you? it's a fightful position. It's a fightful position, and it 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 depends on it depends on what you're going after. Um, they got the buddy buddy system, you know. Here in Georgia as well, but uh, not to you know make you scared of, but like just to be honest, uh, I didn't see a lot of people who have the, the top notch of degrees and can't get a job within the state or the uh, the government. Sometimes it all depends on sometimes who you network with or who who you know, you know. But uh, just like off the muscle applying for a job, it, it is opportunities here that you can get a good job with your degrees, but. They gonna see that degree. They are gonna be scared first because they're like, "Look, we are gonna have to pay this mug. We gonna, uh, uh, we 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 have to slide her to the side and get one of these newbies, somebody who ain't you know don't have that qualification, but had that possesses the talent and skill without the degree. And they hire them for less pay. If you get what I'm saying, it's it's they try to outwit people. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes no. the paperwork. Do, do they have a they they have a lot of acting jobs up there too? Huh? Yeah, Tyler Perry, uh, Tyler Perry booming. Uh, it's, all right, acting wise, movie wise, the reason why they come here is because they don't have to pay taxes. And they, uh, if I, if I want to say it, or we have the lowest taxes, either they don't pay taxes for the films, or we have the lowest taxes for the films in the state of Georgia. So. A lot of movies or shows that come out, they got that peach at the end of it. It's made in Georgia. Mm. Yep. But uh, Jim Carrey made a movie up here where I'm at. Uh, my, matter of fact, Dumb and Dumber was the third one. He made that up here on um, a, a lot of different movies. Like, you know, Tyler Perry, he did a lot of movies where I'm at. Uh, but they use them in the whole city. Tyler Perry got Fort McPherson. That thing is huge. He so they have huge. a lot of um, they have a lot of auditions. Yeah, matter of fact, uh, Puff Daddy was down here today. Uh, he you know he doing a new making a band, so he down here. Uh, so anybody who want to rap, sing, or whatever, you could have came out about uh like noon time today and and been on MTV because MTV is out here as well, and you probably could have. Got a position in a new making a band event that he got going on, or uh, you could it would have been a good networking, you know, deal for you today if you do music. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot of different things going on in Atlanta, but I mean, it's it's the mecca, you understand? So, it, and it, it's it's my wonder why these things are here, but at the same time, you gotta understand Hollywood out west is it's pretty. It, I, I'm not gonna say it's dying, but it's is 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 it's dwindling sort of you know it's always the west coast entertains us they make all the movies all the movies come from out on the west coast hollywood everything seemed like as far as entertaining us come from the west coast like east coast we have a lot it's of more industrial huh it's more industrial we more industrious on this side yeah yeah, yeah, like where we at? We on the eastern seaboard. Me and you, we the eastern seaboard. Even though I'm in Atlanta, I'm only uh two and a half, three hours away from uh the ocean. You know what I mean? Savannah, Brunswick. Uh, what else? Uh, from it's, state to state, it's, it's like it differs, and every yeah. state, like I'm an hour and a half away from New York. If oh, I, okay. My yeah. If I I'm an hour and a half from New York and an hour and a half from Boston, so I'm in the middle. Connecticut's the center, but like yeah. 
with my um, degree in Connecticut, if if I took my degree to went to New York to get a job, I would get double in New York. My salary, the salary in Connecticut, it is double mm. in New York. Say like I made seventy thousand in Connecticut, eighty thousand. Okay. If I go to New York and apply for a job, I'm gonna get paid a hundred and sixty thousand. Yeah. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is. So the nurses in New York, they get paid like a hundred and something thousand. Yeah, that's, that's but amazing. I mean it's more people. That's why more people, more crime, and the cost of living is it 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 really levels out to the same. Yeah. But well yeah, yeah, well okay. A lot of people, of, yeah. A lot of people commute from Connecticut to New York just to get that double salary and they come home to Connecticut because the cost of living in Connecticut is cheaper. Mm -hmm. But who the hell wants to take do that every damn day? Yeah, I don't roll that train. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it, but it, okay, to survive, to house the people that are making your city or helping your people be who they are, you have that, that cost of living is going to uh that well, that pay is gonna have to match that cost of living. So if it don't match that cost of living, and you below that, you you ain't gonna have nothing because everybody gonna leave. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? In, in Georgia, uh, see they trying to go up on the cost of living out here, and it used to be it used to be able you know get shit real cheap out here where I'm at, but it's so many tourists. Coming into the area, they driving everything up. And I tell them every day, man, y'all just go back to where y'all come from. Like, go to Montana, go to Nebraska, go to Wyoming, go out there and, and do do stuff. Because there's a lot of space out there, and, and there's a lot of stuff that need to be built up that way. Like, you come in here, it's interrupting how we really live, and a lot of people that born and raised here move out to get that, you know, cheaper rate and take their talents elsewhere to get paid. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, Chief, they're asking you if you could please put the um, link in the chat room. I think some other brothers want to come on. on the yeah, hand. come on. Where the world he has dropped off. Uh, hold, on, hold on, check this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got you. Hold on. Oh, you going to put the link in the chat? Yeah, I got the link. Hold on. Oh, good. Yeah. Because I can get oh, off. Just... Because I really would like to see all the guys come on. I mean... It's good to hear from yeah. you guys. Oh, who's that? Take that banner down. I can't see. Uh, oh, that's Gretchen. No, oh, the banner on the um. Nah, it's me, Bo. What it up? Peace. We're coming from Australia live. In effect, hopefully you're all good with peace, feeling fine, being gracious in yourself, finding your supreme power within. Realizing that with respect amongst your peers, keeping it clear, man. I was just do just diving in. Much thanks to Supreme Bro. Uh, you know, I've been keeping in, uh, checking in these chats a few times. So, you know, I just came in a bit late. Just heard you guys building on the music in or the movie industry or whatnot in ATL in New York. Yeah, how you doing, mate? Yeah, no, nah, don't don't speak like that, there, bro. Yeah, my. How you, nah. how you doing, mate? Uh, yeah, I would like to say, girl, eh? yeah, I would <laughs> like to say, uh, our languages and our dialects is almost uh, just reverse a little bit, mate. But uh, much love to you, and the dine under. <laughs> yeah, nah, straight up, straight up. Like I'm born here, um, born in Australia, not in the state that I'm actually at. It's I just wrote in the chat actually. You're talking about the movie. It's like. Mortal Kombat that is coming yeah, up. Get on. Uh, was no need to, sister. Um, the up and coming Mortal Kombat was actually filmed in the city I'm at, uh, which is pretty surprising. But yeah, my folks are from Fiji, so from I've Fiji? Seen that culture. Yeah, brother. Oh, I know snap. more of that than I do here. I feel more home there than I do here. Which is quite strange. I'm born here. It, my it, accent is completely strange. Yeah, but it's like interchangeable though. You know what I mean? Your people could have just been traveling with people, you know. Say that again. Your people could have just in what sense? 
like uh just been traveling back and forth back and forth you know so you know some people I mean, come from fiji about people are people yeah i guess but the culture is different yeah like yeah so that that that's kind of how i mean like if i walked down the street my whole life right i've been born here and stuff like first question i get from someone it's like oh hey where are you from like literally that would be the first question i get from somebody that is just met so a lot of the time there is a little like most of the time there's a bit of judgment behind that and if you know because they don't think that i'm australian because the color of my skin i can't be australian but if you speak to me uh, it's completely aussie hey mate hey you go mate whatever but if i go to yeah. fiji that question is never arisen bro it's more like if i meet someone they say how are you going what are you doing you know not yeah. like where okay. you from so it's kind of okay. weird and I, i've been to england i've been to london yeah amsterdam new york and just going to those places um made me realize the the culture differences and how it goes down in australia like i can see what you're saying interchangeable with people and whatnot but um just the culture is completely different you know okay. to have like a pacific island lifestyle the culture going through there in comparison to um developed nations such as australia uk and america i mean usa so yeah you know uh, man, I go by America, man. The USA <laughs> Corporation. But it okay. it yeah, because I, when I said that, I, I mean, I, in taking that into you could kind of think of South America as well. And so the cultural differences yeah. in all the Southern American countries are completely different to what you get yeah. up there. And I guess you got Canada as well. You ever been there? Yeah. I've never been to Canada. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's dark as hell. Uh yeah, I I never been to Canada. Uh, I like to go, but the funny thing about Canada, they uh they actually practice more um tribal. Well, I don't say practice. They actually have a, 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 a respect. A, a, it, it, not even res well, respect, but like they they do carnival up there. Like it's real big. <laughs> You know, we do have carnival in Atlanta, but it's not as big as they do it in Canada. Uh, but it's is like... That, is that like a celebration of indigenous culture or something? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what? Uh, Mardi Gras is, is the same thing out there in New Orleans. Exactly. If you, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that, and that's what oh. brought to my mind exactly. Like, you got Carnival for the alphabet community, which is huge worldwide celebration. Everybody come to this event, no matter where you are. But then... yeah. You just telling me of the kind of our celebration of the indigenous uh, culture of the Canadians, and that's really something nobody's really heard of. That's true, but sad. it's a it's yeah, but it, it's a uh, the thing is, all right. So New Orleans had the Mardi Gras, but the same headdresses and uh, attire they wear is the same thing that people wear up there in, in Canada. I'm like, it's cool. And it's like, you know, we need to go ahead and link that all the way up and, you know, bring it together somehow, some way. It could be that's done. Right. That's, but, that's, um, that's positive um, thought, bro. You know, if you can, yeah, all that stuff you're saying, just link up, try and make something good out of it, productive, bro. Yeah. But the thing is, like, okay, so Australia, man, I've been trying to tie it into my people too. Like, it's it's crazy because the dialect I, I I hear the dialect and I I think it's like it's almost like a country southern twang to it. Uh, like, you you see that's the thing, bro. Like a lot of people, not to interrupt, I let like I, I want to let you finish, but are you good? just the uh, how people think, you know, Australia. Oh, good eye, mate. Yeah, there you go, mate. That see that's the really Europeanized uh, settler accent. Um, kind of ideal of a person characteristic, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so if you're saying that, good day, mate, that would be on the same line as if I was to think of America and think of a yokel like a redneck and be like, oh yeah, gone golly, how you gone? You know, we gonna yeah. go do a square dance down near the park. Like, yeah. so in thinking that sense, like, I mean, not all America is really like that. There may be a fair bit of it, but obviously... <laughs> You know, people like you, I, the other people listening, they don't really like that. So there is this essentialness of, you know, 
uh, but good day, yeah. mate. Yeah. But then if you think about the indigenous culture too, we have they're very um, live on off the earth. You know, yeah. they, they don't see the sense in uh, monetary culture, capitalism, and all these things. Like, I mean, if you're going down to their traditional cultural sense, like, so their accent is also a stereotype, can be stereotypic stereotype as yeah. well. Like, yeah, but I, my, you going to see about it again, a little lack, yeah, yeah, but that's how, yeah, bro. That's how yeah. literally they would be stereotyped. So, I don't know. And it is pretty country. Like, I mean, where I'm from, I'm from a place called Queensland, right? That's where it's born. So the, it's the northern part of Australia. So even that, it's known there kind of thing. The further north you go in that state, the more rural, more farmers you're going to see and more inclined to the culture of that. Yeah, mate. Yeah, g'day. Uh, g'day. g'day. And there's a, there is a lot of racism. It among- is. The culture, so I, I kind of figured that because they they sh- I, I I I say because they shoot it through TV, but it's probably not because of that. It's probably because people look different, talk different, act different. But at the same time, uh, racism just I call it a big old cup of hateration, man, hate. But uh, but even going back to living off the land, you know, that's how my people came up living off the land. Bro. We used to grow grow our own crops, and still to this day. You know, some neighborhoods have apple trees, uh, pepper gardens, uh, squash, uh, whatever you may think of. People still grow that stuff in their backyards and stuff just because they're the older generation. But mm. you can tell by a new generation that we don't care for it because we can go to the supermarket. So they want to put the work in, uh, you know, grow their own crop. But I used to go to the backyard and, and, and get fresh peppers for Sunday dinner sometime, you know. Oof. Like, go oh, pick me something. taste peppers. any better, right? You could <laughs> taste in that fresh pepper. I'm no trying doubt, to tell you. And they hot, hot, hot. <laughs> that's right. Like, I so, mean, and I think what you're saying that it's very true. The older culture have been per, uh, prone to do such things. Like, maybe if it, even if you live in a very small space backyard, whatever you got, just put a bit of dirt in a pot and see if you can grow some uh, flowers or fruit or whatever vegetable from that, but mm-hmm. I think that the young, way you're saying the younger generation don't, uh, a lot of exposure, you know, I guess like the digital age internet that came through a lot of people are just stuck on their phones and things, they're not exposed to that lifestyle of going out, raising a garden you know, and what, what yeah. glory can become of that, like even the time you're putting in for the making the plant and letting it grow and nurture, that's very calming, but then also the reward of the food. So that's true. There's huge benefit in the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. man. It is. And, and but uh going back to uh that's how we used to gain our money or trade with other tribes of people to get what you didn't have. You know, it was through the product that you have, basically your crop. You know, I got a fill of uh, peppers and this person has apples, oranges and grapes. Hey, I'm going to trade y'all a a heap back, you know, old and we'll trade you a heap of peppers to get some of them oranges and apples. You know, a heap is a lot, but, uh, you know, just get, you know, different things. Yeah. What are the the ultimate necessities of life, man? You know, like that's what it is, that that old traditional culture was more focused on the actual you know, we all need to eat, sleep, be loved, be in the community, be healthy and happy and whatnot. With now, we've got all these materialistic distractions such, and the unnecessary Facts, such money. As gamings, phones, yeah, money, all this stuff. So yeah, that's a huge part of that breakdown of how you're saying, you know, because I'm totally down with the way of uh, that older style living, you know. I mean, it's harder to say to just shut yourself off the grid and do that, you know. You can't live off the system or whatnot, but or like yeah. being it and not of it and stuff. But you know, how yeah. I just said, man, yeah. it's the necessity. Older traditional yeah. culture was more focused on the actual necessity of being human on this earth. We need to look after each other, and even in that sense, the community used to look after each other. It didn't have to be your son. Be your that's how we do it. That's how that's how we do it in my neighborhood, baby. It's a family neighborhood, so we look after each other. And matter of fact, I'm going to give y'all a glimpse. I hope my Wi-Fi don't cut out, but I'm going to show y'all what it looks like where I'm at. And everybody can do the same thing. I'm going to show y'all. It's kind of dark tonight, but, ooh, it's dark. You can see the moon. 
it's real dark. We got trees. That's a light pole. There's trees all around me. There's trees back there. It's real dark, so they probably can't see. But there's yeah, trees all around. Me. Yeah. Have but, you got a light man. on the phone? Maybe if you turn the light on, you might give it a go. But... Let me see. Let me see if they're cold. It won't let me do it. But yeah, there's trees everywhere. But yeah, oh uh, man, I'm what uh, area from? Oh, what area? I'm right now. I'm in Car, which is 15 minutes away from Atlanta. I'm on the other side of the Chattahoochee River. That's what splits uh, Atlanta oh. and Cobb County. So, yeah, man. But I'm going to uh, hop off the panel real quick. Now I got to go tend to the family. I'll Thanks. chime back in. Yeah, man. Good, man. good man. things, bro, good man. Yeah, man. Go subscribe to my page. Everybody can. And uh, we'll link All right. back up. We'll do. All right. All right. So, That's what's up, man. Thanks, bro. Coming through. Yes, sir. No problem, man. Definitely appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah, Chief. No problem. I'll check back in. Peace. Peace. Sun Ray. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> We're just chilling. Peace Good to see you, brother. So, yeah, uh, man. Peace out. Good to see you, too. Keeping in the, you know, what's that? Uh, like you know, twenty four hour, twenty four seven streaming, bringing you content all day, every day, real facts from real people. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be, we definitely gonna be on that, man, real soon, y'all. Be on the lookout for that. Um, well, you know, tomorrow, you know, we got sister um, Fran speaks. It's gonna be hosting um, the American Aboriginal Woman is God. You know, it was just, we was just an Aboriginal woman's guy. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be dope. So be on the lookout for that. And then Sunday, we got Sister Bethy Love. You know, um, man, you know, man, we're looking for, you know, I got a sports show that we're developing, man. So y'all going to be on the lookout for that. Um, it's just a lot going on, man. We got a lot going on. We're going to be we're doing some exclusive uh, content over on TrueTube. That's TrueTube.com. Uh, I don't know if anybody um, got my link. Put the link in the chat room. You guys can uh, check me out. Follow me over there. As soon as I figure it out, but yes, yeah, this is a pretty dope site, y'all. Uh, um, so yeah. check that out. Yeah, man. Yeah, shit, we just we grinding. Oh, you checked it out already? Yeah, like uh, somebody. Uh, you know, seen a few. I didn't. I don't haven't probably been back on it. Uh, for a while, but. You know, it seemed like a dope platform. Um, just keep stuff that's similar to this, obviously. But just right. more, um, I guess the what's that word? Uh, censorship, things like that. It's a bit um, exactly a bit more light on the. So, but um, yeah, I mean, shit. Just keep it going, man. You're obviously doing great. Like you, you know, you got people coming through, like, and the, and that's the thing I've noticed too, man. I'd like to say, the content is really, it's not just getting up there and talking nonsense. You come in with some, you know, realistic sense of people's perspective and lives, and not even just their lives, but like, it's exposing so many facts which have been shunned down, sort of stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just. Yeah, I mean, I'm just just a, with guests and people you had on and some discussions of when I flipped through, it's really dope. But in in regards to other platforms coming on and they just seem to discuss same sort of topics over and over again, same people and like go nowhere with it, <laughs> like kind of trying to find out meaning of life and whatnot. Whereas this is just trying to build community and really open people's eyes to the the reality exactly. of history, man, and how we've been bamboozled. They're still trying to do such nonsense, but the evidence is like plain to see, and you know. And yo, you in you're in Australia, and you know what I'm saying, um, and you could see it, you know what I'm saying. But a lot of times they like to tell us, "Oh well, Australia, blah 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 blah," right? Those are the Aborigines. And then it's just so crazy that the, the people of Australia don't, or the indigenous people, the 
the aborigines of Australia don't like it because they wasn't calling themselves aborigines until they came and started calling them aborigines. Let's be clear on that. First off. Second off, right. if you put aborigine next to a picture with somebody eating shit, right, and you tell people aborigines is the person that eats shit, they're going to eventually be like, well, yeah, I don't want to be an aborigine. Y'all get it? So when people be saying you guys are aborigines and you guys are abos and ten all this stuff, bro, we are not identifying as a race of people called aborigines. We are calling ourselves the first inhabitants, right? The first Americans, the first inhabitants of this land that they call the United States of America. That is how we are tapping into our social, political, economic power. Period. It's super simple. I I see, you know what? I think Sunray that is too simple. They need like some extra metaphysical alien flying out the sky with a dolphin. Like, yo, this is what they need to make it seem more feasible. It's too simple the way I just said it. What do you think, brother? Sunray, did you hear that? Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I mean, that's a real question, though, y'all. Like, it's going down. I, I don't know, you know. Uh, super weirdo shit. King Rod, what it do? Clement Haley, peace. Eagle Hawk Condor, salute. Mr. Aboriginal Smith came through earlier. Still in his prime, that's right. Cassius Clay still in his prime, man. That's what's up, man. Be busy's in the building. Peace of the guys, man. We definitely appreciate everybody coming through. Um, Akeem is in the building. Peace of the guy, Libra son. Libra, I gotta see these damn shoes you got right here. Libra, you gotta send me, you gotta send me a picture of these, bro. I see these right here. I don't check them out, Libra. I like them, man. Them is hard. So yeah, man, y'all be on the lookout for them Supreme Chiefs, man, coming soon, man. So uh, we're gonna have to do an unboxing, Libra. Uh, yeah, man, it's going down. Yeah, man, uh, be on the lookout, man. Um, who else we got here? Uh, we got. I think I got everybody. Yeah. Uh, you sound like a see. Nah, yeah, I just got. I'm. Y'all know I've been dealing with a little under the weather stuff, so that's what that's like. I'm turned up, actually. Yeah, dolphins future. Yeah, they. That's that. That's that. Uh, Nuwapi and shit, y'all. Man for Ritz and all that. So that's what that. That's what that comes from. So yeah, man. Peace, everybody, man. Thanks for everybody for coming through. Um, who else we got? Anybody want to come else? Who else coming in? Sunrays. I guess he's having some. Issues over there. Um, yeah, man. Peace, everybody. Man, put the link back in the chat room one time. It's not in there already. And uh, if not, we're gonna close it out. We're gonna close it out. I think. Let me leave son. Leave son. Peace of the God, man. What's up, bro? Man, peace to the gods and goddesses, man. What's good with you? Same shit, different toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, man. Just That's about you know, it, not man. man. Just trying to do my part, man. You know, feel me? Anyway, we could do it, man. And trying to reach out to the youth, man. Uh, that are in in this, or man, we could just say one life or enlighten somebody on something that they hadn't heard before. That's the mission. You know what I mean? So I feel like the mission has been done, you know, has been accomplished for this uh, particular live stream. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like I said, man, that's what it's about for me. So it's not about uh, anything else but that. So what to do, man? Yeah, man, just chilling, man. You know, working, working like a slave, man. Yeah, you already know. Trying to. Yeah, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. You know what I'm talking about? Always. That's where we at with it. And, you know, it's coming together, man. It's going to be a great summer, man. I say 20 straight summers, man, but we got to take one at a time. 
So just first one, man, just got to go uh, and try to avoid taking L's, man. That's just, that's, that's really what's happening. Um, you know, we were talking gang culture and stuff like that, just the responsibility of gangs and stuff like that. When you were coming up, right, just from a different perspective, yeah, um, did they have gangs or this gang culture? Not like you, like super old and not like that or whatever. But this, this, I, I, I need to know this from your growing up. Nah, no, no, man. In DC, we ain't had no gangs, man. We ain't had gangs in DC. It was a, you was an army of one. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> So niggas that like didn't have like 38th Street, the Southeast Street, uh, you know what I mean? Like none of that type of stuff. I mean, like nobody really Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they had that was, you know, if 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 you was on a certain block or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um you would hold your your area down, but that came like later. You know what I mean? Um and you know, it's it's like DC was too small for all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they had gangs, man, that shit would have been nonstop carnage. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's yeah, it was too too small, man. Cause we had like spots that people come from all over the city be at and shit. You know what I'm saying? So that shit would have been real crazy. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, when the shit started, though, it did, it did get crazy out there because look how small it is, but it's just like a lot of small places like that. <coughs> yeah, but we, we didn't really, you know, like outsiders and shit. You know what I mean? And the only good thing an outsider can do is either be a connect or get robbed. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it wasn't, you know, even even if people didn't like each other in the city, they, they would band together against outsiders. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was just some shit. We ain't, you know, like, you ain't, you ain't going to be no outsider coming in running no shit. You know what I mean? Like, that shit. Just look at DC as just being a whole one block and shit. So that's that's how it was. You know what I mean? Okay, I got you. That's what's up. Interesting. So do they have gangs out there now? They got gangs out there now, right? I mean, they call them that. They call them crews or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it's not really like that, you know what I'm saying? Like the only people that were really like organized was, you know, doing doing street business. You know what I'm talking about? Um, that's that's that was the only organized groups of people and shit. But other than that, it wasn't you know no type of we didn't have no gang culture. But I mean, you know, after. The youngins, you know, watching TV and all that kind of shit, they be trying to emulate some shit like that. But it ain't the same. It's more of a block to block thing now. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I'm looking at dollar signs, man. I, I, I just don't understand. What are you talking about? I, I'm just thinking, like, I can't understand how, how our people can't see how much we could do if we pull it together. Now, I'm looking at, say, like we had, say, like we had, um. 200 people in the chat room, right? All of them within two months gave $500, right? You know, 
that's a hundred thousand dollars right there, right? Say that we bought a building that had two hundred apartments in it, right? And every but all two hundred people that gave that five hundred dollars up, put that hundred thousand dollars in it. I mean, that who put that five hundred dollars in it? And we bought a, a a nice building and had it fixed up nice. Now you got two hundred apartments in this building. Each person would own an apartment in that building, and they could rent it out. You know how many times we, if we did that, I don't think people understand the power that we have as a people. Well, yeah, I mean, see what, what, what the the whole thing is, and and it and it's it's pretty. One thing we have to do is get to know each other behind the scenes too. First thing, and the second thing, we're organizing with the council to be able to come together and say, okay, look, we got 50 people. That's a start. That could come up with $18,000 for instance to buy six, 600 acres, just using that as an example. You know what I'm saying? Or say, oh, man, we only got to come up with uh, $10,000 to buy a building. And when when we buy the building, now we're leasing and we have other stuff and it's just a business con, con thing. So now the investment of those fifty people is has is, is not only is, is seeing a quick turnaround. So a lot of these things, you know, like I said, I, I don't I don't think that I don't think we got to rush into anything either. I think we got to be planning it out really good. So. That's all, Sister Bethy. That's all I said. I know you, 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 you uh, yeah. definitely uh, own it. I, I, you know what I mean? We don't want to. We don't want to tell all our goodies. Saying. We don't want to put all our goodies out there. You know what I mean? No, I yeah, don't. Yeah. I can't just tell hate. you everything. Nah, come on. I know. But, I'm just saying. But, I just hate. I'll be looking like, like, what the? Yeah. What's but here's you the saying? thing, though. Like, <laughs> here's, listen, here's the thing you gotta think about, right? Is that said, you, I, think, you know what? I'm ready to fight you. I, I'm we gonna fight <laughs> hold up before you <laughs> before hold up hold up sis before before you fight me. <laughs> let me just say this real quick. <laughs> let me just say this real quick, right? Because you, you know, we have to understand the mentality of our people, right? And mm -hmm. you know, when it when it comes down to doing certain things that require them to have faith in the or planning for the future and our people do not do that they don't envision the future and this is why it's so difficult because we have a society of people that's only living for today yeah i understand that but i'm talking about in the chat room i don't care if you a drug dealer trying to it doesn't turn matter right, if they in the chat room drug money over I, I'm just it saying. It doesn't matter, sis. It don't matter whether they're in the chat room or whether they're anywhere else on this continent. <clears throat> the mentality is you have a, you have certain groups of people that, that will take that and run with it, but when you just look at, you know, the population as, uh, as a community or whatever, um, that's going to be few in, in between, you know what I'm saying, far between because, you know, like I say, people, they don't trust in the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they just I don't even it, trust. <laughs> it's, the all future. A, it's all about how you drop it to them. If I got 50 course, people in the chat room, right, that says, that says, okay, I'm willing to invest $500 because I know the other 50 people is going to be on that deed, right, of owning that building. And we, if stay like the building had 50 nice apartments in it, right? And each one of those 50 people donated $500, and they see that their name is on the deed because we all at the bank, right? And we tell the bank, okay, we get ready to buy this building. Buy the building out, no mortgage. Everybody that, all the 50 people that invested that $500, they own an apartment in that building. They own it. And they can rent it out through the hell they want. They're going to collect a monthly income. 
and say like the apartments, each apartment is worth like in New York, say like each apartment in our building is worth $2,000. Each person of those 50 people are each going to get $2,000 a month for whoever they rent their apartment that they bought. And then they'd be like, damn, that was good. Now I own an apartment in, a part, in an apartment building. I'm ready to help buy another building. Then they get another one. You're going to have a bunch of people that ain't going to have to work because they're going to be collecting $2,000 a month. If no, they hey, no, I, think, bought, I think that's a great idea. If, if they I really bought do. three buildings, I said, damn, I invested in three buildings and I got three apartments that I could rent out for $200 a month. Man, I ain't got to work because I'm getting $6,000 a month. That's what I'm talking about. Man, these people think they be getting cheated out of $20 and shit. No, you no, no, I mean? no. Not if we no, all no, no, no. to the Listen, bank. Listen, I got you. People, Listen to what I'm saying now. People, I'm about to I'm, I, I got you. I got you. Sis, sis right. I know what you're saying. Well, really, well, first thing I'm going to say is that that's, that's kind of a simplistic way of looking at it. And commercial properties don't really operate like that. But I understand your point, right, which is a very good point. But what I'm saying is people in our community be complaining about $20. Now, so uh, imagine, you yeah, people, shit. <laughs> I'm trying to we tell have you. a lot of people in our, we got a lot of people in you. our community that are middle class workers and working class citizens. And yeah. they they do save and say, all right, I'm going to put my $500 in this and I'm going to meet all the other 50 people. We all going in the bank together at one time because all our names going to be on the lease. There's no way they're not going to trust you because can't nobody do shit because everybody's name is on that lease. It's on yeah, that. But you um, got, yeah. You got people too scattered around to even they're probably, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if you're, you're in one all area. Meeting at if you're all meeting at the bank together and you see this transaction being done, there's no way they're not going to be scared. That's enough right there. They see and they have a copy of the deed. They know they own a particular apartment in that building. I don't think so, but I think we got a deal. All right, I tell you what. Right. I'm going to go fish for them 50 people and we're going to do it. I'm not waiting for you and I'm not waiting for nobody else. I'm going to go fish for them 50 people that's going to get down with me. And we're going to do it. And then I'm going to come back to you and, and say, all right, we got our damn building. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you the first thing you're going to need to do. I if know. You're going to do, do something like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. That's cool. I would I love to see you do it. I would love to see you. And then I'm going to come back. I'm not, because I, I can't wait. I'm a first type of person. I don't have patience. You either roll with me or roll it out. Yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah. I, I can't. I, 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 I can't uh, wait. I'm not used to waiting. I hate planning something and then nothing don't never happen. Yeah, you dealing with I fifty can't. personalities. Well, go ahead. Uh, I mean, I, like I say, I would people, love for you to do that. I would love for you to do that. Really, they they you know be like, saying? sister, look, I'm gonna give you the money, and then let me know when you want me to meet you. We are gonna meet up at them. When we gonna meet up at the bank? They ain't even got to give me the money. They can say, all right, we got it set up now. Uh, we're going to the bank. All our names is on this damn bank account. All 50 of us. They ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Like I say, I understand your theory. You know what I'm saying? But you can't. I mean, commercial I'm property don't really operate people. like that. I, I got you, but what I'm saying is commercial property don't even operate like that. The property oh, yes, is does, worth baby. the oh, property yes, is worth does. the property is worth the amount of money that it can generate. That will be but your take, your worth your property's worth. Now, if you listen. can generate ten times the amount that you paid for it, then hey, you got some good shit going. They you got properties saying? in Connecticut, abandoned buildings that you we can Restore okay, so now, you, now you're going to need money to do that, right? So now yeah, you're going to need I'm money saying, to do that. Listen, listen, <laughs> you get a building, you get a building for 50000 in Connecticut that's abandoned. Then you can turn around and you can hire contractors, and it, it's going to be we all pay for it. You put that, say that the building costs five thousand dollars, they wanted the town wanted to get rid of this damn building. We paid it five thousand dollars. 
then we all right we 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 put out a bid and see who wants to remodel the building or what are they asking for pretty much it could be like 50 or 60 or a hundred thousand dollars to remodel the damn building who knows 50 people can come up with that amount of money okay yeah, I mean, I, I'm with you, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. the way you the way you explained is like I said, it's, it's going to take a lot more money than a thousand dollars per person. Right. This is all I'm trying to say. The The concept, what you're saying, I, I get I understand it. Right. But when you start adding that shit up, trust me, it's going to be way more than that. You know what I mean? But. Like I say, concept wise, I understand when you come. We we t we're not saying they gotta rush and pay it. You do it, you pay it when it's due. We 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 got it. We got to divvy up how much we all got to get to invest in the building. How much is gonna cost? We find all that out before we even put our money oh. down. Oh, okay, so so I, I think run, that we gotta accumulate the people too first, right? Like I'm down, so that's one less person. So we already done with that. Just tell but, me, I'm telling you how it works here in Connecticut. See, I'm I'm from a small state, so I mean y'all. So you don't need fifty Peter people state? to know to get the building though. Huh? But I think that I, what if you don't need fifty people to 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 invest in the building? Let's just I'd say, rather the more know? people, the less money, because the more people you get, the more they'll be willing to do it again. Even if we bought, like, we don't have to buy a damn building. Don't have to be a building. So let's say we want to buy up, like, fifty people want to buy up like ten houses on a street that's for sale. Yeah, each house we, we can come up with that money. Yeah, it's certain cities that you can you know find cheap houses like that. Yeah, no doubt. And we ran all I'm saying we is, paid. I we got, I got, like I, I said, I, I understood your concept. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was a real, you know, it's a, it's a good concept, but you know, it's just a problem getting people together to do any damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, because Libra says don't have faith in his people. That's why it's not. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that what at is all. The I'm, I'm just know, going I'm just, by the, I'm I'm just going say, by what I've seen. <laughs> I'm going by what I've seen. You know what I mean? So I'm not. It's not a prejudgment, but just based on the the information that that I've been in this community so far, from what I've seen, yes, that that is that is a task. I'm not saying that you can't do it. I will. I will be glad for you to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm All with right, you 100. percent I ain't yeah. doing no business with you, um, Leverson. I ain't doing no business. God, with you. I mean, what can find, I say, man? I'm going to. I said I, I'm going to find I said five I, I, drug I'll, I'll be glad to see that got money <laughs> left over. I'm going to find uh, five ex drug dealers and about five truck drivers that got money, and I'm. I'm, they're, I'm, they're I'm already, they already got their hustle going. So, but but they're here's the thing, money. though, man. Like I say, you know, it, it's just organizing people. Period, man. I'm not saying. I mean, I and this goes for whatever people. reason. Yeah. I okay. have a passion. Okay. I have a passion with trying to build with our people. And I be spitting it out there. And and, and the people in the chat room will be down, man. I, I'm just start writing their names down. Mm. Mm. I'm serious. Well, like I say, I'll be glad to see you do it because that's what it's all about, right? Getting people to <laughs> take, getting people to take action. Yeah. I mean, it's all about trying to get people to take action, and and that's what we that's what we try to do on a daily. You know what I'm saying? Get people but to take some action. Know but you know what, Libra? Son, a lot of times, people like Big Chief, that's in there in, in the audience, in the chat room, and Gretchen. A lot of times, they don't want to deal with the paperwork. They'll give you the money, and they'll come in there and sign the papers because they know. If they get somebody, they don't want to deal with it. Somebody like me, I'll deal with the bank. A lot of people, they don't want to deal with it. Well, that's they well, that's you right that about wrong. that. But you but you're right about that. But sometimes you can't even give shit away to people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like in this community, 
even if you gave shit for free, it's hard to find 50 people. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah you be like, hey, you hey, hey, be like, hey, we're gonna get 50 people <laughs> to invest in this. Uh we be like, hey, we need 50 people to invest in this thing. And be like, what's it gonna cost? Nothing. And then what, what do you get? Or you make, you know, you get a uh two thousand dollars per month. Like it'd be hard to find fifty people for that, Libra. Investing in the side of the well, that that that's like a well to me. That just doesn't sound like something that's real. <laughs> so okay. I'm just be, be honest right. with I'm you. Gonna, that don't even sound real. So that in I'm itself will will deter people, people from trying to you know participate in something because I'm if they look at it and it's like people. shit, that ain't even real, man. I ain't even wasting time with that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna get my fifty people. Uh, yeah, that, I would love for you to do that. I would love for you to do that. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just, I would love for you to do that. You know what I'm saying? And then if you I do it, then what? Then what you? Then what you gonna think? You gonna say I lost out? I should have invested. No, nah, I never lose. I'm talking about if I. Get <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then we get the building and we start booming. And you see it, then what you gonna do? You just gonna clap your hands and say, or or are you gonna say, damn, I should have invested? Who said that I wouldn't have invested in the first place? You already you I, didn't, are, you I didn't no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that I wouldn't invest in, in, in your idea. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm saying that gathering, you know, groups of people to do any damn thing um is a task. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't matter what what it is. It's just that it's 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 a real task, you know, getting people to actually get off their ass and participate in something. You know what I mean? Hundreds, out of the hundreds of people that be in these YouTube rooms, a lot of them work hard. A lot of them, whatever, however they make their hustle on, I guarantee yeah. you, you get fifty people. I'm not saying you can't. All I'm saying is good luck. Okay. I, I'm gonna go on my chin, and I'm gonna I'm gonna send out a damn. You watch, you watch. I'm going on my chin. On my you know I'm not a I'm not a believer yeah, anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a this believer, so I, I'll I believe it when I see it. I believe okay. it when I see it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this channel, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go on my own damn YouTube channel, and I'm gonna start recruiting people. Now you can go on everybody's <laughs> channel, channel, shit. If you come in my chat room, um, Libra said, I'm going to treat you just like I treat Root Word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you not to do it. All I'm saying is, I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now you down. So now no, I I'm, saying, you. I'm saying, I, I, I don't have a like I, I don't, like listen, I, I don't have a problem being down. That ain't, I'm not the one that have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I'm just telling you that <laughs> it is a it's a great idea and even if your idea is great it's just I'm not saying it's impossible for you to get people to participate but it is wow. all I'm telling you is that you know it's not always what you expect you know what I'm saying okay, okay it's not so always what you expect I'm, I'm, so. goodness, I'm going on my YouTube I'm going to start doing business on my YouTube channel because this cheap yeah. channel I'm not going to – I'm, I'm going to keep my mouth closed. Big Chief say give him a call. He'll help you out. Oh, I got all Big Chief information. Big Chief always down. That's what I love about him. He always That's down. what I'm saying. Him you got certain – that's what I'm saying. You got you, you got you can count on your hand and shit on one hand that you know you don't – it's people that you don't have to worry about, right? But once you no, get past because, that number – <laughs> I'm just putting this out here, but there's people, there's a lot of sisters that be down. I'm serious. And that's sisters. that's all well and fine. Shit. Yeah. I mean, that's what I that's what I want to see. I'm not saying it like that's something I don't want to see. I love to see I know, that. I know Empress Copper will be down because she about she about making those moves. She is down. Yeah. It's, 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 you know what? It, it's a lot of it's a lot of people out out here that's about making those moves, but it's just you know just getting in view of those people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
It's like they're out know. here without a doubt. They're out here. I bet it's you just, ABTV, a, a, Aboriginal TV, he'll be down in a minute because ABTV okay. is about making money. Right. Make a list. Make a list. I'm going to write a list. I, after I write this list yeah. of names, I bet you I probably only need to recruit 10 more people. And that would be great. Else. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Now, if I do this in Libra, you are not allowed to make any plans. You just got to take orders. <laughs> <laughs> why are you gonna? Why are you gonna penalize me? <laughs> why are you gonna penalize me? We have uh, to tell you this ahead of time, man. You can't talk. You can just you can just give, and you'll get your portion. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to be on the outside looking in, right? Chief always be so there. Good. Chief wanted to buy all so, the yeah. up in the United States. We ain't got to worry about Chief Holiday. He gonna buy every piece yeah. of land back in the United States, so he's guaranteed to to be down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I say, you know, I, I'll. I'll I'll be glad to see that happen. Though. In the chat room, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. All oh, everybody is down. Right. All right. Get their names. Get all of them. Get all of them. Put a one. Put a one up. Put a one up if you if you want to participate. So then everybody that put a one up, you make sure you 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 write a list. So when it comes down to it, they better not be running and shit. All right. Put a one up. You say no. I got. I got you. You put a one up. God damn it. So I'm going to hold you to it. If you would be down for something like this. Be busy. And you got be busy with the one. And you meet me at the bank. You got you got Eagle Hawk got a one. Come on, sister, get their names, get their names down. They are subscribed to my channel, so they're gonna get a um. You got Future Teller. Future Teller, look at that. One, two, three. Future Teller always down. Future Teller always down, though. Gretchen, and we get a one from Gretchen. We already got a one from Gretchen. Yeah, Gretchen got put. All right, you counting? Who we got? You got Mr. Aboriginal Smith. One, two, three. You got four, Uni One. Five, six. Oh shit. Seven. Oh, look at that. Oh, we getting in. We getting it in. Oh Eight. shit. Roman Wolf. Oh, that's my boy. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, got, you know, Roman said, Wolf gonna be down. Next. There we go. There we go. All right, you got eight. You got eight. You got sixty people watching, and you got at least eight people that's down. That's cool. That's, that's a good percentage. Be on a break. No, that's a that's a good percentage though. That's nine percentage. ten. Me and you make nine ten, and Chief make eleven, so we got eleven. Okay, that's cool. We Next got eleven. Day. Anybody else out there listening? They probably on little breaks. Yeah, okay, we got Willie. Give... Willie, Willie in here. That's twelve. Okay. Okay, yeah, all right. Come on. There we go. So now, look at that. <laughs> we already are so far. Now, we got 12 people, $100 from each person. How much is that? $1,200. Look at that. Already, that's boom, that's $1,200. Now times five, five thousand, correct? Uh, it'd be six thousand actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Look at how fast that money goes up, and we get an apartment building that got how many apartments in it? This is whether yeah. this, I'm talking a apartment building you could live in. Right. So that's if what I'm you saying. You know. Building, if you got to right. renovate it, that's going to be extra cost, um, right. depending yeah, on how much renovation it needs. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, $200,000 for renovation. That's not a lot of money we got to dish out if we the more people we have. Because how many apartments is going to be in that building? Well, that's the, that's the question. All right, we got that's 12 people. You can have 20, let me see. You can have a three-story building, right? Yeah. With 
how many apartments on each floor? I'm just counting from when I used back in the day when I lived in the apartment building, three story building, and they got let's just, let's just say four, yeah, they got five, five or six apartments. apartments on each floor. Five times three right. is fifteen, correct? Yeah. Fifteen. Okay, so that means if we get fifteen people, right? Fifteen people will own mm -hmm. an apartment in that building, correct? And those fifteen people. If you can get it rent. at yeah. And we're buying the building out. Now we so okay. right there we don't have no mortgage. We just so that's only fifteen hundred dollars. That's only fifteen hundred dollars. No, but okay. fifteen people, right? Right, like, that's at a hundred dollars a piece to be fifteen hundred. Right. So, but we're gonna up it. Let's say we ask uh fifteen people to give six hundred dollars. Let's just say a thousand. Okay, a thousand. Right, and that'd then, be fifteen thousand dollars. Until their thousand dollars is in that bank account. Okay, that's fifteen thousand dollars. All right. Now, what do you think we could do with that? You think we, we could buy a building? Um, buy a building. The average, okay, the, the average um, down payment is going to be 20%. So No, 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 no. We're buying this out. We don't want no mortgage. So you, no you're going to buy a 15-unit building for $15,000. They got them because the town wants to get rid of them. They need fixing up. How about oh, this? Now. All right. That's a, good, that's, a good, that's a good start. So, now, we find out we don't want no more. But you we'll find that, uh, look, look, you find that building, you find that building, like you say, and I will be glad to give you $1,000. <laughs> I'll, I'll be glad to invest $1,000 in then, it. As a, as, 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 a, as, a, as a team of 15 people, Mm -hmm. We have to schedule a meeting so we can determine how much it's going to cost to remodel and fix that building so that we can rent hey. it out. Hey, yeah. I think you I can missed always something. get some proposals for that. That's a dang hard. Yeah, I think but I missed something. I'm just saying, yeah. if you can if you can buy the building for fifteen grand with fifteen apartments in it, goddamn it, I'm with that. We got them here so, in Connecticut. So, so I'll be real? the first one to give you a thousand. I'll be the first. Hey, where is this at? Hey, where is this at? <laughs> I got mine too. I'm down. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Uh, this has to be working though, I'll be man. the first one. Buildings, right? And they said they Can sell I get it for two? a dollar. Yeah. For a dollar. But what it is, they're selling for a dollar, but you got to pay the tax, the outstanding taxes on it. So. The taxes could be like sixty thousand. That's old to that particular town, and if you pay that sixty thousand dollars as a team of fifteen, you own the damn building. Now, some of these buildings don't need a whole lot of work done to it. They probably probably want to put like new toilets in there, new cabinets. You know what I'm saying? Make it a nice, comfortable living, you know, atmosphere. So you're looking at sixty thousand. That's four thousand a piece. Okay, and it should be like four thousand a piece for fifteen people. Yeah, it should be like four thousand a piece. Okay, and then um the cost to um bring it up the car, we can do it. It's not as bad as you think. Hey, where is this building no, at? <laughs> Go ahead, Chief. <laughs> These buildings are no, anywhere, in, anywhere in the United States. I'm serious. Be busy. Oh, uh, no, more. I thought you were saying there's a specific building. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I mean, but but once again, though, it goes back to this, though. If, if we came on here in a couple of weeks or whatever and said, hey, look, here's an investment idea. I see a lot of ones in the chat room, right? Here's yeah. this building. Right. Here's the investment group that's going to purchase this building. Do you guys want to be down with it? This is the buy. I think people are kind of understand that as well and kind of see some legal documents, you know, stuff like that or whatever. I mean, that's why I would I think that'd be dope. Well, honestly. I mean, all you would need, all you would need really 
is a, a proposal. You know what I'm saying? Um, if yeah. you can, if you, if you can, if you find a building, and then we can just put it in a proposal form where everybody see all the numbers and all the the everything that's that's going to um, go into it. Um, then I mean, that's that's what you have to use. You have to use things like that. This you have to be, use. You have to use a proposal to do that. This could be easy. You, uh, it can be. It can be. I'm telling you, just how to do it because we don't want to stress nobody's pockets. We all fifteen of us. We meet up at the bank. We sit down and say, "Look, we're we're a group, a team, okay, and we want to open an account, put away money, so we can save it up to pay for this piece of land." And pay for the remodeling of it. The bank person be like, okay, cool. We all are on that bank, um, are on that bank account, all our names. That way there's no static. And so what we do, we go in there and we keep depositing it until we reach the amount that we're supposed to. And once all of us reach that amount, we we, we, we can start balling. Well, all you would really need to do. Is that you get those fifteen people just to put an account, open an account in that bank? And no. Then that, that no listen, 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 sister, nope. sister Bethy. I told to you me. that you couldn't have make no plans. You could only donate. Listen, listen <laughs> to me, sister. Listen to me. This this will increase your leverage because now. You're bringing in 15 customers. You feel me? Instead of one right. customer, you're bringing in 15 no, I don't customers. Do it that way. I don't like that. I, don't I like hear that. you talking, yeah, but I'm trying to. Can I make a suggestion? Go ahead. Go what ahead. You? That is that freeway? Yeah, this is that freeway. I got my my grandma. In What's there. Oh, oh, hey. Peace, peace, my, peace to the God, other, man. The other feature. No is my, separate uh, account, grandma. Uh, no separate accounts. Nah, listen to I'm Sister but then if it's joint, like who? How about you, this? How about this? Who takes full responsibility? They do, okay, I'm listening. They do have grants, right? Because we, we're talking about doing things that's still connected to the system, right? Because ain't nobody talking about right. doing it in, in the indigenous way. So if right. you're going to do something, it, it would still be smarter. It would still even be smarter to do it on credit, if that's the case. Because this outright, outright buying things is stupid because if you don't... I ain't gonna, Actually, no, I'm not going to say it's stupid, but it wouldn't be smart. Especially if you have multiple people investing, because now you will have to have ways to protect that investment. Yep, and that's and you the all issue. Lose that, right? Yeah, and that's the issue we will have because there is a real estate market. So there's laws and things that will go, you know, into that as well. And, and everybody don't know those things. So what I was saying in terms of having an idea, every state has grants. OK, and maybe if we use our indigenous status, maybe we could apply for other types of grants. So I me mean, that's, just, that's just I'm throwing, sorry. That's just throwing have, an idea out there. Excuse me one second. Y'all got to let my boy up on the panel, uh, Aboriginal TV chief. He need a link, chief. OK, I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. No, I was just saying, just looking into grants. I mean, you know, it, 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 for the funding, I mean, it's different. See, because we got to remember, Federal Reserve notes ain't real anyway, you know. And when it comes to all these transactions, commercial transactions, they, you know, it's just all about contracting. So, me the personally. The value can be delegated on those notes, too. Right. Sure. It, yeah, so, you know, you can take. Or make we can make our own negotiable because that's all a grand is. You just I think also what you're saying, like, I mean, I pretend that, you're up, they put all the oh, eggs in sorry. one basket if you do so. I think that's a, whatever way, which way it does go, you also have a backup, you know what I mean? Because as, as you just brought up, if it does get to the stage that you know you've invested 15 people have invested all of their savings into something and it does uh hit the fan and things explode, and unfortunately, everybody's now back to point zero, then. All the you know when, all your energy is wasted, so you kind of need to do have a backup. Yeah, and that's what, right. And that's what we're really with, with. Like I said, with if you do a grant, 
you wouldn't plan the the focus everything will kind of already be there because you'll be you know doing what you need to do as contract you, you mean you're still contracting at the end of the day no matter how we do it it's going to be contracting and so whether you say we save up all this money and go put it in the bank, well, we got to create these bank, banking accounts where those are minimum contacts. Uh, you do the grant. Well, it's still a minimum contact. Uh, you use credit. You still got to deal with the bank, too. Well, you ain't got to use Federal Reserve notes now, but it's still a minimum contact. So we can we don't always have to. And then this is the other thing, too. If we say we're being indigenous. Why do we have to buy any? Because we talk about, you know, the documents, House Congress 331. Well, they do have a trust. We do have a trust responsibility to them. I mean, they, we, they have a trust respons- responsibility to us. So why, would, why wouldn't we use that? If we're going to do things as a group, why wouldn't we use that? I'm asking the well, I'm asking we know the we can get grants. We do know that. But my thing is, I don't want a, st- a separation of bank accounts. I want all of us to be on one bank account with all our names. And everybody got a goal of how they know how much they need to put in that bank so we can That's buy the structure. But Once we buy the building, then we go for the grants. Well, we all do it together as a team. No separate accounts. That would be necessary. I, said, I well. told you that you ain't got no, 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 no speaking well, rights. That, if that's the case, <laughs> <laughs> if we don't do something like that, if that's the case, you'll create an a, a entity and create a foreign, you know, your foreign entity outside of the United States. Because you still get you still getting a TIN number at the end of the day, the tax identification number to do that. You're gonna have to do that. And no, you don't. You said, yeah, you do. No, you don't. I mean, there's several ways you can do it, but yeah, that's you're still doing it. If you, I mean, a non-interest bearing account. I mean, if you if you if that's what you're referring to, I mean. Uh, on the only but thing now, I was right, but now then, but that, the thing is, you're saying you're you're gonna. Have, get a building to charge people money, and that's gonna become an issue legally because now you doing commerce. Right. That's There's too much weight on all the well, fifteen. We like, what if the that. fifteen people are putting in the equal amounts like every month, and then we you know, no, we, we no, 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 no. We already know what the goal is gonna be, bro. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes yeah. things don't. You, given can, a, you can have your plan, right. but six months down the right. track, or how much you, how long will it take you to save up? This is year. Listen, in Connecticut, there's a lot of abandoned properties that the towns, I'm telling you, and I mean a lot, want to get out of their hands. Okay. And if I, like I said, if I have 15 people. And I, we all pay. The goal is five hundred dollars each. I don't want a thousand right now. Right. Five hundred dollars well, right. each. So what's the well, amount for the we can property? Buy that building. And some of the buildings yeah. are just a dollar, and you got to pay the taxes. The building right. is a dollar. could be? We could come up to fifty thousand like, or more. Right. Right. And okay. we pay but, that. We but, own the building. But, but but here's the mm-hmm. thing too is that you have to realize too. Is that I'm trying to, you know, I, I wasn't trying to make this complicated, but when you're dealing with property and property values, the value that you bring that property up to now, you're going to have to pay taxes on that value. You see what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. the way commercial properties operate is that the commercial property is worth the amount that it generates, right? Mm-hmm. And so that's why, that's why I was so, saying, in terms of setting it up, how you set it up. It's going to determine all of that. And if you're saying we're buying this building to make money, that's that's going to be a problem. Now, if you right. say we're buying this building to support our people, you know, like an outreach center or something. It's see, a you know, or, see, or, or, or seniors or senior citizens that we take care of our seniors. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, now, that's a yeah. different conversation. Right, so. right. But I'm, I'm, just, I'm just, you know, exploring her... her um, her her project, you know what I mean. Just that's a great just, idea. Just, you know what I'm saying. Just looking at it as the idea that she presented, 
I was just trying to get her to understand that it's not is it's not that simplistic to do things like that. Because mm. once you start to add everything up, trust me, that <clears throat> shit starts to make a difference. Once you I add the taxes that. up, once you I've start to add the property value. Okay, all right. That's all I was saying. That's all I was trying to okay. point out. I'm right. going to say this one more time. Libra is not allowed to uh, <laughs> uh, What you do, man? Okay. What did you do, man? This is the second time. <laughs> Libra Libra is a destroyer of all. She I'm just don't like to hear the truth, man. <laughs> she don't like, like to hear the truth. No, no, no she, she, she said she did take it into account. So, you uh, know. I heard that, but I didn't see that. Uh, you understand? So, okay. all I'm saying is, <laughs> listen, like, I, I, hey, I, I know how commercial properties operate, right? I know how real estate operates. So, all I'm saying is that that was just a simplistic idea, but when you get down to the nuts and bolts, like, when you had to do a proposal on that, then mm -hmm. you're going to see that it's not going to be like that. That's all I'm trying to say. When you do a proposal for a grant, I have a, a degree in grant writing certified by the state of Connecticut. Now, yeah, I, didn't all, grant. I didn't, I'm I just didn't saying, give up all my juices. I'm not going to give out all my juices or cookies. Yeah, no, I'm just going to say I'm this like one say, more huh? time before Lieberson <laughs> spoil my spirit and make me go to bed crying. I'm not trying Anybody, to do that. We got 58 people in the chat room. Please and you only got 11 ones. One. No, no, I ain't finished. <laughs> okay. okay. We have 58 people in the chat room, all males and beautiful um, sister females. Put a number one if you be down to buy a building with your name on the deed. A general, a general, a, a revenue generating building. Put a one, please. No, own nothing. Control disregard control all control the negative. <laughs> no, I'm not. Disregard Lieberstein. Oh, Disregard oh. Lieberson and, and the uh and the man <laughs> behind the curtain behind his beautiful grandma. Oh, no, I show my face. Ain't no Disregard wrong with Disregard the beautiful uh lady behind the curtain on up here. This is day and freeway right here. I ain't the man I don't have my and, face. and Lieberson. You see this day freeway right here. I don't have my face. Okay. And the sweet guy from um UK. Disregard all their Okay, I got one, two. Look at that. Look at it. Still the love is they, still they, they the same one. One, two, <laughs> three. Look at that. Three. Let me get some ones. Four. Look at that. Hey, you, got, you, got two, Four. you got two new ones. You got Four. two new ones. <laughs> so that keep makes going up. Five. Makes, nah, nah you already. I'm already. You need already. <laughs> I'm counting five. You had already been counted. <laughs> Okay, uh, Zoe. Zoe oh, gonna put a seven. seven. <laughs> Zoe gonna put eight. a seven. Nah, future. future nah, future. Teller, tell already been counted. I'm, I'm counting the recount. Eight. Okay. There's more coming. Nine. Back to you. Ten. Look at that. Ten. Okay. All right Here now. Look at that. Damn, that's less ten. than it was the first time. No, uh -uh. <laughs> no, it that's was ten in the chat room. No, it's not. We didn't count you and um Willie. I know because we had it. We had eleven. Ten. That's why we had eleven. Okay, 11. we got, we got, uh, I, we got cheap. Peace, peace to everybody. What's up, y'all? Twelve. Peace, peace, peace the to the 13. young phenom. Really, fourteen. We got fourteen. Okay, I you got see y'all talking that business. I, I, I see y'all talking that business. Okay, power, now um, you, you gain one. You 14. gain one, sis. 14. Uh-uh. Gretchen, 15. Boom! 15. Keep it coming. Okay. Now. 15. <laughs> Look at that. Roman Wolf, 16. What you talking about? You know what? Lieberson, Put your money where your that. mouth is. Le Put Lieberson, your money where your mouth is. Uh, Lieberson, <laughs> I am going to inform you right now. We don't want you to participate. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, you want to? You gonna subtract mines? Okay, you want to subtract mines? Look at Nova the Star, Southwind. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, That's you got 17, 17. You got seventeen. Look at that. The more people, the merrier.
I mean, I got more people who are already who, who ain't in the chat who's already privy to doing the same thing. I was listening to y'all conversation. I just got one question. I feel like y'all missing one thing. Okay, um, you better not come in here and be like Libra. So <laughs> well, I, I can I can only be I can only be honest and I can only be truthful and I can only tell you information that I think is best for you. So you can take it for that, or you can tell me to kick. Kick rocks, but at the end of the day, if the information is true, the information is true. All I'm gonna say is this: um, the one thing I see, if we did have 15 people, or have, no matter the amount of people we have, right? The one thing before you go to the bank, right? Before you go to the bank, the okay, one thing I would do, the one thing I would do before you go to the bank is write up an agreement with all parties involved on how things are gonna go, who's in charge of what and solidify your infrastructure as a unit first and then uh make moves to uh go get a bank um um go get a new uh go get a bond or different things like that it's going to be difficult to have 15 individuals right um to have an interest in something right but and it's no type understand. of infrastructure no i understand people, 15 the 15 people, the bank does all that for you. No, it don't. The bank is not yes, going to tell do. you who's in charge of the treasury. They're not going to tell you if we got an offer, who's going to sell, who wants to stay. They're not going to tell you any of that. They're not no, going to no, tell no, you. No, they're no. not. That's up no. to the 15 people how they're going to actually do their business. Oh, we're going to do it. We're, we're, we're going to do an agreement between us as a unit. But I'm talking about once we get to the bank. As far as who can get the money out, no money can be taken out unless you have 100% of the vote. Oh, no, I understand that. I, that. I get that much. I'm just talking about, I, I'm not in disagreement with your idea. I'm just saying there's little things that I would suggest you would do before we run to the bank. I would make sure that the 15 people that I have are solid and understand what the hell we're trying to accomplish. We all on the same goal and we all working towards the same thing. Getting 15 random motherfuckers with some money, that's easy. Okay, but getting 15 people who, who all got the same vision, who all got the same goal and who working towards the same thing, that's a little bit more difficult. That's all I'm saying. I just if we're going to rock with people, just make sure that the people you're rocking with are serious about it. You know what I'm saying? And willing to go in a, uh, in a contractual agreement with each individual. Right. So that we keep things out of feelings, out of goddamn feeling like some type of way. and Everything is handled um, on a business to business basis. That's all I'm saying. That's yeah. true. And that and that well, will require people, a, a, we are a proposal would be the first thing that you do. We right, true. It, I actually I would I would I would suggest each individual involved write up their own personal proposal and see which ones work uh for the whole. That's what I would suggest. Because well, we one person writing up a way more difficult. No, <laughs> well, I'm just saying. No, nah, listen, having one person do all the work and not be compensated is gonna be difficult. No, because it's, it takes a certain expertise to, to do these proposals the way it's supposed to be done. And it, No, I get that. But if you study enough, Libra, anybody can write up a proper business proposal. You can go on goddamn yeah. Google and print out a goddamn copy, print, yeah. and goddamn put your shit on it, right? So we know yeah. that much is well, we, we, it, we can pretty well, much get the right, information right if we need it. Well, see, here's the thing, right? Because it's it's oh, specific. Shit. Sister Betsy started up something else. Oh, no, no, Lord. no. We all we good. No, I'm just saying <laughs> that that whenever you know you do you do properties or whatever, right? So you're doing something specific, and your idea that that um, sister came up with is she just have to translate that idea into a proposal form. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Um, now, now. It's one thing to get one or two people that that will be willing to do that, but then you talk about more than that, then you really, I mean, shit. And each probably, individual got their money involved and invested. I, each I individual is going to have something saying. to say. You know I what I'm saying? Each individual is going to goddamn have an opinion. I got um, you, but, but a proposal is And pretty, a lot of people don't think about that. Well, Go a ahead, proposal please. is pretty solid, you know what I'm saying, because you, you're dealing with you know all the um, actual hard numbers. 
Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So right. all you're doing is putting all that in place. So it right. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many people do that because that's no it, numbers are not going to change. You know what I'm saying? So Well, I was just saying for because I know a lot of people are in different states, right? Or in different geographical locations. Right. All these places got different places could that be could, could get scooped up, right? So for example, I'm an investor, right? I got my money in, right? I'm riding by Durham. I see a whole apartment complex for sale. It seems pretty feasible to me. I put all my information, I mean, I put all my effort in it to put together the shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. But the other 14 people were like, nah, man, we seen this shit in Michigan we might can do. You see what I'm saying? So right. we got to take taking into that into account when we talking about putting things together. That's all I'm saying. I'm just throwing and, out contingencies. And that, no, and that's right. And you that's, know what I'm saying? That, that is something that can very easily happen. And what you would do in that case is say, okay, the person that said that, okay, well, you submit the proposal for that property that you found where you saw it at. You see what I'm saying? Right. And that's can, why I was can, saying the different you can the different them, business plans. Right. But, but so we can, can actually them a, lay them on the table. They can just take the template, the same template that you that you already made, and all they have to do is apply the numbers from that particular property and just, you know, put it in place of. So that'll make it easier. You know what I'm saying? So it'll kind of be uniform. So Whatever you did on the first proposal, if someone found the property somewhere else, they can take that template and just replace the numbers. You know what I'm saying? And say, well, this one, right, right, right. this, and blah, 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 blah. That's all I'm saying, man. I mean, it ain't that hard to do. Um, and this is what I've been talking about for the last couple of days, y'all. And like, let's just say 15 people out the chat get together and say they decide they want to do business with each other, right? Uh, that doesn't stop another couple of people coming together and doing business together either. And then right. once y'all got y'all business established, the other people got their business established, then guess what? Now y'all can do business together. Now we're building a conglomeration of different businesses and entities that's affiliated with each other that, but that's for the, the same idea. goal. Ab, that's the idea, man. That's what we've been trying to... That's what we're working on, I know. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we've been trying to say the whole time. It's like, how do you how do you form a conglomeration by doing? That's why we set up these regions so people in a particular region can get together and do projects. And then, if that's if it's a success, then they could some other people in other regions can use that same project. You know what I'm saying? Because you've already got success in one place, so you say, well, we're just gonna multiply. You know what I'm saying? And then you have another group doing it. Then you have another group doing it. And now at some particular point, you can come together and be like, OK, we got all these projects going on so we can put all these things together and conglomerate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's just like that. But of course, I can't say anything because Sister Bethy don't want me to have put my ideas in. So. Y'all can retract everything that. that I said. Oh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to just sit. say this. Sister right. Bethy can have, you know, her squad. Right. Somebody right. else can have their squad. Somebody right. else can have their squad. You know what I'm saying? I done, this ain't I no... I heard enough. I done heard enough. Look, Sister uh, Bethy know I'm just messing TV with her. is disqualified See? from joining <laughs> in on this... Uh, I, how you gonna disqualify me? And I'm the one bringing this shit up to the community. How the hell are you gonna disqualify me? We've been saying this shit for about four years now, Sister Bethy. We just now, you know, now we got enough people that actually internalize the information where we might can bring it together. But I mean, Libra can tell you we've been talking about this shit for a long time. We just haven't really been able to see the light yet. You know what I'm saying, y'all? We ain't been able to really visualize it yet now we start to be able to visualize now it's time to actually put plan into action but like i said i'll support your 15 you know what i'm saying you ain't got to fuck with me because i'm gonna have my little squad and we can do business together that's all i want to do I'm going to call y'all the fast 15. I might send y'all $15. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't want 15. Y'all need that $15. Y'all buying a whole goddamn apartment <laughs> complex now. Don't act like you don't need my 15 goddamn dollars. <laughs> we need advisors for different ways. Yeah, that'll, that'll get you like three. That'll get you three pockets. As yourself mm -hmm. to build working models. <laughs> 
to be analyzed <laughs> or applied. I agree. Um, Crips and Bloods was Indian orientated, not African. I know. I oh, that's a different subject. Well, that was the uh, subject earlier. That was the earlier uh, bill yeah, Chief was doing. He finished that. He finished that. I told him to close it out and make another topic. He but look, on, on some real shit, y'all, the, the, the base model that Sister Bethy is saying um, can be applied, right? It can work. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it can't. It's just like I said yesterday on my show, it's just going to take some systematic planning, some focus, you know what I'm saying, some some willpower, and it'll work. At the end of the day, it'll work. You know what I I'm saying? We should just do it. I'm, 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 a, I'm a go-getter. But I, I have to leave Lieberson out because if I have <laughs> See what I'm saying? on my shoulder, I, 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 he takes away my hope. Nah, no way. He, no he, way. He came and say, oh, wait a minute, Sister no. Betty, before you nah, start. Nah, what, what, what happened oh, is, nah. baby, baby, you're going to have to, you're gonna have to write the contract now, bro. That's the only way. You, you know, nah, she don't want me. She don't want my input. Don't she don't want my know. input. So I'm just going to sit back and let somebody else but do the work, gotta, and I just gotta, put in my you money. Gotta make it, you got to make it right. You gotta make it right. That they don't want it right, man. They they want it how they want it. So I'll sit back and I'll let somebody else do it, and then I I, I just go ahead and put in my investment. <laughs> I like I like Jay Freeways better anyway, but uh, I, I like I like moving in that type of way. Uh, That's what I really TV, I would really want to see us move that way. Brett just said you can't huh? beat us, so you might as well join us. <laughs> Yeah, definitely can't beat us. Yes, ma'am. Are you see what Gretchen wrote? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I'm ordering my food. I will get with you in a second. Oh. Yeah, but we, but we, just like, um, just like, just like Freeway was saying, though, um, we really should be operating indigenously, and and really, that's that's what I've been waiting to hear, um how we should be moving in that way because this is the reason that when people, you know, be talking all this other stuff, it's like, I like those ideas, but how do we do it the right way? Right. AKA do it as indigenous because anything else that you do really doesn't serve our purpose to me. And that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, right. would, I would do business any other way. I don't have no problem with that. But I would rather do, do, do business as an indigenous instead of all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And because I have to be part we, of the United States with it. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of us are still part of that. But like I say, you know, I, I really would like to move as an indigenous. That's how, especially right. when it that's comes down to all that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was saying that, you know, the, it, there's still grant money out there that's outside of the United States because some of that money is where, you know, different companies and people that got money, they're trying to get tax breaks anyway, so they're giving away the money. So <laughs> it's not like, right. you know, it, it, it's still, like I said, it's still contracting. It's just still contracting. So that is an, an, an option, you know what I'm saying? Now, that's being outside of the United States. That's why I brought up minimum contacts. That's, we're doing things right. that's going to be connected to the system. We're going to always have to deal with them. We can't say, and, and that's contract, you know, so we can't, and right. that's either way, you know, we will have to contract with wow. somebody and, and, and the United States won't have nothing to do with it because it is a company too. So if it's not a part of the contract, then they have no say so. And especially us operating as indigenous people, they definitely ain't got a damn say so. So that would be the way that we need to start really seriously um, investing our energy into. Because I hear a lot of people talk about economics and business, but economics is where you will put your energy into. And of course, we want to put our energy back into us being indigenous, you know, and operating as indigenous people. You know, and that's on this land, on our land, as Aboriginals, and that's just the point. That's the point of everything we've been talking about. I need my drink. Yeah. So even if we say, well, we got land, well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got a lot of brothers that got skills and, and could volunteer 
you know what I'm saying? That don't, that don't cost nothing to volunteer. If you got a skill, you can volunteer to, you know, those guys that can do cement, masonry, there's guys that can do carpentry, there's guys yeah. that can do plumbing, electricity. And you bring them guys together, that's an Aborigine construction company right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, agree. So, I, I agree. Let me ask y'all a question. Has anybody figured out how to move in their indigenous standing and still um, move in commerce and not be under their jurisdiction? What, commerce kind of? Well, well, I didn't hear you, Jay. The, 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 the way to do Say that... We, what... Yeah, well, uh, I, I, know a, I know a lot of us want to be in our indigenous standing when we're doing this, right? And... Um, I know several different ways to status, get your status corrected that necessarily you don't have to do that. Right. But I do know one person. Right. Who actually is in their indigenous status and still considered a private citizen and able to do commerce. And that's something that I haven't seen a lot of people be able to accomplish. So I was just curious. Is anybody else um, left? Right. Anybody else uh, is aware of the ability to do that? And um, if they're not, then I'll point you out to the right person. I'm not aware of the ability to do that. But the only thing I've learned and I received the package. Well, no, we, we don't want to be. That's right. We don't want to be. We want to be on our own and not have any. We, we, our goal is to build our own, right? our own, have our own world. But we don't answer to the United States. Am I correct on that? Well, the only the way that I know, and, and that, the answer to your question is no. We don't want to be um, dealing with under them. That's the point. Because, but the way that I know, it's the way the things that's already put in law, and, it, and whether people do it as an individual or as we start to do it as nations again, uh, we have to have a government. We have to have a government. There's, you just can't get around it. So because has anybody uh, figured out how we go about getting a government? Yeah. It's, it's well, in order for... It. Have you noticed that most of the government people, like in the government of the United States, most of those people are private citizens. They're not public citizens. Right. So... That's when me and Nati be talking about getting in your private status, right? We not necessarily ch telling you that you're different or a part of anything. We're just saying we know you serious about doing about your business. And if I know you're serious about your business because you're serious about protecting yourself, we talk all this Indian shit. We talk all this good shit, right? But if you're not serious about doing your paperwork, at least on the even on the least the basic level, right? Then that makes me weary about doing business with you. Yeah. So understand you understand? So if we utilize that as a prerequisite, right? Like, all right, we only dealing with niggas who got their status right, right? Whether you did it yourself, whether you went through somebody else, you know what I'm saying? You've already shown that you are serious about taking care of you and yours. So I can I, I can assume that you'll be serious about taking care of our business and what we're trying to do. Now there okay, always could be to, other people. We, Go ahead. But, Go ahead. but a, Aboriginal TV, we have to lay it out to them on what they need to do to get their status right. What is it? Because a lot Sister of us Beth, are still... I just had a whole goddamn show, Sister Bethy, where the nigga Creek went through every step, showed his papers, and offering webinars on, and on, offering people... On. You know what I'm saying? No, I know. So what I know you mean that, by that? Hun. I know that, hon. I'm talking about they probably, you know, that's a lot to 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 suck in. You know what I mean? We need something step by step for our people. It's a lot to suck in on a different All step. Right. Let me ask you a question. Now. You know I mean? Hypothetically, if if someone was able to provide a step by step way for you to free yourself, what would that be worth? What would it be worth? Should it be free? Well, if you're trying to get people, yeah, why not? Come on. You're trying to Sister get your Beth, people to join together, right? No, nah, hell no. Nah. That ain't the point. Listen, 
what, what, if you, okay, if, what, what are they A charging? lot of people ain't on here to do, uh, like, listen, some of us are on here to do what's right by the people, right? But the people ain't trying to do what's right by us, okay? So, for example, you got several different people that's already been given the information freely. Nobody or, or very few people have applied the information for themselves or done the research where they don't have to pay nobody to do it, right? But mm -hmm. then if you tell somebody, okay, well, since I gave y'all the information for free, right, and y'all need it to be more intricate and more detailed, right, um, this, you, you need $300 or you need $500. People are going to jump off the goddamn boat. That's a problem. You see what I'm saying? Because they'll pay somebody else to goddamn make them feel better or the okay, status so direction or whatever the, the case. Right? What is the price? What is the I, price? Listen, I don't know the price step yet, y'all. I don't know the price. I don't know the price yet. Can you find but out I know how that... much it costs for step by yes, step help? Yes, okay. ma'am. I'm 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 working okay. on that right now. I'm working on is figuring what what the people need who's teaching what they need. Um, I'm figuring okay. that out now, what they need, and then once I be able to see what they need, then I'll be able to bring the people, um, you know what I'm saying, an actual legitimate webinar that we could all, and I mean, this is not in, like, a far away, y'all, like I'm saying, like, my people's already got the webinar set up and everything, but I have yet to um, nail down what they need, you know what I'm saying, so yeah. once I know what they need, then I'll know if it's feasible for my people, and then I'll know whether I should bring it to y'all or not. Okay, so um, well, bro, I want you to bring it to yeah, me. Right, let me ask you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fuck all that, you know. Okay, what I'm all right. About. Um, 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 what was I going to ask you? Oh, is this the gentleman that was teaching us about getting our um, EBA? Is that what you're talking about? The EBA. DBA, oh, doing pay. business ass? Yeah, uh, cool. yeah. That, is that yeah, what you're talking same, about? The, listen, it's the same concept, the same shit Naughty talk about, the same shit Creek talk about, same shit the Moors talk about. It's all the same concept, right? Now, how you do it is determined on the individual. What they want to be attached to it and all of that is up to the individual. But um, there's several different ways you can do it. I got, I got at least three people right now who's willing to go step uh, step by step with people and consult with people. Like I said, I just haven't uh, worked out the numbers logistically for me to even bring the people and be like, yo, we got this coming. This is what it's going to take. You know what I'm saying? We still working that out because I want the brothers who are taking their time out to work with people individual that they be taken care of. It ain't even about the money. I just want them to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? For their time yeah. and for they and for their research and their information. They deserve that at the end of the day. You know what I'm but, saying? But even, um, even more important than that, though, Ab, um, it is is no way you can say that it's not worth it. I mean, it's no way right. you can say There's no way that, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, if I say, listen, if I say four hundred dollars puts you in the proper status, y'all. Now, even if it takes you six months to save that. That's something attainable, okay? And once you do that, right, you're taking a, another step, whether you, like, whether it does what you think it's about to do, or, and it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish when you're doing this, okay? Because a lot of people are just trying to feel good and feel like they can be protected from the white man. They're just going to be ironclad and shit, and that's really not um, – what this is about. This is about putting you in a proper standard, uh, proper status so you can be on a level playing field and start to do and commence business just like everybody else is on your land. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely I'm looking for the pro I've been asking for a couple of days. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I've been asking for a couple of days, but I ain't gonna push it because I want the brother to really uh, you know, dial in on what is necessary and needed for all parties involved to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not bringing no right. shit to nobody attached with my name to it, and it ain't official tissue all the way. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. Right. So and, and here, here's my thing too, man. I'm with you know with Jay about um my uh -oh, only uh -oh. my my only thing is that whatever we do, I just want it to be done as an indigenous. That is my goal. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, look. Okay. We got something for you. All the off the rip. OK, like. Like for sure, I know somebody who know the exact front. 
I know AB. somebody who know the exact procedure, okay? And I'm talking about for indigenous, not for AB just private status. Right. Because well, to I me, to like you say, the rest of the stuff, man, is it's like to me, any if anybody can do it, then I don't feel that it's enough for us. Right? right. If it's anybody can do it. Exactly. Yeah. Right. It's not enough for us. We need to we have our own status. You know what I'm saying? That nobody else should have. And and I'm just Well the question interested. would be what would be the pre prerequisites for the status? Like uh Well Aboriginal. Know, Aboriginal. Okay. That's your prerequisite. Now 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 is this people who self identify? Is this people who has genealogy man. proof? You see what I'm saying? Or is it just mm -hmm. melanated people who identify as Aborigines? Nah, not nah. They gotta have some kind right. Of so we got you know, right. We gotta have. We gotta get real gotta particular on it. If we gonna create our own yeah. standing in law, we got to get yeah. intricate on what different oh, yeah. no, no, There's no doubt. Right. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. Um, but. But that's what it should be, you know what I'm saying? Because any other thing wouldn't even be legitimate because you can't just, you know, have anybody like somebody can come from another continent and say that they are us when they're not us. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Like that can't be the case. Um, it has to be a legitimate uh, American Aboriginal. Let me, let me ask everybody a question. So. What is the one thing that a government needs to operate? That's going to answer your question that y'all talking about right now. It needs rules. And it, and, and it needs and a... That, um, and that's a what? A declaration? No. Uh, not, not the declaration, are, the um, constitution. No, there you go. It's like a, a constitution, a need, right. Okay, a government needs a constitution. Right. Okay, now we got or if it's a business, it needs a mission statement. But they the same thing, right? Um, no, yeah, but, because but the, your the, bylaws the are going to be your bylaws are going to be your constitution in a business. And remember, we saying that we're doing this as indigenous, so we we definitely want to make sure that yeah. it's uh, bylaws and constitution right. is one and the same. It's one and the same. It's the so, same thing. Right. Well, it's, it's saying how I look at the bylaws as as like the general policies and statutes and shit. Well, right. I understand That's what you mean. Con the same it thing your con the same thing the constitution is. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. We we'll, we agree. Of, we agree. And, and just like when a president be making executive orders, right? Um, a CEO can do the same thing in his corporation. Right. But well, it, uh, it's, uh, right, it's just right, call right. it um it's called a directive. That's all it is. It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? They just change the words around a little bit, but basically the same shit. Aboriginal power, the leak is in the chat room. Chief got to let him in. Oh, maybe he's in the back. I mean, I seen Chief in the chat earlier. He oh, let me in, so he, he ain't too far. I, oh, so I probably need to get off because it Why? only holds six people. Well, There's only five up here now. Five people up here. Yeah. But Chief, he makes six. Chief ain't, Chief ain't on this damn panel. Chief in the background, working the damn lights and shit. What well, happened? Now it's only Lieber. four. Lieber said it. Lieber dropped off. But no, so definitely you have to have a constitution. And, and it would be the guidelines and how the government will operate. Okay. The guidelines will have, you know, how it's going to protect things way that the people are supposed to be, you know, interact with each other. Just th things concerning Aboriginal American Indigenous people, right? So, when we, and even if, if we say we're going to do business, well, now that we have a government set up, now we can set up entities because it will be the government's duty to protect those entities. Because that is the purpose of a government, correct? To protect the people. Concerning land and all the other good stuff, right? Yeah, they're supposed to protect and uh, administer any of uh, the resources that the people need. Right. So, it would be safe to say that the government's responsibility will be to contract, right? 
Yeah, yeah. So, and nine times out of ten, that government will be interfacing with other governments, right? Right. Hence, government to government relationship. So, these things are already in place for us. We have to get back into that fold. It's no need to recreate <laughs> something that's all, all that was already created for us. A lot of people are, are, are have nations that are not under the United States jurisdiction, so they already have governments. So yeah, my people's got one. Yeah, so, I mean that's why I say I know they're out there. I know a couple personally, but but that's what I'm saying. When we and, and we doing this bill to when we're speaking to the people who are not privy to this information, and and, it, and I like the thing that you said, uh, Ab TV. You we have to put the energy towards understanding this stuff. Like we can't just say, because see, then that that's when we do get into the say. Well, I I have to pay this person for their time to basically free you. But what happens when that person is not there and you don't understand that information? Then we fall back right. to the same issue of this didn't work and that. Well, you know, you didn't do the work to understand the, the knowledge behind or the principles behind why these things work. A lot of this stuff do work out here. And that's why I was telling Nadi, you know, it, it's not that I was saying that those things didn't work. What I am saying is that our people are not doing the, the, the things that they need to do to understand it. Yep. That is and that's the not first. That's that's the real issue and that's the issue. I know first. I know for a truth that um the webinar that I'm endorsing and that I'm backing, um, he's not just gonna do your shit for you. He's gonna walk you step through step so that you understand what the fuck you do. At least okay. from my understanding. You know what I'm saying? It's not just going to be, hey, give me your information. I'm going to holler at you in a month, and goddamn, you'll be good. Like, nah, that ain't how we rocking over here. We trying to make uh, business literate people coming out of our community. You know what I'm saying? Who are ready to do business with the business mindset and who have our best interests at heart. So I talked to the brother about that. It will be whatever... Whatever, um, any of the brothers I fuck with that y'all con consult with about your status, they are more than willing to walk you step through step. And some of them already have for free. You know what I'm saying? So it's really about the people, man. The people got to get serious about their own shit. You know, at the end of the day, people got to get serious about their own realities and their own lives. Now, we can show you videos about niggas getting away from the police. We can show you how we got land. We can show you all this shit. That ain't going to matter if you don't do shit at the end of the day. So, we're just trying to light a fire under our people's ass, man. What we got to get I'm eating some fish. Oh. Oh, you only eat fish? I mean, no, I don't only eat fish, but I'm a Geechee, so, you know, that's a big part of my diet. Oh, you're a vegan? Hell no. A I vegetarian? wish. I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, fuck everything up a <laughs> It's true. <laughs> oh, God, that's too No, nah, but really, really, I, when I'm home, I just eat the shit from home, like, you know, we got a specific diet out there. Like, we eat rice with everything. We got seafood with everything. Most of the time, I just eat rice. Red beans and rice or red rice. Or I love red beans and rice. You know what I'm saying? Collard greens, macaroni and cheese, and some chuck. Man, I be fucking shit up. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't give a fuck, me. Y'all ain't, ain't about to stop me from eating my geeky shit. You tall or short? I'm six three. Oh God, you big like Willie. Willie big. Too. I'm six three, two hundred and fifteen pounds. Oh no, Willie gonna weigh way more than you. My Willie weigh two hundred and like sixty seven pounds. <laughs> he a big dude, but he's he lift weights. He used lift weights and running stuff. 
I gotta the walk around with it. I gotta walk around with a Mac Nine to keep them women away from my baby. <laughs> um, you ain't got to do that. I got old handsome old rascal. You ain't got to do that. If goddamn it, he, if they if they, if they good enough to take him, he good enough to go. No, nah, he they can't take my baby from me. He ain't gonna let him. He ain't that kind of man. Well, guess that's what I'm about to say. If he take if they if he let them take him from you. Then he won't never yours to begin with. No, my baby ain't like that. He ain't that kind of man. I got a good man. They don't come by too often, unfortunately. <laughs> you gonna have a, a chick come man. up to you. You gonna have a chick come up to you and be like, "Look, he both our boyfriend, but he gonna stay at my house this week." Mm -mm, I'm a scary person. Don't nobody like me. I'm scary. <laughs> Nah, I don't worry about stuff like that. I'm not the jealous type of woman, though. Yeah. <laughs> All women are jealous. No, oh, I'm really not. That's what all women really say, not. too. I'm not. I'm friendly. So, if you see a bitch... If you see a bitch... you see a bitch cracking on your nigga, but he, he, he pushing off... You ain't gonna feel some type of way about that bitch. No. Mm -mm. And you know what? And even when I was young, I wasn't like that. Like if someone, if we riding, and someone's, um, someone's eyeing my baby, which always happens. I say, baby, look, look at how she, look at how she get you out. Willie get, Willie get an attitude. Willie got an attitude. That's why he won't come on the panel. He, Willie is like. Willie is like um, A1 with his attitude if you make him mad. <laughs> but he oh, don't okay. like to be that way. He don't like to be that way. He's, he's really got, he got a, a, a soft heart. He's a sweet man. Yeah, he's man. Shout man. out to my brother AP. Happy born day, my nigga. Glad you seen another one. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Right. That's that's the real young phenom right there. Hey, Who? Nigga, but he's older than you. you. Yeah, I know. No, Aboriginal AP power not, is not older than me. No, yeah, Aboriginal no, power not. is younger than me. Aboriginal power is 44 years old. No, he not. No, he's 28. He? No, he's not. He's no, I just talked to him today, Sister Bessie. I just talked to the man today, Sister Bessie. He was he 27 yesterday. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh, I'm getting it mixed up with A1. I don't. I get, you know what? They need to change their names. You talking about A A Aboriginal Power, right? Yeah, that's why we call it AP. Was, I thought you was talking about A1. Oh, yeah, A AP AP younger than me. He he. He, I, I swear, he's an old man in the young guy's body. Yes, sir. I always say that to Willie. I say, Willie, I thought this man was much older because he, he's wise. That's because he's real wise. But imagine I, talk, talking to him four or five years ago when he was on the same shit and he was only 23, 24. Oh, my God. He's a smart nigga man. Talk about Nigga talking about He's empirical data and shit like that. I was like, nigga, wait a minute. Empirical data? This nigga got empirical data? I don't have none of that. I need to go find some empirical data. <laughs> I'm like, this, power. this little voice, nigga got said. This his little nigga said. Go his face. Hey, that's my nigga right there, man. It don't, his voice face. don't go his face. He sound like a, a old man, an old wise man that can That'll teach everybody. He's a he's an old man living in a young guy's body. He been here before. Hey, we got a lot of them in our community. See, we got a I'm lot talking of about old, old, old. peace, peace, peace. I hey. appreciate that, y'all. Peace, uh, peace oh, to the God, go. man. <laughs> happy happy uh -oh. born day, young God. Hey, Pete. What up, my nigga? What's good? Happy, happy birthday. Good. I appreciate everybody. Everybody good. Everybody good. 
Happy birthday. He's just a baby. He my daughter age. Yeah, I'll be glad when I'll be able to say that. How old are you? Uh, what did you say? You? I was like, I was asking um, Aboriginal TV how old he is. I'm 28. I'm 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 a uh, I'm 30 years old. Oh, y'all just babies. Hey. Both of y'all young. Both of y'all, y'all my daughter's age. Who who's supposed she to be damn old. doing all the footwork and shit? The young nigga. Right. She. My old. daughter is. My daughter was born in '92. Yeah, she right there. She's she right there. And leave her son old enough to be all our fathers. And that's a fact. So take your ass to bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, hey, that's why when, when, when Libra say some shit, I don't even say shit. I be like, damn, that nigga, that nigga sound like my goddamn granddaddy or something. Man, I can't. Even, everything, everything come I out of my mouth. Is just, I would not. No, want to I'm saying, what you I'm smoking on, on man? On your on your born day? What you smoking on? I would not want to be Libra's uh. daughter because. He he, he has a father that put you on punishment and you can't come out the room. Oh no, I could just see it. Oh, but he might make you go in your by, room. Man. He might make you go in your room and write a letter on why you did something. That's good parenting. That's a fact. Oh, I ain't no. play no games. Uh, <laughs> I ain't play no games. Damn, I could have used that. Oh, right there. There she go. Uh, Copper Empress. There she go. Peace to the God. Jay Sasquahana in the building. OG Jay Sasquahana. That's the OG right there. You know what I'm talking about? And Chief old enough to be our father, too. Try to act yeah, like shit, my, I think my youngest turns 30, oh. 30 this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah my yeah. daughter, boy. I, it was hard for me to let her strings go. Right. I know. Right. How old are you, man? You probably mean you probably the same age. I was born in '89. Ah, uh, no, nah, shit. Yeah, Ooh, yeah my youngest was born in '89. Yep. Around the same oh. age. Oh. But shit, I got four grandkids now, so. Just smart. Real yeah. smart. To be so young. Hey, average or power. I tell them you're an old man in the young boy's body. I know your father uh, say that about you. I get the old uh, man. I uh, know <laughs> he is. He's like fifty years beyond his age. Yeah, I, I got that a lot. Uh, I guess because the old heads I chill around, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just because my country accent makes it sound like somebody elder or something like that. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I still be flavored, man. You know what I'm saying? I probably do got an old soul, though. I'm just laid back, nonchalant. Yeah, you definitely been here before. You are old. So is um, ATV. He's, his ass is just grown. <laughs> <laughs> Loving Why honor to the, be my time? Love and honor to all the goddesses in the chat. We got yeah, their the original God, copper empress. We got the Empress Isha. We got Miss Sika, the Solar Sister. Love and honor to all the goddesses. Yeah, absolutely. Peace and blessings, man. Appreciate everybody. Wish you a happy Earth Day today. Y'all, man, we chilling. That's yeah, what's man. up. That's what's up. Aww. Got the young God, Yashua Hebrew, in the house. Everybody checking oh, in. That's the way he Everybody checking in. That's what's mm -hmm. up. You know they coming in. Now where Chief at? <coughs> I bet you Chief is on the other side of town from where he lived. He be doing like five Chief, things Chief at one time. <laughs> huh? He be doing like five things at one time. That nigga be cooking. That's OG. Hey, look, that nigga be cooking food, driving, doing a live stream. Like, how the fuck you cooking and driving at the same time? 
I know, right? <laughs> the same <laughs> damn time. He's <laughs> making a beat. He making a beat. I'm like, damn, Chief, calm down, bro. You work too goddamn hard, man. <laughs> Man, it's hard out here, man. <laughs> it's hard out here. That's why he be like, you see how this work? <laughs> you see how that work? <laughs> <laughs> That's all he yeah. do, work. To... See how that work? See that work? Hey, AP, you need to do a a, a a show on um the old wars, Indian wars, like the first Indian war. Could one of y'all do a... a, a um? Build on that. Some of the old hey, wars. Indian. Hey, one, the first hey, one Indian got a war with kind of like that. Huh? Yeah, man. A hey, one got a hey, one got the some of the earliest. Yeah, I think man. he did all the. Yeah, I think he did all the wars on goddamn uh the first Indian wars. He did the first Indian wars. When well, I didn't yeah. see that one. Yeah, A1 did all of that shit, man. King Phillips War, Yamasi, he was busting out all that shit. Oh, man, I wish I had a yeah, known. I ain't it, never seen that shit about a year, two years ago, though. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah I wasn't even on. Oh, I yeah, wasn't yeah, it's even been a year, too. Yeah, you got you to gotta go through the office, man. Matter it's fact, just so matter much fact, information. I advise everybody, you know what I mean, to go back and check out some of them old bills that we put down. A Man, A on A1 channel, the first yeah, the one got classic bills on there. That's before he was even doing the open panel thing, allowing people on this panel. He got bills where he go in for hours by himself, just breaking I'm down. Talking yeah. about stupid, stupid bills, sister. Baby. I'm talking about. I'm talking about some of the best yeah. bills. Of I haven't seen too many like those, man. Them the classic ones back in the day. Yeah, man. yeah. A1 got some classic shit. I ain't going to lie well, to he, you, man. You could go back well, maybe I, and watch maybe A1 I shit him, right now. Maybe I ask him to do some replays. I'm Remember how they do were doing I'm gonna live do a replay? On each day. Huh? What you say, um, a AP? Mr. Aboriginal Smith said, can we do a build on each state? And AP was just saying that back. He's like, he's going to do one. Yeah, we're going to do one on each state. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a – man, I, I've seen to, so many. Every, every region every region had a capital. You see what I'm saying? Just like we do now. So, you know, right. uh, we're getting to the capitals of, of some of these ancient civilizations. Now, you know you're going to have to think about these nationalities, too, right? Because those are states as well. Say that again? Which, which, I said you're going to have to include all these na uh, nationality states because those are states as well. I know I know one other thing, too, man. We got to clarify. Now, I, I know we didn't went through this shit before, but for some reason, man, we got people still thinking that Descriptive terms of nationalities and shit, man. I don't know where the fuck they get that from, well, but that's, uh, what was, that's what I was referring to. That's exactly what I was referring to. That I want I want to do a um stuff. a bill on on like Jamaica, old Jamaican, old J Jamaican history in, in, in Jamaica. You Somebody talking about Jamaica, Yamaka? Yeah, Yamaka. Yeah, I, I would love to hear about that. I tell you, a lot of West Indians, man, they are real smart with our history. If, if I could, if I could get Tinkara to get in line, he'll be a good person to bust that down, too. Who? Oh yeah, Tinkara. Tinkara, yeah, the the American Ninja. You might oh, not know okay. Tinkara. Since I know. I I see him in the chat room. Oh, okay. But yeah. It's that's, been a while. It's been a while. Right been a while yeah. since I seen him. Yo, Tinkara go in for hours and hours and hours, boy. I'm talking about got bars for days. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, boy. I'm, I'm talking about that you. nigga send me, that nigga send me some every day, y'all. Some some type of information every day. Uh, like he got something. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, we didn't have long conversations. Mostly over, you know, some scientific stuff and techie stuff like that. But man, Tencargo, man, for real. Yeah, that, that's the 
Oh, so, but man. it's a lot of classic bills, though. It's a lot of Sister Beth. It's a lot of classic bills in those archives, though, man. Oh yeah. yes, yes, yes. Maybe I asked yes, AP to do like AP to do like a um a live replay where we could talk in the chat room and listen to his old video. Can that be done? Yeah, that's nothing. That's easy. That way, I get to it's see him. I'm still waiting on the next. Still waiting on the next time machine. Shit, I don't know what's going Ooh, on. I'm waiting too, y'all. I'm waiting on that motherfucker bad. <laughs> the, the flex capacitor. Obviously, we got to go get one from Mars. So y'all know that takes a little yeah, while. Jay. <laughs> Jay, Jay, Jay said, "Do we need to come back?" Yeah, man, you damn sure need. Hell to come yeah, back, Jay. Jay. Hell yeah. yeah, nigga. You know we need you, nigga. Fuck you, me. <laughs> I know, you know what I mean? He know that. Well, I, I'm going to get <laughs> off so that all the guys can come up. Because I'd rather, I want to go in the chat room with the girls. All right? So I'm going to get off so somebody can come on. Okay? All right, sister. Shit, we need to bring some more females on yeah, the chat. I mean, in the, on the panel. Yeah, shit. Man, I'll yeah. tell you. Get somebody else a chance to come on. But but you know what though when we um I remember one time we was doing a time machine and um man it was so many events that was going on um in these certain dates and this shit is just was crazy. I think what you started from seventeen ninety. Yeah, we started from the first, the yeah, first year of the census. We started from the first year of the census. Oh, man. <laughs> We just started going up from there. <laughs> yeah. We was talking Sorry, about all the got... events that was taking place. Like, they, he had this information that showed, like, all the events that actually was taking place in a particular year. And, it's, and that shit was crazy. This that is A1? No, nah, this was Ad TV in uh, Ten Car. Um, yeah, uh, the time machine shows. Yeah, those was classic. Yeah, man. Bills, right, man. Those, those was those classics, man. Classic bills, man. Uh, Jason, shout out to the brother Cobra. Jason Quarter said he got to start from the 1400s. Wow, yeah, JC Jay can do that. <laughs> Jay can really? do that. Really? <laughs> They can do a backflip and, and start from BC, nigga. Like Jay is somebody else. <laughs> Jay Sequana. I'm talking about, that's my nigga. Shout out. That nigga probably driving Uber right now. Goddamn <laughs> ass. But anyway, oh, uh, that's my nigga right there. When I tell you if you can talk about a subject and then this nigga will come out of left field with some shit you never heard about, the shit you think you know about. Yeah. I'm telling you. Like, tell you about their grandfather. Where is he from? <laughs> Where's he from? I think he in Atlanta, Philly. ain't he? he? Nah, from oh, Philly. Oh, Philly. He in Philly, okay. Philly? But Damn, he, he's in, a, not, Jay, he in Atlanta. Know. He in Atlanta now. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shit, Jake oh, Show got the info. Yeah, Jay, you know what done. I would love to see? You know what I would love to see? Our master, um, our master <laughs> lecturers on all on a panel, like Chief. You gotta go Dave. back and watch some of them old bills, man. Man. We got literally uh, at least we got at least two to three hundred heavyweight jams. Uh, I'm talking. I'm talking about Chief Holiday, Jay Freeway, Tribe Bub. I'm talking about Tribe Bub. I'm talking about all kind, of, all kind of shit, man. I'm talking about crazy shit, Medicine Man, Dane, Corey Mayo, A One, Man, Jack, Chief, all the way, Man. We had yeah. Phoenix. We'd have had. We'd have had the uh, sister who wrote uh, the Matrix. Who else? Y'all yeah, had? Uh, Sophia Stewart. Yeah. Yeah, Sophia yeah. Stewart. Man, we we been we been putting in work for a little bit since then. I'm gonna just say, my niggas is certified. Okay. And you These just a baby. I, I I mean I've been there. <laughs> I've been. I just wow. been hanging with the big dogs. Just hanging with the big dogs. That's all. I wish I had seen you rip them on Say Nana channel. That would be nice. It's a, it's a, right and oh, we got a couple. Go right now. If you go to my channel and go to my communities, I just uh shared it a couple days ago. So y'all can go. Sorry, 
when he was little, when um when um when ATV was younger and he ripped him up. That was like oh shit, uh, that was like from a couple years ago. Uh, you that was that long ago. <laughs> about a year ago, about a year ago, about a year ago, year and a half. Well, I remember that, that bill right there was. I think we going on almost you two years. About the, you talk, you talking about the one with Jabari and they was all on there. Well, Jabari wasn't on that one. Remember, the, Jabari wasn't on the whole panel of niggas. I got Jabari oh, yeah, on his own. He came, he, came, he, came, he came in the next day, but yeah, yeah, the whole right. panel of niggas. Yeah, we was on. It there. was uh, it was me. It was me, you, Chief A One. They kicked. Uh, they kicked everybody off one by one. What? Yeah. I ain't even. <laughs> wait a minute, AP. I ain't even talking about that time. I'm talking about the time I caught him slipping on the dolo. I caught them all slipping on the dolo. Yeah, Ab, Ab TV, he, he going there any random yeah, time and catch the ass. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Matter of fact, I, that I, was hey. around the time that uh, Chief was going, uh, <laughs> when, uh, he was uh, going in with uh, Seti. That, that, that was like it was all the, around the same fact, time. It's the same, it's the same time, AP, that we did our shows two together, right? I just called, it was later than that, though. You know what I'm saying? It was like probably a month or something like that later. Well, I caught Dr. Mayotte, Garfield, Unc. I don't yeah, know what else see, was on there. You was, uh, was yeah, because you was going in. There. Yeah, you was going in on the uh, Armin Ross squad first, and then you went over to Sarnetta. Yeah. <laughs> I was cooking that motherfucker. But they, but they, man, we, man, we used to go on on their joint, man. They was talking straight dumb, though, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, 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 they was talking These straight dumb. They, for, for about a year and a half, we was reaching out to them. To uh to exchange this information and them niggas literally shit it on us, talk shit, <laughs> motherfucker. Let a nigga on the platform cut him off, hang up in his face, try to make him look dumb. Goddamn, I'm talking about niggas was motherfucking giving it to us, right? And then when we started really, and then that's when we really got the point like, okay, we gonna build our own shit up. So then when we started building our own shit up, then they were more susceptible to let niggas on. And when they let niggas on. Niggas went ham. Niggas went, like, niggas didn't have no reserve. Niggas didn't have, like, we had waited so long. You know what I'm saying? We had waited so long just to exchange information. It was like, okay, it, we ain't no friends in this shit, nigga. I'm about to leave your whole ancestor's neck on the floor, nigga. Fuck you and that. <laughs> like, man, it was I crazy, go, I'm going to go back and look at some of the... So, it was that, crazy, you, that, man. Those are, those are technically good old days now, fellas. Yeah. So you can't share those videos on Yeah, I can. I got I got to go yeah, find see, out which they, one they be is. deleting they but But YouTube be deleting a lot of shit too, they, so you got you will be lucky to find them joints, they, you know, a lot do, of them, I, look, they, I, mean, I looked on my post. Yeah, they be deleting them. Joints. I, I, I don't mean, even I mean, it's so much content. I I I just be like, well, and at some point, you just gotta be like, "Well, fuck it," you know what I mean? I like, remember people be like, "Well, chief, you haven't shown it." I'm like, "Well, you must be new. You must, you must have just came around." Cause man, I've been doing this so long. I'm like, "Why?" Well, I, yeah, I feel I like mean, I feel like I'm I'm retarded for showing the same shit over and over and over and over, See, over no way and over, over again. Like, like, like pan it's pan the same out. shit. The pan out the pan out. Out. I said it was to the point the Pan Africans was hating so much they was taking pictures of Chief and, and posting them and showing them why Arnetta was live. Well, oh uh, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't even know why that was what was going on with that because I started out on camera, like I didn't even, I didn't even have a logo. I didn't even know what that was, like. You know what I mean? So yeah, you would have a picture of me. <laughs> if I hear a sword on there, if I sit down my back now. I'm like, yo, y'all is playing. Like, it's crazy. But when, but, but it was so crazy, though, when Sarnetta did it, right? I was in the chat room, and I was like, LOL. And he was like, ah, oh, he a good sport. He ain't, you know what I mean? Like, think it, he just showed a picture of me. And he was like, well, look at him. He looks like an African. I used to think I was an African, y'all. I'm, I'm, see, see, I'm man enough to say, you know, I, I was wrong. I made a mistake. I went against my ancestors. Okay, I'm oh, mad enough to say that. I told people, that's how that worked. I told people Sorry. trying to be a fake African was 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 
it was it was it was a it was an experience that you don't want to experience. It was so tiring. At the end of the day, you go straight to sleep. <laughs> you go. She was exhausted. Because you, you, <laughs> nigga, you know, I was spirit chucking all type of shit in my mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was, sheesh. So it yeah, man, rough. it's not it's not good at all. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. They, they always get smoked at the same time too. They always get smoked out at the same time. Who was giving oh, ass that smoke hey, back hey, then? Hey, Garfield, hey, Pete, Armin Ra, with, uh, with the Willie Mammoth, that shit was so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we hit them with so much shit in, in small increments. It was like nigga ain't got nothing else to say, and I didn't get it started on the lion, the horses, the zebra, you know all that little shit. But nah, you know, what, what messed them up is that their own elders was agreeing with it. That's a fact. That's what. Yeah, even, that's what messed nah, them up. Hey, that's my hey, That's a wrap, hey, Joe. Hey, you got, the, got the elders. Hey, listen, it's a wrap. When Sidney to put the short bus up, bro. Hey, <laughs> why not? Was they ain't serious. They was, ain't taking this serious. Yeah, hey, we are. Steve, <laughs> that was the funniest joint ever, man. That was the Whoa, funniest joint classic. ever right there, man. Yo. Hey, Ab, I was going to pull up and uh, I was going to pull up at 125th in a short bus. we honking for the ass. Uh -huh. Get in this bitch. Come on, Ty. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That joint was funny. Hey, you do, Bobo Maroon. You remember that, man? <laughs> You remember that black, you remember that black 102, news 102 van? Y'all remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that no, joint. Y'all remember that? I remember that joint because then they were saying, "Yeah, we trying to cover the news," what what but happened? that's when he was talking about he needed what a Mercedes happened? joint. He wanted to get one of the Mercedes vans. Little bus, that little bus, and, is and he just yeah. threw out the van part and got a Mercedes. No, no, no. He wanted. He had. The, he had the Mercedes, but he wanted to get the Mercedes van to do the news. Them little but Mercedes cargo I'm just joints. Saying, what What happened to that? I guess ain't nobody donate. I don't what know. He was trying to get people to donate to that shit. What? This little award show. This nigga. This nigga had a whole award show. Yeah, man. Giving away bogus awards and shit. Yeah, man. Like, it is what it is when it comes inside them. You know, it is what it is. I mean, that's uh, their little Hollywood and shit. You know what I mean? So they're going to they gonna try to maintain their little Hollywood and shit. We end up building our own shit. You know what I mean? We take a little oh, bit man. from everybody and we mold our shit to the perfect format. You feel me? So, uh, this shit is only in the beginning, man, but this is the hardest part is taking the first few steps. And yeah, that's right a now, fact. We ain't, like, yep. we ain't like the first step. We don't take the first step. Now we got to get these last couple out so we can get the mojo back going. So, that's that's what the operation is for 2020, boots on the ground, really making shit work in our community, uh, awareness, barbecues, and, and awareness of, what we, of the movement. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's what we need to be doing. We need to be getting together, throwing big cookouts, inviting the community and letting them know, listen, we, we, we the Aboriginal, you are too, eh? you know, and it, it spark up the conversation. So they at least that's know what you see is what's going on. That so makes sense. That's, that's, that's a fact. Shit. And that's, but you know what? One thing, man, just like I try to always express to people is that, you know, people need to write, man. Like, to tell you the truth, it's like without documentation is documentation is king in the world yeah. right now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And talk that shit. You know, wow. Talk that shit. It is. It is wow. though because look, when you I say like if you work for for certain type of um, companies and stuff, you realize how much how important because that represents information. Mm -hmm. That represents information. Without documentation, it wouldn't even be no goddamn information flowing. You know what I'm saying? Because they 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 rely heavily on documentation. They because that, that is that how they use. I'm you. This is what they use to gather their information. 
Right. So, this, so that's why that's why the like-minded brothers that that have spoke about this behind the scenes is really trying to put in work and, and, and allow shit to really go on, man. So we really about to show and prove about about this writing. Right. Because it's, it's like this, man. It's no different from reading, right? You have you have a lot of our people that don't like to read. They don't like no type of documentation. They don't even like to read, right? And what they don't understand is that if you, in this in this particular world that we're in now, that if you don't read, you're not going to be informed. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to well, leverage. They, your they say reading is fundamental for a reason. Not only that, though, just think about this, right? Slaves, they said slaves weren't allowed to read and write, right? So just right. think of it, flip it to slave mentality. Right. You see what I'm saying? Where right. They can't read. Don't want to write. Still to they this day. Write Niggas read. can't read. Right. And that's a slave mentality. Read, you see what I'm well, saying? What reading really is, see, and that's the other thing. What reading really is is interpreting what you read. That's reading, not just because you right. Can, you know, right. That's exactly that's true. Paper because that's but at least you have the opportunity, is, right? Is but but you got to start at one. You know, you got to start at a point, right? So when you get to the point that you can read and you can write, that will lead the door you know, leave you a door open where now you can comprehend at some point. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. like you say, a lot, a lot of people do read and write without comprehending because they, they don't understand that it's the mindset that allows you to comprehend. Well, and, and, but the, the thing is, too, people don't understand the connotative and denotative uh structure of uh, how words you know are structured and how they form over time and that's why we when we get into debates or these conversations with people they jump all over the place and you know with, with with these different time periods to prove a point when it don't exist because right. that word didn't exist at that particular time because right. it's a connotative the connotative meaning of what they're trying to explain, but when they when they look into the denotator, it ain't got shit to do with that. Actually, it ain't even what what they think it is. It didn't right. exist. Now that's now that's another thing. But the other also, you you look at the way I look at things. I look at foundation, right? So I look at how things are built, and if you have a certain foundation, then that's going to determine how your building is structured. So if you if you have a, a certain foundation of thinking, that's going to determine what you um, get from what you're reading, how you comprehend. If your foundation isn't right or if it's um, tampered with, right, if it's indoctrinated, then that's the type of um, that's what you're going to get from what you read It's always going to be an indoctrinated version. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't even have to be the particular thing that you're reading, but since your mind is indoctrinated, you're going to make up shit that's going to ne not necessarily be something that the person wrote, but in your mind, you're going to rewrite what you're reading to fit the narrative that you have been accustomed to believing. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Just like That's assumptions. True. That's true. When you make assumptions, and this is how it all comes into play. And this is why they use the power of assumptions right so back, much. Because yeah. that shit works. People assume shit all the time. Even when they're reading, they're assuming shit. It's like, damn, it didn't even say that, but guess what? I'm going to assume it's saying that. Because my mind has already been, been taken. So whatever I read, is going to fall on the assumptions. Whenever I see certain words, if I see the word slave, I'm going to assume that that slave is a black African, a black person of African descent. And this is one of the things where, where they don't realize calling themselves black really means. Because there's a definition behind it. So what, whenever they make these artificial identities, 
they always give you a definition of what these identities stand for. Just like when we're looking on the census and, it's in, and we went, when we went over that, it gave the definition of what a black person is or African-American person. You belong to some racial group in Africa. So whenever you claim that, you're going to assume that definition. You're going to take, take on that definition. Or you're going to embody that definition. You know what I'm saying? And this is where people don't understand it. They think that that shit is really a color. Like before colonization, people were calling themselves black. And that's the shit that I can't understand. Like, you think black people existed before colonization? Y'all really think that shit? You think white people existed before colonization? They don't get it. It's like, that's a fucking invention invented in America. And now it is widespread across the world. Then you got Europeans thinking they white. It just it's it's That's crazy, man. It's That's crazy. They they don't get it. I I love taking it away from them though. Like, wait a minute. Oh, so you're participating in the cat? They'll be running away from white. Be like, oh no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm not participating. That's exactly in that. what it means. That's exactly if what it means. And when you be pushing the black side, you pushing it from just another perspective, whether you know it or you don't. You're participating in the caste system. You upholding Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And that's why I can't you know, understand yeah. why people just go blacker and blacker and blacker. It's like they just double and triple down on their blackness when it's a made up identity. It's like you really, you you really believe that that shit is real. You think that black people was calling themselves or Africans was calling themselves black or any dark skinned person was calling themselves black before colonization. That shit is crazy. I mean, but even when we had a conversation with them, right, just on just a, a logical question, a conversation, right? And then we saying, okay, look, so are you black? They'd be like, well, no, I'm not, but it's a, it's a social construct. Okay, so Dave means that you know that it's a social construct. Clear, We all be clear on that. And then there we go. So if you're participating in a social construct that makes you a loser, it's not logical, let alone scientific or anything. It's, it's, it's just a lose, 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 lose situation. And I don't understand. I, well, I do understand because that's the genius of the mind fuckery. Right. This is the genius of it. These niggas, are, I'm, t I'm telling you, a diabolical genius, but only a recessive nigga could cheat so good. Only a only a weak nigga could cheat. Like I wouldn't well, even want to win like this. To me, well, see the just but see, chief. It. The problem is that they don't even have to do it. They put you in a mindset when you do it to yourself, and this is what's happening a lot of the times. It's like people are doing it to themselves. It's like on autopilot. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do be it's, on autopilot. Like it I gotta is. Say it's on <laughs> autopilot. Hey. You know what Crumb I'm saying? Was, Crumb was 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 tearing them up the other day. You know what I mean? Somebody said they they had walked into two niggas hosting a clan rally. I was like, ah, that was funny. We had a good time that night, y'all. No, I didn't take was, it too that, personal. It was, that was, was a, a good, good show. He he was a little bit uh, misinformed, but you know, a little bit. He, uh, yeah, he was he was a little bit misinformed. Um, just a little but, bit. You know, you know how it is. Um, but still, nevertheless, it was it was a good it was a good show. But the other day, you had this 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 other um, young guy came on the panel, and you know started talking his Morris stuff. I mean, he said etc so many times, man. It's like, damn, that's Todd's little like minion and shit. Like <laughs> he they this man. This shit was just crazy. It's like when you start doing shit cult like. And that's one thing that they always end up doing, s repeating things over and over again to sound like a call. It's like you don't have to say that in every sentence. You know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, I find just, that funny yeah. that they always accuse us of the, the whole the, the cult mentality when the thing is, right, because we say, you know, like all these dudes, and that's my thing. Sinetta, you know, he's been around for a long time. A lot of these guys have been around for a long time. You know, they, they got a lot of information. They got a lot of support, you know what I'm saying? Cause if anything, we, you know, we got to give them that. They got support. But here's the thing. What are, what are you doing with that support? What have you done with that support? And what, in well, what way are you moving the people, you know, because you've got people supporting them? That's just like, you know. Right. What, but, what, but what's the requirement, call? though? The requirement is that you have to have vision. But what they that and that just lets you know that they're talking useless information, right? Now they have a lot of information, but it's a lot of useless information. So well, if you're talking a, a bunch of useless information, you're not gonna move anybody anywhere. They whole premise is eugenics. Everything that they teach is eugenics from art. Right, yeah. From you know, it's, sign that with the black African thing, you know, Garfield. Slave tality. Every, everything that comes out of their mouth is eugenics, bro. And it's, it's absinthe me to, to, and that to see these goes with the, that, that goes for the Armin Ross squad, too. They do the same oh, shit, yeah, trying to talk science. Man, I, I, I just can't take it, man. I can't take people trying to talk science and don't know shit about science. I hate that shit, man. The shit just bugs me. Like, you know, they be using terms like I caught the young boy the other night talking about energy can't be um, made or destroyed and shit. And I'm like, well, who told you that? And he said he told himself. It's like, no, nah. y'all keep repeating this shit and y'all don't even know what that shit means. And that shit bugs me, man. It's like, well, if you making up shit like that, then what's to say your other information is not made up? Like we really have to be careful about saying shit where we don't know what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like giving out misinformation. And a lot of times when people start talking science and don't really know science, you're giving out misinformation because you don't have a clue of what you're talking about. And another thing I need to rec I need to clarify this too, because I think I I, I I was listening to to something yesterday, and uh, someone brought up a point about um, north and south and shit like that. Right? Um, they have to realize that position a lot of times determine those directions or perspective so if you're looking at a map the map is going to show a certain perspective right because it's just showing a flat surface and when you look at north you're looking at a certain perspective because if you're really talking about up and down that has nothing to do with north and south Up and down has something to do with being on the ground and going up to the sky. And that has nothing to do with perspective. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times people get that shit mixed up. And it's like, okay, well, shouldn't heat rise? Yeah, heat does rise from the ground to the sky, not from north to south. That is not what that you know, heat doesn't rise from north to south. And a lot of times people get mixed up. It's like they don't really understand science. And they start just looking at well, things and not looking at that they're looking at a flat perspective. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and, and that's just based it's, a, it's a lot to it. Yeah. That's just based on natural science. You know, at the end of the day, you know, that's called yeah. effect. But but what I'm saying is they get confused though because they're not looking at that that at position and they're not looking at perspective. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're looking at a flat picture. And what, and what so the top of the picture is going to be north, and the bottom of the picture is going to be south. But that's not the same thing as when you're standing on the ground, and the ground is south, 
and you look up in the air, that's north. Well, it, it, it's Depending on your perspective. Right. You see what I'm saying? What you're saying what will give you perspective is your understanding of what north and south is. So we go, we go, it's going to go right. back to the words. Right. You know and up and down. Well, the same things with up and down. And it doesn't matter how you, you know, how you use it, but it's just that, you know, when you talk about certain conditions, you can't be looking at a picture and thinking that you're in the right perspective to understand how that condition happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're looking at a picture of a map, of course, north is going to be at the top of the picture. But that can't explain how heat rises. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not the right perspective. You're not in the right position. So it's not going to do that. But some people, they get confused and they think that heat rises from south to north. Because they're looking at a picture. You know what I'm saying? No, I get what so, you're saying. That's why and, and, and you would have to use things to give perspective. And that's why we use symbols and things like that to help get the understanding. So when we talk about storytelling and creation stories and things like that, that is a part of the culture. I mean, so when, if you're, you're, you're attempting to convey uh, so, uh, uh, something to your child that you know that's going to benefit them, but as a parent, you will have to, or I, I'm not even going to say as a parent, as, as, as a, a person who's guiding this child, you will have to, as a teacher, you will have to figure a way to, that's tailored to this child that they can understand or they can get the point. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to give perspective. So well, when I when I when I talk about well, but when I'm when, when I'm when I'm talking about, talking about perspective, I'm not talking about in that way. When I when I say perspective, I mean your 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 location, your where you you know what I'm saying. Like that's just like saying if you had a round table and you had people sitting around a round table, then how can you determine what is up and what is down? Well, Depending on your Depending on question. your position, so, you may not be able to do that. Okay, but let me ask you a question. So then, would, would it be safe to say that perspective in terms of what you physically see versus what you can see in your mind? Because you can do a lot more in your mind than right. what you can physically see. And, it's, and in a lot of times, you can do more uh, in your mind than you can even say, right? Because Yeah, but it's, but it's got to be based on what you understand. Like, it's like, like I say, if you if you can't if you're looking at a picture, and you're trying to gain perspective on something that you don't understand, then it might be easy to get it confused. Like I say, but well, that wouldn't be per, that wouldn't be perspective. Then that would be an opinion. If I'm no, no, no. When I say perspective, I mean what what position that you're looking from, right? Right. It's okay, just like yeah, like yeah. I get that. yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay, and that's what I was saying about like, okay, well, we just said we talked about the the hieroglyphs and the glyphs and the things that's written in stone, right? Well, mm -hmm. we can look at those things and, and, and understand that they have because it's a pictograph. It's, it's something that you know it has several different meanings. When yes. We look at them, and when that's these true. These are decoded. These things have several different meanings. So right. you have okay in terms of perspective, you can have a point of view that's straight to the front then you have your side views your left and the right right then you have your view behind you then you right have the bird's eye view that, that's overall you can see the whole picture see and that's and that that's that has to do with with dimension the picture that you're looking at because if you're looking at two dimension you're you you, you you're going to only get that two dimension perspective but if you're looking at something on three dimensions then that changes to perspective you see what i'm saying and it makes it it gives it more accurate account because when you're looking at two dimension you have to realize that you're not really getting an accurate picture that's right and that's why that's why i was saying the principle uh, uh the principle of nature again everything in nature has a duality you know left and the right up and down a hard and soft, right. a, you know what I'm saying, a sharp and dull. So when you, when you, yeah. when you 
talking about those things, right? Everybody would say, well, well, well yeah, we, we, we clearly can see that there's a difference, but how are these two things are, how are these two dualities or polarities are the same? So we have to get the third point of view, right? And so we would say hot and cold, but what would make these two things the same? Well, the, the, the common ground or the medium point would be the temperature. And so if you know, now, if you play with that in terms of alchemy, we'll say, well, if we add a little hot and add a little cold, now we got warm. So now we got three temperatures. But the point is, these these three things, what they all have in common is temperature. Um, not, necessi- not, not necessarily. Um, because, see, there's a that's what I mean about when understanding science, because pressure plays a part in that, too. Because depending on what your altitude is, that makes a difference, right? And that's why we have what you call sea level. Then you have above sea level. Then you have below sea level, right? And those are different pressure systems. And depending on which system you're in, you're going to get a different result from the same thing, right? That's what I'm saying. It's still, it's still, but it's still operating off that same principle. The principle was well. Polarity. Well, what I'm saying, saying yeah, I yeah. No, saying. no, no. I got you. I got you. Well, if, just think about polarity as balance, right? That's and that's all polarity is. Polarity allows you balance, right? So when we think about polarity, that is that is the scale. To, that allows you to have balance. And this is why um, things that have to be balanced have polarity. I See what agree. I'm saying? But then uh, that brings in another principle, which would be with this rhythm. What's that? I said that would bring in another principle, which is rhythm. Okay. That, that, like, all, and, and that's why I said the laws of nature, these things, they are correspond with each other you know as above so below you know they you know you can't have one without the other so if you talk about cause and right because that that's that is balance right you got that is balance it. right but balance only really takes place in um but see the thing is about a natural environment and an artificial environment right is that in a natural environment you have to have balance right in an artificial environment not so much See, you can get away with not being balanced in artificial environments, but in the natural environments, then, balance I, is I, I, like the most is the key. I will see, will see, will see. But we'll, we'll now, on another perspective, right? We and like, and, and, and we can view this as today. That's what that is. Is order and chaos. We look at nature, or there's a, a, a or things are working the way that they're supposed to. But when we look at artificial mm-hmm. things, and there, there, it's in chaos. But chaos and order are one and the same as well. So we go back to polarity, the, 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 the duality of a thing. And that's why I say so it's different levels of understanding in terms of perspective. And when you have whether that perspective goes to another level, that's, you know, in terms of the mind, that's a paradigm shift. So that's like all these people that believe we are from Africa. It's going it's, to, it's, 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 that's like everybody on this panel. It's like everybody in the chat. At some point, it was something that changed your mind. Something. Right. And But see, and the difference have- is, but, but Jay, the difference is this, is that when it, when it comes down to belief, that is not necessarily a natural condition, right? Because your belief can create artificial um, scenarios. Now, if you have an artificial environment and it's interfering with the natural environment, then that causes the natural environment to go out of balance, right? And then you cause chaos in the natural environment. But ordinarily, natural environments are what you consider to be uh, balanced. Because when it goes out of balance, it corrects itself. Oh. So Just that like goes water. Back, that goes back to the principle yeah. of rhythm. That's why I said these principles, you can't get away from them. That's rhythm right there. The pendulum swing for every right degree that it swings to the left is going to 
Well, that's not to say that it's going to come back the same way. So, to you know, to what you was just saying about how, how nature is responding to the everything that's artificial, it's going to respond harder because it is natural. The artificial is only only exists because of the the, the, the nature. Well, the thing is that, like I say, a natural environment achieves balance. It's always looking for balance, right? And the the action that it takes to achieve balance would be the rhythm, right? Now, in an artificial environment, you don't have to have balance. But if that artificial environment interferes with the rhythm of the natural environment, that's where you get chaos in the natural environment. That See, chaos that's in the artificial where, environment don't really it, matter. That's where, that's where cause and effect come in. Right, yeah, See, exactly. So you, so you can't get, like, that's what I'm saying, you can't get away from the uh, princi principles of nature. They're, they're, right. they're but you, you they're can't, you can't get, a, now you, you don't, because you don't, what I'm saying is the principles of nature, nature doesn't apply Necessarily in an artificial environment, not necessarily, um, because it don't have to be balanced. But if that artificial environment is interfering with the natural environment, then the natural environment goes into chaos. It doesn't matter whether the artificial environment goes into chaos or not. It's not a factor. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really have a as much of a consequence. The only consequence is going to be um, on an emotional level. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Or on an informational Yo, level. Libra. Yeah. Y'all want to shut this one down and come back later? <laughs> uh, uh, we, okay, nah, I mean... Nah, 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 I want to go keep going. Shit, it don't matter to me, uh -huh. man. I don't, I don't know about later. I'm gonna be around later, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what you got something to do? What you, what you got, Jay? Yeah, was I, all right? I don't really got too much going on. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I mean, as long as Jay was all right, I was all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was um, good. I just got, I got uh, kicked off. I'm, I'm oh, y'all got it. Then y'all got it. Okay, I, I, I'll be right back. All right. I'll be right back. Yep. Yeah. See, that's why that's why I always try to make a distinction between a natural environment and an artificial environment, because you have to, like we're talking about, in order to have a, a, a real understanding, you have to be able to separate those two environments because they require different things to operate. See, the natural environment that's not going to change. It's always going to need and require balance. But in an artificial environment, you don't have to achieve balance. You know what I'm saying? And this is and and this is what takes over the uh, emotional state of people, and it causes people, which is a natural being. To be unbalanced, and this is where your chaos comes from, because the people are unbalanced. You know what I'm saying? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. So, but even within chaos, there's order as well. And, 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 and the way I can prove that, right? Even though we know that this this matrix, or what we call this world, this matrix, it, it's in a it's in a array of chaos right now. We would consider this chaos, right? But What's us, that now? Can you hear me? You're not getting you better now. Okay, we say okay, right, right. So would you say that right now the world is in this matrix is in, is chaos, right? Well. See the, that's the thing. It the, the only chaos exists is the within because people, the natural person, is in the artificial environment, and that artificial environment is causing an imbalance in the people. That's where that's where you get chaos from. 
because so, chaos is mostly a, an is an effect when you affect a natural you know a natural environment which is the people you so, see what i'm saying so, so so that would be darkness correct would you equate that to um mm, no i wouldn't call that darkness i just call it um emotional imbalance well, and the reason why I say oh. darkness is because you don't know, and and I and I'm going to equate this back to to the knowledge, the thing, and, and and that's the reason why, you know, we are in a lot of positions in terms of what our perspective is and what we know and what we can do is because we don't have the knowledge, we don't have the information, or you know whether it's you know we don't have the resources, so we are on the other side, so to speak. And because we're on that side, we are in chaos right now. Like, right, we can't do what we could do naturally because we are right. in that darkness. That, and that's why I, that's why I asked that. So, would you say? Okay, I mean, yeah, you can you can call it that, um, but it's it's really just being wrapped up into an artificial environment, which is causing chaos in our natural bodies. You know what I'm saying, or our, our natural condition. Um, because that's why it's important to be able to understand the distinction because if we don't really have a proper understanding of why we act in the way we're acting, it's because we don't know the difference most of the times or or can't you know be able to separate the two because in actuality um chaos doesn't even affect the artificial environment itself. But it's the artificial environment that causes chaos in our in us as natural people not, or a natural being. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I guess you can say that chaos is a a product or or um an effect put it that way it's an effect of an imbalance within the people that are located in that um artificial environment because the artificial environment not necessarily chaos don't necessarily make or break it you know what i'm saying it's like it doesn't matter in an artificial environment. The only effect it has is on the people. And if you're if you're disturbing the natural elements, then yes, that's going to have an effect on the planet. So when you poison in the water and you cutting down trees, that will cause an imbalance in the um in the, in the natural environment or say like you didn't you don't even have to do anything to the earth then you can make the people imbalance and that would be chaos and that would be an effect even if they didn't even disturb the natural order you would still have chaos on and on on a a personal level which you being natural is almost the same thing as disturbing the earth damn i get it got i guess it got kicked off again man i don't know what stream yard is doing man messing up my convo but um but yeah that's why it's important y'all to, to make a distinction man to understand natural and artificial because that will give you the proper understanding of how to fix yourself you know what i'm saying how not to get drawn into um artificial thinking because that's 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 what's causing the chaos It's almost like we don't even 
look at ourselves as being a natural being anymore. You know, we, we become part of this artificial environment. Yeah, and Chief left, so shit. He won't even be able to get back on. And I don't be doing too many solo acts. <laughs> so we uh might just come back in a little bit when if I can get in contact with Chief and he wanna come back on, then we'll probably do that. But I don't know how long he's gonna be. Um busy doing what he's doing so I'm going to just go ahead and have to drop off and I'm going to say peace and prosperity to the first American gods and goddesses and uh, you know we, we on the way to fixing ourselves we just have to make you know not make it so complicated you know that's why I always try to do things in simple terms whereas it's easy to understand and when I put things in natural and artificial it makes it easier for me to understand things so when things happen I can look at it and say hold up was that a natural occurrence or was that artificial occurrence and that's all I need to know So, peace to everybody. I'm about to get out of here, and uh, hopefully we may be able to come back on in a little bit. If not, I'll just see y'all the next go-around.